Boom. So, um, welcome, welcome. Um, we're going to be going for 24 hours. I'm probably going to break this stream up into two streams eventually uh, when we hit about the 12 hour mark because YouTube doesn't save videos past 12 hours. So, um, we're just going to start right now. You see, we've got total time played. Uh, we are at a minute. And um, I can tell you, I didn't get a whole lot of sleep because I had some serious back pain. So it's going to get uh, going to get exciting as we go. But we are off to uh, 17 grand as a starting point. And that is largely because Rob was doing fundraising at Friday Night Frenzy. So that is fantastic. Thank you, Rob. Rob's going to be here later. I'm sure he's doing the smart thing and getting some sleep. So, um, yeah, uh, you will notice that Super Chats and Super Everything is off because all the money should be going to Extra Life. And so hopefully you guys can see that. I'm just checking the description. I'm going to make sure it's pinned as well um, because we need to... Um, we need to make sure that it's going to the right places. So um, I'm just going to pin the link here. And where's that? There we go. Pin message. There we go. So that's pinned. It's also in the description below. So um, you can check that out, um, you know, if you feel inclined. Um, also, every time there's a donation, it's going to make noises and it's going to show up on this thing here. So, um, yeah. Now, somebody asked me, what, am, uh, what are we starting with? And I think I'm going to start with a game called Hard Space Shipbreaker. Um, it's a bit of an older game at this point. I guess not that old, but um, it's kind of a casual, fun, um, fun game right up until you screw things up so and i mean the chances of me screwing things up are pretty good so let's uh let's see and i see we got... there we go uh, did you guys hear the uh hear the cha-ching there tell me you guys heard the cha-ching hopefully you guys heard the cha-ching I see somebody says it's really loud. I don't know how to make it less loud. Um, but there we go. We've got Hard Space Shipbreaker up and running. So thank you very much to Emily Tennyson there, uh, $55. Very, uh, very generous. Much appreciated. All right. Um, I'm going to delete my no revival or my... Oh. Thank you, Baxter. Uh, much appreciated. Thank you um, so much for doing this, Runkle. You are truly a wonderful human being, Sparkling Heart. Oh, awesome. Thank, thank you, you so much for doing this, Runkle. You are truly a wonderful human being, Sparkling Heart. <laughs> I've got the uh, robot voice. I didn't know I had that set up. I don't know how to make it less loud. Um, I don't know how to do that. So this is a game about disassembling ships in space. So we're just getting this fired up. And you can see this starts off with, here is your messages, everything is <laughs> Thank you so much, Sharon. That's uh, much appreciated. All right, name, Runkle of the Bailey. There we go. So this we're playing on limited, so it's got the, um, we've got 30 lives. Um, we're not going to need 30 lives to get through this. So, uh, and Mary Jane is saying, why would you disassemble ships in space? Because they are being recycled. Ah. 
All right, and we'll go with the chicken meal preference. And the standard orientation for mouse. Please agree to each statement. I have no criminal record in the Terran or Martian zones. I'm not a member of and have never associated with a workers' union or other labor interest. I have completed my annual medical exam and have been cleared of having the first one. Thank you so much, Shireen. Much appreciated. Uh, I have no commercial or real estate interests on Luna, in the asteroid belt, or in the nation state of Arizona. <laughs> I'll bring a positive attitude and problem-solving mindset to work each day. I understand and accept the health risks associated with long-term exposure to a Vanderwaals field. And I will vote for Chancellor Chun Zhang in the Pan American Senate election. So when you select all of those, um, we will do the training. There's a training thing. We'll do that. Now, it starts off with the terms and conditions, and the terms and conditions are long, but also kind of funny. I'm not going to read them all out here because that'll be a while. But um, somebody says, question, would these be legal employment questions on Earth? No. Part of the theme of this game is that... Um, is that this is not leak or that this is pretty messed up stuff thank you so much michelle reese much appreciated all right so now here's our intro hard space shipbreaker i love this game by the way just so you're all aware Each day he steps into the yard to earn his wages working hard. I pray to the stars and heaven above to return my daddy to those he loves. If there comes a time when he and death meet, I love this intro. A friend of mine worked on this game, by the way. Thank you, Robert. Please observe this important message. Space, boundless promise, limitless resources, a brighter future. It's here where hard workers like you, the backbone of civilization, will help us pave the way to the galaxy. I'm Calicia Rye Paulson. President of Lynx Corporation Salvage Division. When my great great grandfather Exeter founded Lynx, he foresaw a remarkable opportunity among the stars. His vision eventually brought us the rail gates. Now spanning all the way to Jupiter, these are the veins connecting all of modern civilization. And the people flowing through them are its lifeblood. The railgates reinvigorated humanity and are key to our continued. Thank you, Sally Dragon. Love that you do this. To join the link Celebrating family. my birthday by donating. This is more than Smiling a job. face with hearts. It's an opportunity. Love that people you do asking this. which game this is, this is hard space ship by donating. And Smiling face with hearts. In human history. Your dream may be to forge your own destiny one day. Well, Work hard. Aid your superiors. Believe in the Link's vision. Do this, and you too will get your chance. 
Your first step is to join our Ever Work program, the greatest gift we give our employees, turning death into an ongoing opportunity for learning okay. and growth. With length, death is a fresh start. Good luck. I'm trying to see if I can mess with the audio on that. Did that turn turn it down any? Um, Cause yeah, it is a little loud, and I'm trying to uh, trying not to uh, break your guys' ears. Uh, Carla, you gotta follow the link in the description. Uh, there's a link in the description below, and that will allow you to uh, to donate. Um, so, all right, let me just see if I can get this. Um, this is not good if it's that loud because that's bothering people. Um, I guess I'm going to have to watch here for the next donation just so I can try to turn that down. People are saying death is a fresh start. Oh, watch this part. Video observation complete. To finalize onboarding, <laughs> during extraction are largely tolerable. Yeah. Please note, as outlined in section 31 of your employment agreement, the process of genetic extraction will destroy your original body. Beginning extraction now. <laughs> extraction analysis and backup complete. Thank you. Beginning fair generation. So the start of the game is basically that the company kills you and then restarts it. Now it sounds quieter to me, so let's start I'm... this off right. I'm just trying to see, hopefully that'll work, or hopefully that's working. Um, thank you, Alex. Uh, much appreciated. Um, I'm just trying to see if I can cut the sound on that without, um, yeah. So, all right. People are saying it's still loud. So the financial account begins with... You being mm, what's that? A trillion credits in the hole? <laughs> Thank you, Heidi. Um, all right, let me see if I can. Let me see if there's a way I can turn that down. I'm sorry, folks. I don't want it to be too loud. I'm just... Uh, so let me just see if I can... Uh, let me see if I can figure that out. Eh. Resources. Eh. So I gotta find that. Um, I gotta find the thing I'm using too. Rock on, Ian. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Sonneth. It's uh, the Galactic Ninja Dog. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, that is actually uh, really awesome. All right, so I gotta pull up. Um, I'm going to see if I can get to this and try to uh, uh, 
I'm going to try to uh, see if I can uh, get this to uh, get the configuration to, um, you know, less loud. Because um, more loud is not good. We don't need more loud. All right. Um... Let's try this. Sorry, folks. I'm just trying to... Uh... You're probably hearing a bunch of cha-chings. I'm just trying to do test alerts here. All right, hopefully that's quieter. This is such a good cause. Good luck. All right, um, so that's one updated. Um, okay. Why is that? Why is that doing time until extra life? Oh. That's why. Um, save. Did that update it? No, I need a new link. Okay, let me fix the link here. Sorry about the. Uh, sorry about the uh, delays here, folks. I'm just trying to get it right because. Um, you know, we want this to be. Uh, there we go. There we go. That's promising. All right, I guess all we need now is um, a volunteer for a test donation. So hopefully we'll uh, we'll see that. All right, all right. Breathe, breathe. You're okay. Everything's going to be just fine. There you go. Plenty of folks feel a bit woozy with the first pair. Hey, anyway, welcome aboard. The name's Weaver. I'm the foreman. And a couple of other ship breakers in this region. This year, Oregon may, may not look like How's that for right sound? She'll purr like a kitten. Alright, let's test out your orientation control. Do me a favor and look up at that cargo elevator up above. So that's where all the salvage gets collected. Is the sound all right? Just in case you ever turn Excellent. yourself out of whack. Thank you so much, all right, on the night. So we got roll thrusters. All right. Now let's get you flying. Activating your thruster controls now. Try moving around. Now vertical control. Mm hmm Looks good. Now, to finalize these movement checks, I need to fly the So we're just doing the tutorial here. We are playing a game called Hard Space Shipbreaker. Until there were some uh, complications with my last revive. Those are early days in the tech, though, so never you mind about that. Oh, almost forgot the most important thing. Brakes. Get yourself going at a decent clip, and then test them out, why don't you? So at this point, we can only move pretty slow. Philip, I'm sorry if yours got All skipped. Right. And I haven't played Daisy. Thank you, Jen. Um, ding, ding. Would you just... Is it um, is it not updating properly? What's going on here? Uh, or do we have a number of them? Thank you, anonymous. So these furnaces are used to melt down soft metals. Should go without saying, these things are hot as all get out. So, try not to drift into them by accident. <laughs> okay, let's get a handle on your grapple tool. 
This fella here is a shipbreaker's bread and butter. This is how we move salvage around. Activate the beam and hold it to grab an object and move it around, if it's not too heavy. Give it a go. Move one of these pieces into either furnace. So, when you're holding an object with the grapple, you can retract the beam. This will pull a light object and it's heavier. It'll pull you towards it. Thank you, Anonymous. Much appreciated. Nice job cleaning up that soft metal scrap cutter. Huh. Let's move on to the bigger nail part of the now, shall we? You may have already oh, thank you, Anonymous. they're too heavy to move with your grapple. I'm enabling your scanner so we can check out their structural makeup. Go ahead and boot it up. So... This mode of your scanner lets you assess an object's structure. What I want you to focus on right now are these cut points. All right. Controls give me the go-ahead to get you cut. And I forget what the actual... You got quick access to all your tools through your HUD. Just open up your tool selector and choose the cut tool. Yes, the cutting tool has yes. two modes. The first one hmm. is... The thing seems to be stuck. Or really slow. Let me see if I can fix that, too. Um, Testing. It... Testing. Huh. It doesn't seem to have a... Um... Doesn't seem to have a thing to... Um... So yeah, Shelby Fogg, thank you so much. Doesn't seem to have a thing to like amend how long it shows a, a, a display for. Stinger. It's designed for precision vaporization of cut points like this. You ready to perform some zero-G surgery cutter? Well, let's split this scrap so it's light enough to move. Good night, Pixie. <laughs> That's how you do it. Okay. Let me move up the uh, do me a favor, look on over at one of them there. Yeah, so I can see if they activate, right? Yeah, perfect. Wish me luck here, Cutter. Thank you, sibling creature. Much appreciated. Hey, all right. We're in business. Now swap over your grapple and toss one of those pieces you separated right in there. So basically, we have to cut things up and then sort them into the right um, into the right place. So we're just uh, firing those things away. And off they go. And then they get uh, disintegrated. that large aluminum chunk over there. Now this beast is way too heavy to move as is. It's also too dense for your stinger to break it down. Thank you, my pixie now, designs. Cut points for us to take advantage of. We're going to have to switch over to the split saw mode of your cutting tool and start slicing this thing down to size. Go ahead and switch cut modes now. So, then now can... try changing the angle of the cut. We're in business. I've unlocked the trigger on your cutting tool. It'll split that big chunk clean in two. Go ahead and give her a whirl. I'm going to turn on your salvage indicator so you can track how much work there is left to do. This thing will track how much you've salvaged and how much you've lost. For now, let's try and hit that first coal marker. And that's what it's all about, Cutter. More salvage goals. I'm not seeing the update all that fast. So. I'm uh, I'm behind on the. Oh. Head on in, and we'll get started. 
So now we just fly back to the uh, fly back here. <laughs> About to go to sleep, hug. <laughs> Good game. Nice. All right. Now, most of these will be done under time pressure. This is just the... Uh... You're so awesome, now... Ian. Oh, thank you. New certification level achieved. License. Thank you, Mary. Much appreciated. You're awesome, Ian. Hello, ship breaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. Welcome to your new home, Cutter. There's everything you need. This uh, is officially Jonathan, I might play some uh, phasmophobia with them. Habitation business, something or other. Around here, we just call it your hab. Now, how's about you get yourself some rest? We'll pick up your training in the morning. Sleep tight there, Cutter. So now off to sleep. Hello, ship breaker 9346-52. Thank you, Shaz. Message. Make the most of your shift by fanning the tiny sparks of effort into flames of profitability. Rise and shine, Cutter. Hope you feel well rested. Ready to continue your training? Okay, let's have a look at your employee terminal. Now, let's get caught up on career progression and certification. I've sent you a message with an explanation. Go on and give it a read. Uh, Shireen, there is a thing with the total, but it... Um... It doesn't show up for a bit after each message, so we're going to have to wait a bit to see it. Don't worry. I'm here to walk you through the process. Soon enough, I'm going to introduce you to some of the other shipbreakers. Most of them are willing to help you out. Right. Thank you, Caitlin. Let's start a new ship and pick your first ship to work on. I'm not going to read all the uh, the messages here, but uh, so we're going to start on a ship called a mackerel, I think. Um, and uh, this screen shows which ships you have access to. Each morning, you can choose to continue working on the ship you got or start a fresh one. Go ahead and claim one and we'll get to work. So let's start with a light cargo mackerel. How am I tonight? It's gonna be a long night. Together for a good time in the name of a good cause. You can't beat that. Your primary goal is to reach rank three. Getting together for a good time in the name of a good cause. Nanocarbon goes in the processor. Aluminum goes in the furnace. Try to salvage the entire ship if you can. We call it using the whole buffalo. You'll hit your certs faster that way and start knocking out that debt of yours. I'll so, be uh, Rodney's help helping out with the auction. Good luck, Cutter. And, um, we were out. so it's not gonna, the auction items will not be starting until Rob is up at least. So basically, now what we start doing is we just start chopping a ship up. And in this case, the um, early on, these ships are pretty um, easy to sort of slice up. Oop. Because there just isn't a whole lot of complexity to them. They're just very much... Um, I guess you could just say that they're just kind of... Um, uh, they're empty, basically. They're just a husk at this stage. Later on, they will be 
full of stuff. We'll have to worry about. But at this stage, we can just do some of this. Now this has got to go into this thing, and I don't have um, certain tools that I'll want to use later, so I'm just kind of uh, having to do what I can. Much love and much coffee wished for you. Much love and much coffee, guys. Now I am not actually a coffee drinker. Much coffee wished for you. And I know your goal will be met eventually. So basically we're just gonna keep on tearing this thing apart. Now early on it is slow. Later on I'll be able to I'd have had all this stuff that I'm doing now done already. But for right now. Yeah, hopefully that's not going to miss. Oh, something there is still attached. That's not good. I don't want to get launched into uh, the sun. In memory of my friend Rebecca, who recently lost her battle with brain cancer. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but... Uh, in memory of Just my friend Rebecca, who recently lost her battle with brain cancer. Oh. God, my that, uh, I feel like there's been too many good people lost lately. So I'm sorry to hear that. You know what made me come up here? One day, we got a batch of this particular model in. One of them kinds with synthetic skin and everything. We almost never saw people looking ones like that. They are always too expensive to manufacture. Seems someone found a warehouse full of them. Mothballed for, oh, 20 years or so. Since the AI ban took effect. Probably bought the whole lot for pennies, thinking they could turn a tidy profit with the sell. Don't worry about These things look exactly like my stepbrother Jed. He even had the same slack jaw. I thank you so much. Yeah. Nothing. But all the same, I couldn't bring myself to start smashing that dopey face. And that's when I looked mm -hmm. into getting on with links. i tell you what, it's a side better to cut up something that doesn't look like a family relation. <laughs> anyway, I'm running on. I'll clear the channel. Holler if there's anything giving you grief up there, Cutter. We were out. Huh. They've modified these ships a little bit, so they're a little different than they used to be. So this goes there. There's something Material I should accepted. cutting here to... Uh... Ah, there we go. That just comes right apart. Great. It used to be those things didn't come apart at all. So this part we're sending to the furnace. This great big thing. Salvage goal reached. Rewards the time. Excellent. Salvage goal is what we want. That gets us some points we can use to uh, improve ourselves. So all of that's got to go to the furnace. Deposit. Rip this door out. It goes to the furnace. Oh, I destroyed glass. Oh, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. You guys are amazing. All right. This game is really kind of satisfying because you just kind of put everything in its 
place. And uh, there's still something holding that one in. Find it. Cut it loose. Ah, here we go. That's where there would have been an elev or uh, an airlock. But this one doesn't have an airlock because we're early on and they don't trust us with airlocks yet. So there we go. That all goes to the processor. That's a pretty big chunk. Thank you for your time. Oh, thank you. Thank you for your time. This goes to Process, process. Transferring credit. All right. Almost got this thing uh, sliced and diced. Now this part just goes, whoa. You got to be careful because if you end up in the uh, furnaces, it uh, that's pretty lethal. All right, let's cut this down to size a little bit here so we can move it. doesn't like when I destroy things. All right. Maybe this will move a little better. Yep, there we go. Well, thank you so much. Eventually, it's going to have me on a timer here. So usually, you've got to do multiple steps. All right, so thruster cap. That'd be a problem if we had a thruster, but we don't. So we're just going to shove this right into the processor, as is. And then we can watch it disintegrate. Oh, thank you so much. Ah, good night, John. And good night, uh, Carolyn. I think we're, uh, there's going to be a lot of nighttime here where there's going to be very few people, but, um, oh, and Truffle says we, uh, we hit 20,000. Holy crap, guys. Um, that is amazing. So now we've hit rank three, and they're going to give us more tools and better tools. Uh, Chris Thompson, there's not a lot of great breakfast choices. Um, what kind of breakfast are you looking for? Are you looking for something fancy, or are you looking for just like diner? Um, what do you? Uh, what strikes your uh, strikes your fancy here? Good morning, Cutter. All right, thank you so much. Looking good, Cutter. Now go ahead, and pick another ship. All right. Uh, this is Hard Space Shipbreaker, is the game we're playing right now. Um, so that's where we're at. Um, and guys, uh, we are doing great, but we have fallen down to uh, number 14 on the uh, the leaderboard here. We've been pushed down by a Jesse Bledsoe, who's uh, apparently at NASA or has a picture at NASA. That's kind of cool. Um, so... Uh, we are down to number 14. <laughs> we may have to uh, may have to work at that. Oh, it's, why did we... It looks like we're starting to see the corporate donors uh, really pouring money in. Yeah, there's corporate donors who are really uh, hitting that. That is that is to be expected. So thank you so much, uh, uh, Joshua there. And um, all right. No, I don't want to continue salvaging. I want a new ship. Um, 
Let's try a station hopper. I love the uh, sort of cheery music there. It's uh, very corporate. All right, let me just... So I can watch the chat there. No, no, because I got places to be. Frank, we're going to give you the next greatest ship. Now, this one will be full of machinery, electronics, furniture, all stuff that links to the electric. You're going to want to throw those items off the There's uh, the big green thing below you. Go ahead, have a look. Toss any valuable objects or components down there. Don't worry about breaking anything. There's a dampening field that'll catch everything. Looks great. Most of the time. Let's <laughs> give it a go. So all of this like electronic stuff has to go down to the barge. And so basically you gotta uh I don't think I needed to actually yank that one, but we gotta sort things as we go Solid now. A little bit more sorting. This has got to go in there. And I just kind of hope it ends up where it's got to be. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, wow. All right. So. Object process. Transferring credits. Let's go in there. And now that I've got the bottom cut out like that, um, that makes my life easier for uh, a lot of the barge work. I can just do that. Um, nice work. Got that pretty quickly. Now, let me teach you about the kiosk. Once the training wheels come off, links regulations mean you gotta cover your own oxygen and fuel cost. That's the way things go. Turn it on now. Now, no need to panic. They'll last you a good while. But if you end up running out, you gotta top up at the kiosk over there. Let's have a look. The if you end up running out is, uh, you end up running out all the time. This is access to the kiosk. I'm like, nope, still salvaging. So we just rip those off and off they go. Everything must go. <laughs> Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Am I not on the time limit here? Oh, cool. Later on, they'll have me on shift time limits. Thing sort of gives you a preview of what it's going to slice up. You got to be careful because the uh, thruster fuel um, that'll blow up if I start messing with it, and that can kill you in a hurry. I don't want that to get away from me. I want that to end up in there. Go in the place where you're supposed to be. It's just really satisfying when you got these little ships and then you just make them go away. It's like, goodbye. All right, it wants me to go to the kiosk. Let's do that. Thank you so much, I love. Thank you, uh, Diane Bailey. Is there significance to the number there? Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Kevin, good stuff, Connor. Pretty easy, right? All right. 
I'll leave you to it. We'll chat again when you hit the next rank. Weaver out. All right. Or it goes in the processor. It tells you where everything goes, so that Processing helps. Applying credits to account. All right. And this is a titanium panel, which we can just yeet that way. There's a lot of yeeting in this game. Oh, thank you, Anonymous. Much appreciated. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. And I couldn't turn off memberships without um, basically causing a whole bunch of other trouble. But uh, this is intended to be a, a charity stream. So I'll just say, hey... Um, it's best if you uh, send that to the extra life rather than memberships. I am not the boss of you, so I can't like make that happen. But um, you know, just saying. Um, so this is an airlock, and we're just gonna cut it loose. Thank you, Apple Silver. Much appreciated. Best wishes to Ian and all the kids in the scholar. Best wishes to Ian and all the kids in the scholar. All right, so we're just getting this all processed up. This is a very peaceful game here, and it's kind of nice and relaxing. All right, and at this stage, the um, these things are real easy to cut off. Later on, they're more of a pain in the butt. But we can just launch that into the... Uh, those things are expensive and easy to miss. Whereas these are a little bigger, so you probably don't miss them. I don't think this thing has a thruster in it, but we're going to check. Remember to not sit wrong. Thank you, Secret Labs. Four-hour charity live stream. Try to remember to not sit wrong. Okay, that's hilarious. Um, for the people who don't get the running joke on that one. Um, so the, uh, my chair, the, uh, it's not really a great chair because it keeps falling apart and they say that I must have been sitting wrong. So that's what that, uh, that's what that's about. All right. So now we've got this big chunky thing. Let's try to get rid of it. Bye. It goes in there. Wow, I can't keep up. Thank you, guys. Good luck. Thank you, Jane. Much appreciated. Oh. Both the donation and the sentiment. Oh, Cam, you say your sister's a lawyer? That is, uh, or that's awesome. I mean, maybe it depends on whether you're fighting over stuff, but... Uh... I know lawyers get a bad reputation, but... Um... All in all, I think uh, there's a lot of room to do good in the profession, so it just, it, it's what you do with it, right? There's good mechanics and bad mechanics, and same thing with everything. Jan, thank you so much. Um, now, there's these little things which I can't actually do anything with yet. Later on, I'll be able to collect them. Shots of hot sauce. All right, we're gonna take shots of hot sauce. Is that what we're doing? 
<laughs> Processing object. Applying credits to account. That's the uh, real maple. It's good stuff. It's giving me a bit of grief because I'm destroying lights. Hey, So it's warning me that I'm low on oxygen. Applying credit. Thank you, Carla. Oh, great thank cause. you. Thank you, Ian Runkle, for your golden heart and great integrity. Is this thing ready to move? It is. All right. What else do I need to salvage out of here? Usually there's another console or something. No, it looks like I may have got them. They don't have me on the clock yet, so I might as well um, take advantage. Off you go. Now, is there a way to get the glass out a little more efficiently? Nope, that I don't want to do. Oh, thank you guys so much. Raw material deposited. All right. Now we've got this cut loose. Off it goes. Ooh, hold on. I still wanted to cut the glass off of you. Glass is worth a surprising amount. So, it goes in there. Yeah, that was 70,000 credits, which is... Um, I think about the same as one of these big chunks. Uh, substantially more than one of those big chunks. So I, you don't want to waste the glass. Never going to give you up, never going to let you down. Never going to let you down. Never going to make you cry. Never going to say goodbye. Never going to tell a lie. I'm getting rickrolled. That's been a while since I've been rickrolled, but uh, <laughs> love it. I already removed that. Great. Now the airlocks are worth a tremendous amount, so you got to make sure those end up in the barge. And we're almost at the lights are too finicky to really worry about much. Now I am going to steal some fuel while we're here. And some O2. And then the rest... Whoa! Don't end up where that was sending me. Deposit accepted for processing. All right, is that cut through? There we go. You go there. Material deposited. Account credit You also applied. go there. Something's still holding on. You got this, Ian. You got this, Ian. Well, thank you. 
There we go. Now it's in two pieces. Once it's in two pieces, then I can fling it where it needs to be. Everything into the bins. Raw material accepted. Nothing I can do about the door. What else am I missing here? Is it just that junk? Or is there something else I'm missing over here? That's another ship. Okay, that's a big chunk of stuff I haven't... Where did that get to? Huh. I've got this big chunk of stuff that's missing. And I don't know where it is. Did that not make it in? Oh, that's the problem. Those fuel tanks didn't quite make it in. Because I've got a very weak... Uh, I'm looking at the uh, thing at the top there. The uh, there we go. Somebody's saying, "Would this gravity gun be legal in Canada?" They'd find a way to ban it. Now we just sail right in and. Uh, baby steps sometime later today because um, Rob's going to be helping out with that and he is sleeping right now, which is a smart thing to be doing. Um, I am not doing smart things today. I am fundraising, but I'm not doing smart things. <laughs> so we're, uh, we're going different directions on that. And I'll also be doing the crazy pizza later. All the team at Lynx would like to wish you a happy and productive day. <laughs> Thank you, Vicky Wade. So now they're giving me access to another ship, which has electrical hazards. Uh, Trisha Lynn, I did. I'm going to have to... Uh, oh, I also need to email Rob about the, um, the Kukri. Uh, Lynx Safety Third. <laughs> um, Trisha Lynn, can you send that to Rob? Um, he's managing the auctions, so... I'm looking at the stats yeah. coming from your bay, and it's looking like you're really going to make your way around here. It's time to learn about how to upgrade your equipment, and some of the more advanced tools you'll soon have at your disposal. Head on over to your workbench in the equipment room, and we'll see about upgrading your tools. So now I go to the workstation. Links rewards hard work and learning. Yay! And new equipment. Reaching salvage goals Candy's is Daddy. essential for becoming a master shipbreaker. Basically, they want to make sure you prove yourself first before giving you the big guns. Completing salvage goals will net you shiny Links tokens. Use those tokens here to get yourself some new gear. So let's get going and learn about one of the most important tools in a shipbreaker's toolbox. Tethers. Go ahead and purchase them. So that's in the grapple. Um, tether module. Repeat after me, Cutter. Tethers are your friends. Tethers now, are great. Have a quick read. And let's hop back in the bay. Does it let me upgrade anything else while I'm here? Nope. Oh, thank you, Anonymous. Yay! 
training ship. Let me tell you how to use these things. Tethers are more powerful than the beam in your grapple. They're great for moving super heavy salvage. Try it out. Press and hold the secondary input for the grapple to begin placing. Point where you want the salvage to move to, then release the input to create the tether. So tethers basically let you create a sort of retracting cord Great. between two things. Now, what if you want to get rid of the tethers you've already placed? There's a cancel command you can send. Oh, thank you, ICJ. All right, so what was the cancel? Um, why? unlimited tethers during this training exercise but after this <coughs> when you need more you'll have to buy them from the kiosk let's see how well you can handle them try and clear out a bunch of that scrap you can stack multiple tethers on one object to increase the pull force you can also chain objects of any size together to move them as a group i've seen some cutters do incredible things with a daisy chain of tethers so basically we're just supposed to get all of this stuff out of our way onwards to one hundred thousand dollars and beyond oh thank you chris mullen i uh I don't know if we'll get to a hundred thousand, but uh one hundred thousand dollars and beyond. White art musical note musical notes. <laughs> if I get some sort of exhaustion related injury, will the hospital this stream benefits treat you? Um not the stollery because it's a kid's hospital. I'm a little old for the kids' hospital. Are your friends. Once you get the hang of them, you can get pretty creative on how you use them. Now, when you're ready. Let's go back to the hab and continue with the day. Credits transferred. So now we head back. Thank you, Ava E. That applause, I, I still love hearing it. <laughs> Links would like to share the following inspirational and because you have a training day, you end up owing them while other people get up half a million credits for that day. And apparently this game is on sale on Steam. I really like this game. Um... All right, it doesn't look like I can buy anything else yet. Yeah, let's go with a heavy cargo. Cutter, it is my distinct honor and privilege. Sound off, everyone. Hey, Rook. Me and Blue. I was the worm until you showed up. So thank you. Now I get to do the hazing. What are you talking about? We don't do that. Welcome aboard. Don't listen to her. I'm Dee. Dee. Uh, Hi. Your mic's still messed up. How about now? Running oh, joke that he uh, can never get his mic settings uh, working Mike's properly. So busted, huh? He's a lame. Oh, yeah, still waiting on the rest. Of it. Uh, heaven forbid they get functioning. I'm working on it as fast as they can. Got it on pizza. I added you to the sector comms. <laughs> it can get lonely. I don't know where I'd get banana. Check in with each other. Uh, 
chin wagon. Let's get back Banana to it. On pizza. We were out. Goodbye. But thank you, Bye. Uh, Later, Rob. not Nicholas. All right, now I don't think we're at pressurization yet, so instead we're just gonna cut this uh, miscellaneous crap off the ship here. This uh, we can just get rid of that. That's off to our favorite Canadian. Oh, thank you, the Gun Club. Much appreciated. That's off to our favorite Canadian. <laughs> This goes there. That goes there. You gotta be careful of ripping consoles off later because uh, once you rip it off and throw it away, it's uh, you can't do anything with it. And you might have needed that. At this stage, I don't think there's anything to worry about, but something to worry about for later. Later, they give you plenty to worry about. You gotta be real careful on some of these ships. So now we're gonna use the tether for the barge. Let's take that. The wonderful thing about the tethers is that you can just kind of use it and then uh, move away and do something else. Be like, yeet, off it goes. We're going to end up using lots of tethers because um, they are awesome. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Now we just want to get this cargo hatch up. Oh, and it's for the barge, so. Fire and forget is what you love about the tethers. Gotta be careful not to blow this up. And these things are heavy, so at this stage, I'm just gonna tether them out of my way. Here. <laughs> All right, now we can start throwing some of this, uh, cleaning some of this stuff up out of our way. A suit patch kit. We can use that. We're just gonna quietly take that. Now this is a power junction box, so it may spark when I pull it out. And uh, we'll just get rid of that because sparking junction box can cause us all sorts of damage. Cutter, make your way back to the kiosk on the starting platform to fill up your O2. Blue ain't your color. <laughs> Trust me on this one. We were out. It's giving me a warning saying, uh, you know, hey, get some air before you die. 2 a.m. ramen, that sounds good. I have some leftover Chinese food for, uh, uh, for this. Yeah, for this uh, stream, I've got some leftover Chinese food that's going to be just uh, excellent. Yay! 
Okay, so this panel... I don't really know what they want me to do with this one, because it goes in two different places. So we're just going to split the difference here. That's going furnace. That's going processor. Material furnace. Closet. Whoa. Or space. <laughs> Please be more careful. That was only part of it. They, uh... They are actually taking the rest of the deposit, so... Sometimes those messages are annoying. And this is where tethers are great because you can just tether something and be like, goodbye. Multi tool. Off it goes. Oh, and we're on a clock now. Seven minutes and 21 seconds. Great. Really nice, but you can just pull that and it's out of your way. Yeah, I know. Once they get close to their destination, there's like a small field that pulls them in. These power cells are worth a lot of money, so they gotta end up in their destinations. Everything in this section is worth a lot of money as well. If you're in a hurry, you can just take this whole section and just throw it in the barge. Now I do have four tethers. Great. All right. We got five minutes left in this shift, Cutter. Before they turn the lights out on you, we are yeah. out. Bye. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Now at this stage, there is no atmosphere to worry about, so the airlock is perfectly safe. Later on, you got to be very careful with these because. Um, a great source of blowing your ship apart. Warning. Oxygen reserves are low. Yeah. Well. Cutter, looks like you used your last tether. 
Head on over to the kiosk to pick up some more. How many times have I played this game? Lots. Valuable object accepted for processing. Welcome to Vendor on 9000. Stabilizing. Ooh. You need to end up there. And you can go that way. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. There's no thruster in this, so... Is it still stuck somehow? Yes, it is. Interesting. Okay, now are you still stuck? There we go. Now it's moving where I want it to be. For the most part, things are very conveniently designed in this future because they're built to be recycled. Off you go. Salvage registered. Transferring credit. All right, let's take out the glass. And object process. Transferring credit. You got one minute left. Let's Time get to shift your business. Gold. One minute left, huh? Uh, where did I put those things? All right. Well, that's everything. I got a minute left, huh? We can do all right. Ooh, I burned a power cell. Didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Uh, somebody's asking, what game is this? This is Hard Space Shipbreaker. How did the bodybuilding dinosaur die? An asteroid overdose. Love it. Goldion, thank you. Hello, Shipbreaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. Hey, Russ. I was thinking our crew could try to do this time. You know, shoot the breeze, fantasize about a debt free life and all that. <laughs> Not that that's going to happen anytime soon. Like, Weaver's been at this for years. 20, maybe? I was just getting kicked out of grade school when he started. <laughs> Dee Dee sends most of her money home. Goes through lengths, of course, with huge transfer fees. And Kaido, well, look, Kai's great. He just hasn't really taken to the work. Lynx calls him a low earner. As for me, I'm trying to get there. Oh, thank you, I've seen enough to get me one of those mining skips. You know, for belt running. Still so many rich rocks along the frontier line. Eventually want to hire some friends from back home. Oh, the Earth platforms. Around Mars? 
good people. But what kind of time? Don't know when that'll be, though. Just when I think I'm earning at a steady clip, there's another fine or fee. This job's fun as hell and all, but I got other plans. Maybe you do too. Anyway, don't want to get a fine for tying up comms. Kidding. That's not a thing. I don't think. Either way, <laughs> good luck, Rook. Blew out. Cutter 9346-52. Your designated sweep. Have a great day. Thank you, Sue Story. Oh, so we've got the Atlas Scout, and I think they've now uh, opened up reactors and thrusters. I think it's time for you to learn about the mother load of any ship, the reactor. Most dangerous part of ship breaking, but you got this. Continue when you're ready, Cutter. It's been more uh, thrusters or All right, so I spent a bunch of uh, my upgrades. Don't ever believe in Adam. They make up everything. Love it. <laughs> Why aren't you people in bed sleeping? I'm doing a 24-hour fundraiser. Um, we were at uh, 20,579, it looks like. I remember my first reactor pull. I was shaking like a leaf. You got less on the line now, but still. Let's try to do this without a critical meltdown. Looks like this ship's reactor is toward the aft, but there are lots of different configurations out in the wild. Okay, we're only focused on one thing right now. Pull the reactor and get it on the barge. As soon as you disconnect the reactor from this ship, it'll start to melt down. So act fast and make sure you have an exit strategy ahead of time. So basically, they just want to teach us about reactors right now. And I don't think All we right. actually get paid for anything this else. This one's pretty easy. should just slide out of her coolant casing with a good yank from your grapple. Try to have your extraction fully planned out before disconnecting it from the ship. So the fully planned out is we're taking it out the bottom. Salvage deposit confirmed. And to do that, we're just going to slap a tether on it and drop it directly into the barge. Easy peasy. Well, congrats, Cutter. You're certainly picking this stuff up faster than I did back in the day. Okay. I'm going to leave you to it till you get to the next range. Till then, remember this. Measure twice, cut once. The tethers are your friends. Tethers are your friends. That is good life advice. You don't want to slice open the oxygen, that'll blow up. Oh, didn't I cut you loose? I did. Back in here, so we can just start dumping stuff to the barge. Salvage 
secured. Account credit applied. More stuff goes to the barge, the happier we're going to be here. Later on, if that stuff is flying around and floating around, that's a, just a pain in the butt. And we'll get rid of those because those are worth a lot of money. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. These things are also worth a lot of money and super fragile. Doesn't look like there's a thruster in there. Okay, that is moving, good. Let's go to the barge, not the processor. These you gotta be careful with because they blow up real easy. Hence the big flammable uh, symbol on them. They're not kidding about that. Oh, thank you so much. Crap, there was a thruster in there. <laughs> oh well. I didn't think they'd give me thrusters yet. I was wrong. I didn't see it on the scanner. Oh well. That's just money lost. And next time I'll know it's in there. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, did I miss a power cell and all that? I probably did. Best of luck today for the Clover Love from the UK. Credits awarded. I almost certainly missed a power cell in there somewhere. Yeah, well. Also go to the processor. You guys so much. All right. That you want to move that? Looks like. I gotta be a little more careful because there's not much mass left on this thing. So it's gonna start to move as I yank stuff out. That's fine though. It's gonna end up where it needs to be. We got 
10 minutes. All we need to do now. Material deposited. Let's cut the glass out. Glass to the glass bin. Tether levels are low. Yeah, I know, but. That's what they're for. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. Rewards assigned. Yeah, all right. Somebody says, can I put a count up? I think the uh, count is uh, 2654. New certification level achieved. License upgraded. All right, so now I'm at a new certification level. That lets me uh, buy some more stuff. Is it spicy time yet? It is not spicy time yet. We can roll spicy time. That count seems like it might be uh, slow. We are at 21214 according to um, uh, according to that and that takes us up to 13 on the leaderboard. We are about a thousand behind Blair Bears. I don't know who Blair Bears is, but uh, we're about a thousand behind them. So um, Hello ship breaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. Howdy, Rook. So this can be uh, an awkward subject, but you probably know that Up until maybe a hundred years ago, workers like us would sometimes form these groups called unions and go toe to toe with the company. They'd argue for better wages, safer work, decent hours, that kind of thing. Lynx was actually part of getting rid of them, but some of us are trying to bring it back. I can tell you're a good person and a hard worker. The company will use you up. It's just built that way. So I thought you might be interested in the union news group. There are new messages every couple of days. Freedom, oh, thank you guys so much. Whatever. Just keep uh, on the down. Lori Lenny, I'm uh, don't know about it. Um, supporting the uh, stallery just because it's a kids' hospital. Just too um, sick kids are kind of uh, kind of important. But I wanted <laughs> you to have the info. I was glad someone gave it to me when I was new. Okay. Spiel over. <laughs> See you in the yard, bro. Cheering you on. Armor. Amber. Nickel. Rosie. Soko Jen. Randomizer. Oh. Dr. Moo. Hello, ship breaker. Thank you, guys. This is your morning wake up call. So now we're getting pressurization. So pressurization, you got to be careful with because um, if you don't make sure the ship is properly depressurized hey, before you start cutting it, it's going to uh, it's going to blow up on you. Cheering you on. Oh, thank you guys Armor, so much at Amber, the Thornbush. Nickel, Rosie, Soko Jen, Randomizer, 
Dr. Muithal. All right, so gonna improve the cooldown. Improve our grapple strength oh, yes. and. Thanks for doing this, Ian. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, another training round. So the depth debt's gonna go up. Hi. Ah, crap. Thank you, Yellow no. Spectre. Thanks for doing this. Ian. You give me a hard time, but you know I'm good. Okay, Rook, time for the fun stuff. And by fun, I mean incredibly dangerous. <laughs> You're in good hands. Take it away, Lou. Okay, first rule always scan ahead. Ships can have pockets of pressure anywhere inside them. Let's have a look. Activate your scanner now. The scanner shows the pressure state of every compartment. Red labels are unpressurized. Green are pressurized. Cut between a red room and a green room, and boom. Violent decompression. The correct term is explosive decompression. Explosive. Same deal. If we cut this ship now, it pops. Only safely in is through an airlock. If you can't find one, they show up on your scanner too. So, here we go. Good. Now cycle the airlock. Should be a switch in there. And you're in. From inside, you can safely be pressurized with an atmosphere regulator. Should be one nearby. Give it a go. Hey! All right, look! You're a fast learner, or I'm an amazing teacher. Now, sometimes you're gonna have to depressurize a ship violently. Uh, explosively? Explosively. As soon as you hear that warning, grab onto something. Seriously, you don't want to get stuck through a one inch hull factor. Believe me, it's unpleasant. Sometimes different areas of the ship have their own pressurization system. So remember, Always scan ahead. Now, hey Weaver, why don't you take the rest of the day off and I'll demo my patented reactor rodeo technique. <laughs> nah, that's all right there, Lou. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, hot tip. You know all those supplies you can buy at the kiosk? You can actually scrounge a lot of that stuff for free to ship. Come on now, Lou. You know that's against rigs. That's the door. It's also not safe. Nor oh, sanitary. Come on, what? You know how long <laughs> that stuff's been floating around and all that grime and dust? They're vacuum sealed, Weaver. Oh, probably well past their expiry date. Okay, well, it's not like I'm saying to steal power cells and flip them on the black market. Look, Lou. I need you to try and follow the rules now, yeah? Yeah, whatever, bud. Catch you later, Rook. Blue out. Cutter, I encourage you not to huff any old can of oxygen you find, but if you do, please just monitor your vitals after. Oh, and for God's sake, don't eat anything you find. Anyway, have <laughs> a good shift. Holler if you need me. Weave around. Whoops, and I've started a fire. Let's get you out of here.
Just trying to firefight in here a little bit. Alright, well, that was mildly exciting. Thankfully, nothing went boom. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Object expected to approach. Credits deposited. All right, now we still got pressure on this thing in a whole bunch of places. So that's going to be exciting. No, oh, and that's got to be uh, moved from the inside. You got to tell us. Get yourself over to the kiosk to buy some more. Buy some oxygen while I'm there. Okay, yank that off. And that. Deposited. Applying credit to account. Okay, the engine compartment is not pressurized, which is good, because otherwise this thing will come off like a bullet. There we go, thruster cap. Now this is the thing I forgot to grab last time. Right, my airlock is over here. So we're going to depressurize this thing now. Because there's some sections of this that we have to uh, depressurize the hard way. Sure this is as safe as possible before we do it, which is part of why I'm getting rid of that. Because um, that thing will blow up on you if you let it. And here's where we're going to get some boom. Oh yeah, nice and gentle. That's what we were looking for. Yeah, thing's still stuck in. Yep, and now it's unpowered. Great. So we're just going to keep that bit, and that whole thing can just go straight to No, well, I'll just take the whole thing to the barge if I do it that way. All right, there we go. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Dare to Dream Designs, thank you so much. All right. 
credits applied. Let's try to get this out of my way now. That was not my smoothest work, but nobody died. And you can see here's where the reactor lives on this one. And here's how we have to cut our uh, thing out in the cell. Get that out of my way. Reactor meltdown imminent. But we'll get it in the barge before then. Off you go. Alright, so... We've got that side stripped down. And I remembered to uh, depressurize the airlock, so this is not going to go boom. If I hadn't remembered to depressurize the airlock, we would have had a uh, little moment there. Now I want to uh, send that there, and that there. Solvent deposited. Grab that. Account. Good. Gunner, there's five minutes remaining in this ship. Get in while the getting's good. We were out. It is harder to um, strip the ship in one shift as it um, as it gets more complicated. We're gonna do what we can, though. Faster is better than slow. Cargo hatch has to go to the barge. So we gotta cut it loose. Thank you guys. Love from the UK? Oh, thank you. Raise the oxygen now. Oxygen and tethers. And we'll buy thruster fuel while we're here. All right, now we're going to go in the back. Giggity. And I want to make sure I grab the uh, atmosphere regulator, because that's worth a whole pile. 
And then the rest of this can just... And we're going to use two tethers just to get that going a little faster. I'm going to do this the lazy way. That's the lazy way. We're just sending that whole thing to, uh... Salvage Account credit applied. Salvage goal reached. Rewards assigned. Processing valuable objects. Where did that glass go? There it is. All right, we have hit our goals. And we got a full minute left on the clock. Oops, I burned an airlock console. My bad. <laughs> Thank you, Swimming Otter. Yay! Now, later on, we'll start getting explosives and uh, all sorts of other fun stuff. Amanda Lang, Ian was supposed to sleep more before the stream. Is he guilty of resisting arrest? Oh, thank you so much, Missy B. If you love what you do, you will be successful. All right, folks. Got a priority message coming in for corporate. Everyone put down what you're doing and have a listen. Hm. Maybe they're going to give us some holiday time. That'd be awesome. Hmm. That would be a first. Hey, still Probably another. Just another pulsing kid getting a cushy check job. Hush up now, y'all. This is an important message for all of the employees. It's come to our attention, thanks to a very loyal member of our family, that there has been talk about forming a shipbreakers union. A union is a dangerous thing where extensive fees are extracted for so-called representation of your workers' rights. At Lynx, our top priority is already your well-being. This is why union activity is strictly prohibited by your contract, for your own protection. To safeguard you and your work... Um, no, you're a hooker. It's, it'll be up to whether he gets a majority and whether he wants to. Every salvage sector. This administrator will oversee operations and ensure proper employee conduct. They are authorized to correct worker behavior by any means, and they'll remain in place company-wide integrity. You have a great heart. Until then, remember, each dollar the will help a child is heal. Your family. Thank you the so much for doing this fundraiser. Thank you. <laughs> no holiday. Told ya. A union? I haven't heard anything about that. Have you? Of course not. Probably happening around the Mars district. They always been. Oh, you thank you, anonymous. You heard Dollar anything like that, Luke? Child heal. Uh, thank no. you so much for doing hey, this Weaver, fundraiser. Do you know when our administrator's showing up? Uh, week maybe. Coming all the way from HQ at Jupiter Gate. When they get here, we'll need to be on our best behavior. Oh, great. Ah, nothing to fret about, all right? But they are going to be checking everything. <laughs> Love Dallas it, Nick Grossman. Olympic high jumper walks into a bar. He loses. Oh, great. You'll be fine, Kai. It's not a performance review. Lou's right. Now, let's just try and keep our heads down and weather this storm together. See y'all in the yard. We were out. Hey, don't worry. This is a closed channel. Well, looks like things might get a bit difficult around here. 
you are a star. We're gonna try to make our lives hell. Don't worry. Just having access to the Union News Group doesn't make you a full-fledged member. Besides, no one from corporate has access. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous. If anything happens, I'll make sure nothing comes down on you. Lou out. <laughs> And so now there is more fuel things and fire risks. You are a star, white, medium star. Grapple, Tether Lifetime is a good buy. More heat capacity is always good. And that's all my Lynx tokens. And I also, I think, want to uh, fix the ones that are below 90%. All right, let's just a uh, small donation this time. Oh, uh, small donations, large donations, and if you can't donate, just being here is good. So, morning, folks. How y'all holding up? I can't hear you, Kaido. Kai, try switching to another frequency and then back again. Can you hear me now? I hear you. Okay, hey, okay. I have a question. What's this, this ad administrator gonna do? They're being countered. Waste our time with productivity reports. Oh, they've come here before? Sure. Accidents go up, they send someone. Sometimes they just send someone to find out if they need to send someone. That ain't a big deal, Kai. You heard right, Paulson. I guess they're just sneaking around for union stuff. Right? So we're just yeah. getting rid of this That's little... Uh... Top. These types have the attention span of a gopher. <laughs> What? Boy, you better come visit sometime on Mars when you're done here. <laughs> One day, we'll all go see them gophers. What not? Keep that front of mind and don't fret none. Carry on now. We were out. So this ion ring is worth a whole pile. And it's actually not too much of a hassle. So, although sometimes you got to watch that they uh, actually make it there. These things, on the other hand, are uh, potentially explosive. Transferring credits. But they are a lot of mass on the uh, ship, which can sometimes be useful too. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. But in this case, I just want to get rid of them, I think. And by get rid of them, I mean cash in. So one clamp, two clamps, kick it off the ship, and then down it goes. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. The one at the bottom is even easier, because we can just do that. And then off it goes. The one at the top is going to be a pain in the butt. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. If it wasn't for the fact that it's explosive, I'd just leave it until later, but... Always good to get the things that go boom off your ship.
All right, so nearly everything on this is already depressurized. Airlock depressurizing. Airlock pressurizing. Set the engine compartment here. And so now we've got to find this thing. There's not always one of these on it. Air pressure level Later on, they're increasing. destroyed. A lot. Oh, and I'm being told I gotta roll something. One second here. Um We are at spicy time. So that uh that is a good place to be. Uh, let me just see where we're at, because uh, that ticker seems to be a little slow. Uh, we're at $21,504, which has us at 13th on the leaderboard. Uh, Blair Bears is still ahead of us by about 500 bucks. So uh, that's just, uh, you know, where we sit. All right. Let me just pull up the uh, chat again, just so I can make sure uh, nobody's getting up to too much trouble. All right. Not that I uh not that I really need to worry about you guys. All right, so here we are at the back here. So we got this and we're gonna just start. Uh, why is that not moving? I think it's because my uh, thing is not sufficiently powerful yet. All right, now we're out. That gets us a little bit of freedom to play around here. Amplifier. High gain antenna, those will get rid of. And I want to save that. We're not going to get this uh, salvaged in one go. We're going to do what we can. Come on, move. There we go. Oh, that's stuck. Why is that stuck? There we go. And let's get the reactor off that. There we go. We'll get that out of our way here. Now that's something's got that stuck. It's sticking it. I want to peel that off. It's probably partially the table. Partially the storage bin. There we go. Ah, now I gotta go buy more oxygen. 
Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Oh, crud. I hope that part wasn't pressurized. In which case, I may have made my life a little more difficult. Welcome to Vintage Oxygen Oxygen level stabilizing. Parts of it are, in fact, pressurized. And here's how... I, oh! Airlock this does still have power. Excellent. All right, this is about to... Uh, Stellar Commission, Part 1. The Stellar Commission, governing body for most of humanity, a barometer for stellar conflict and a platform for pan-solar collaboration. Let's look at the organization, its wins and losses over the years, and how it has been tested by many logistical and social issues. Since 2275, when it was formed to address the need for a unified method of governing the many disparate colonies of humankind, the Stellar Commission has routinely come up against one of the ugliest forces in the whole solar system, the sheer, unmitigated joy of corporations exploiting humans as they see fit. Centuries of nearly zero regulation amid the colonies has emboldened and empowered these corporations to the point that they've come to wield immense power over civilization. You think that with the formation of the commission, whose members hail from all corners of the solar system, those companies would have found their true match. But frankly, the actions of the commission have been largely wanting. The long procession of chair folk, all the way back to the first of their line, Chairperson Rao, despite their best efforts, have seen themselves outperformed practically every step of the way. The sad reality is that the Commission has largely struggled to find methods to govern the many vast pockets of humanity, scattered tens of thousands of kilometers apart from one another. We the peoples of the Stellar Commission band together in determination to save future generations of the horrors and historical missteps of our dying home planet, which has brought untold sorrows to humankind. We've got five minutes left on the clock, Cutter. Five minutes remaining. Why does Earth make fun of the moon? Because it has no life. <laughs> Processing valuable deposits. Credit transferred. <laughs> Salvage registered. Transferring credit. Yeah. I want to drag everything in there. This game is very good for your uh, three-dimensional spatial awareness. Alright. Now this thing is a mix of stuff that goes in the processor and stuff that goes in the furnace. So you gotta separate this out. This the last thing you want is to uh, burn your valuable processor stuff. 
as a general rule, stuff that goes in the processor is worth less than stuff that goes in the barge and more than stuff that goes in the um, furnace. So furnace is least, processor is most. Um, and, or sorry, furnace is least, barge is most. Valuable object. Credit awarded. There we go. And then the bits for the processor can go to the processor. Now we don't have too much left of our ship here. Thank you so much. a little um, I guess living space here. You can take these things apart from the inside a little bit. say it anyway. We're still going to have a little bit left of the ship, but... That is life. the clock here. Uh, this is not on Twitch as well. This is just YouTube. Um, I'm not good at Twitch. Baby Gator saying, is anyone going to go to sleep and hear yay in their dreams? Um, I'm not going to go to sleep for a while. Hello, ship breaker. Overnight genetic backup complete. Pattern deviation nominal. Have a good day. Hey there, Rook. Saw that you found an old data drive while you were salvaging. Now, I'm a bit of a tech head and a history nerd, so I love <laughs> these things. They're uncensored info. Eh, sometimes it's junk, but sometimes, sometimes it's gold. Either way, it's a more genuine view of the colonies than what you see on the Garbage News Network. I'm sending you a data recovery program. You'll see it on your HAP terminal. Soaking in solar radiation mangles up the data pretty bad. Uh, but you can usually pull one or two intact the files. The Chuji show or Chuji, I'm not sure which it is, uh, show live is saying, how many games did you play last year? I can't remember. I just... Sort of Later go through run. as I feel like it. If you guys get bored of this game, we can switch off to another one. My dogs are called Rolex and Timex. They're watchdogs. Oh. All right. Now this time we're going to continue our uh, continue our ship. Oh, it's bad 
with you, kid. What's next? Salvaging seven of the same type of object in a row? W wait, is that bad luck? <laughs> CD, that's ridiculous. You listen to me, kiddo. I've been doing this job for 17 years. I've seen a lot of bad stuff in my day. When I'm telling you don't whistle, don't process seven of the same object in a row, and don't look at the moon while inside a ship, you really need to listen. All right, all right. No more whistling. We got it. Valuable object process. I'm just glad that the whistling is done because the whistling is annoying. <laughs> All right. Um, what's the best way to get this stuff out? Well, here's what we're going to do. There we go. guys so much. All right. Hmm. It's got a grip on that and I don't want it to. Cell. Console. Secured. Account credit applied. Processor right, deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Javelins just take a while to process. Just is what it is. Uh, do I want to do this the effortful way or the lazy way? I want to do it the lazy way. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, but I want to... That first. Cheering you on from every present. Cash it on YouTube. Thank you so much. Cheering you on from MNUSA. Cash on YouTube. Thank you, Cash Account credited. Processing object. Applying credits to account. We'll just burn some tethers on that. This thing's going to be too big to go all in one piece, especially with my current tether levels. Can slice and dice. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. Processing valuable deposit. Credit transferred. Salvage goal reached. Rewards declined. Thank you. 
processing valuable objects. Credit awarded. <laughs> Tether supplies running low. Yeah, they'll do that. There we go. Got this, uh... Quest is asking, what game is this? This is Hard Space Shipbreaker. What do you call a lawyer who can cook a sous chef? Nice. Object accepted for processing. Credit deposited. There we go. All You guys are amazing on the dad jokes. I used to race snails, but I lost it all after I took the shell off. Thought it'd make him faster, but he just became more sluggish. Oh. <laughs> just don't play power washing simulator. Why not? I might uh, later on get Alan Wake 2 and play that. That little Atlas roast about. Cutter, I want to tell you, I'm mighty impressed by you. Remind me of me when I started. All bright eyed and bushy tailed. Had big dreams of hitting the rails back then. Bought myself one of them classic armadillo rigs. Named the old girl Beulah after my mother. Told you about my bad revive a while back. Another case of me and technology not getting on, I guess. Bottom line is, this body just ain't fit for flying no more. So. I want to give Beulah to you, Cutter. She ain't in the best of shape, but she'll do good by you. Hell, even a few places around the village that'll fit her out for gate travel, if you're so inclined. Anyway, that's it. She'll do more for you than me now. I'm just happy she's going to be with somebody that truly appreciates her. We were out. salvage goals. Yeah, um, hey, Weaver, do you know when this ad administrator gets here? Should be here any day now, but remember, no need to worry. Ah, thanks. Kai, you good? Yeah, yeah, just nervous, you know. I just, I really can't lose this job. Whoa, slow down there. They always let go of the screw-ups first, right? We all screw up, Kai. Just work careful. Avoid any major accidents. You'll be golden. Yeah. I just need to keep... 
Keep my head down. All right. I don't really see a good way to depressurize this thing safely. So we're going to do it the fun way. I guess. Um, okay, there's a door. It's probably closed because of the pressure differential. Airlock pressurizing. So is there a way to pressurize this? Uh, well. Airlock depressurizing. That seems to have covered my pressure uh, issues, so... I don't really know how to take this thing apart. I don't think I've dealt with one of these before. So, I'm just going to start cutting things. Push pad. Okay, how do I take this out? Looks like of some of this stuff. Light bank. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Thank you, uh, thank you so much there. Oh, we got another one. Thank you, Paige. And when's the other one going to come up here? Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Yank all the stuff out of this. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Salvage 
technology secured credits deposited. Access panel, that's promising. Valuable object accepted for processing. There we go. Thruster nozzle. I don't think I need that. Oxygen reserves are low. Built an extra carbon. Thank you guys. Note that excess carbon dioxide can cause damage to Link's equipment. Somebody saying Stray was a great game. Don't let Rick Hogue hear you say that. I think he thinks it's uh, overrated. I mean, it could be a game, great game and overrated. Those two things are possible. At least I think he was not a fan of that one. All right, this looks like it's going to be a disaster. Clock's ticking now, Cutter. Get in there and hit that shutoff switch. Yeah, come on. That's it, Kurt. Real satisfying when it comes apart like that, don't you think? I'll leave you to it from here. We were out. I do kind of think that. All right, so that's how we take these things apart, I guess. Back wall there. guys. Got to be careful around these fuel tanks. Oh wait, this whole thing goes into the... Uh...
object accepted for processing. Credit deposited. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Thank you guys. And I can tell you, Mrs. Runkle was like, have fun, I'm going to be asleep. <laughs> Just tells you she makes better life choices than I do. All right, we got two minutes, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mess with that during the two minutes. That we got. Is that not moving? Oh, because it's stuck. There we go. Now it's good. Oh, thank you guys so much. Thank you, Callista. I'm getting a wee bit hungry. I may have to go and uh, grab some Chinese food in a second, but. Uh, Morning. Oxygen reserves are low. We got 18 seconds, so I'm not uh, worrying about the oxygen right, right now. I heard right, Rook. Weaver gave you his old armadillo. Oh man, that's so lucky. I used to help my old man fix up beaters like that. I hear weavers might not be in the best shape. Listen, I've got something that'll help get it ready to ride the rails. I'm transferring diagnostic programs to your terminal. Go ahead and boot it up. Hi, I'm Shippy. Need help with a triple pot bypass? Let me know. Getting data. This now. is not a furry game. <laughs> Amazing. 
Oh, old girl was used for construction at some point. Hmm. Whoa. Could maybe even be kitted out for salvage running one day. This program will identify what parts you need to fix her up. Don't pay too much attention to Shippy. That thing talks way too much. <laughs> you can probably find everything you need just kicking around while salvaging. Bits and pieces that Lynx doesn't care much about. Oh! You could also rip parts out of other ship components. And ruin the salvage value, of course. Maybe don't tell Weaver if you're gonna do that. Can't wait to see what you do with this beauty. Good luck, Brooke! You're showing symptoms of a- Thank you guys so much. So we've still got more ship left. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you for your money. Level levels restored. Valuable object accepted for processing. We've got an air filter here that we can... Uh... It's stuck. So it's got that attached. It's attached via some fabric. Red heart. Red heart. Right out of the way. That'll let me get in there. There's our reactor. There we go. All right. Let's see what we got to do here. I enjoy giving kids money. LUL. <laughs> this is the only time I enjoy giving kids money. LUL. Okay, that's funny. Yeah, normally I think if you're trying to give kids money, people look at you with a little bit of suspicion. Here's our air filter that I was trying to pull off. Looks like you've got a part for the armadillo. See if there's any more lying around in there. All right, I still have these things to uh, deal with. Let's do that now. Thank you so much. As someone who is a patient of the Great Mormon ST here in the 
as someone who was a patient of Great Ormond ST here in the UK. I think this is a great thing you do. I think this is a great thing you do. Oh, thank you. And there we go. We've blown that open. Yeah, one of the things I've mentioned before in these streams is that um, I spent a lot of time in hospitals as a kid, and they kind of sucked. Um, and, but it was important because, yeah, I had really bad asthma as a kid. And so my first memory is actually of me um, in an oxygen tent. And um, if you've never been in an oxygen tent, it is the worst form of camping. Um, <laughs> so I don't recommend it. But um, I mean, it was helpful for me. Ooh, what just happened there? <laughs> well, I just got. <laughs> Good thing I wasn't playing on the. Uh... No, I was crushed. <laughs> you are in breach of your contract terms. All right, all right. Breathe. You okay? Got yourself good there. Don't sweat it. Happens to the best of us. Always good to review your spare replacement form. See how you can avoid future mishaps. Too many spares will rack up the debt, and that's how they get you. Well, and I've also okay. given myself a limit of uh, 30 on these. We were out. So, uh, too many spares, and eventually I will lose. Salvage secured. Applying credit. It's a good thing I didn't go with uh, just one, or that would have been game. Instant crushing. <laughs> Took me by surprise there. Salvage registered. Was not expecting credit. that. Object process. Transferring credit. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Over $22,000. I sounds like we just ticked over uh, a milestone there. That is amazing. Um, when I set the, uh, the goal at uh, last year's fundraising, I was like, there's no way we're going to get there. And I'm starting to wonder if maybe we will. I don't know. Um, I don't want to get my hopes up. Because uh, that would be amazing. Processing valuable object. Credit awarded. All right.
valuable object protest. Credit the warning. There we go. Still haven't gotten the reactor out yet. Five minutes to figure this bad boy out. Scott, you're looking at roughly five minutes left in this shift. Keep on at it. We were out. What we're doing is we're doing this the lazy way. Salvage goal achieved. Rewards allocated. Okay, this bit's going to the processor. There's the right way to do it, and there's the lazy way. And the lazy way is sometimes also the right way to do it. Welcome to Test your fuel, tethers. Thank you for your tethers restored. Oh, top 12. New certification level attained. Hello, ship breaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. Hey, newbie. Hey, just having a couple cold ones and thought I'd ask you something. You ever heard of karaoke? Karaoke? No? Runkle, just keep being your sarcastic. Hey. My daughter wants to be a singer. Runkle, just keep being your sarcastic, awesome Believe self. it or not. Thank you for supporting I these kids. Belt out mm, thank you. Hey, you think Lou can rig something up so as we can do karaoke over calm? Clever ideas, that kid. <laughs> uh, well, anyways, I'm gonna get some shut eye. Gotta do it all over again tomorrow. Am I right? Good night, kiddo. <laughs> Good morning, ship breaker. Lynx mandates a maximum of eight hours of sleep. Any extra sleep time will be docked from the next pay cycle. Eight hours? Who's getting eight hours? Let me introduce you to Hal Rhodes. Hey. No need for introductions, Weaver. I know who you all are. Let's just get right into it. I know you don't love a middle manager like me coming in, making life hard. 
Yeah, I get it. See, I'm from people like you. Used to work the lynx yards around Ceres. Eh, uh, not ship breaking, of course. Processing. Which, honestly, is just as tough. Real back-breaking work. Yep, we know processing can be just Look, as tough. this is real simple. I hit my goals, and I'm out of your hair. But we all gotta pull the rope in the same direction. Get it? Cooperation. Cooperation. You scratch my back, and we'll all be done here in no time. Okay, then. I'm taking the day to settle in, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bright and early. Okay? Okay, then. Um... This guy thinks he knows what backbreaking work is. I'm telling ya. One week. Tops. Guy's gonna cooperate with the business end of my grapple. <laughs> okay, now. Remember, be on your best behavior. See y'all in the yard. Have I ever had a case involving a juvenile? Lots. Um, juveniles get in trouble all the time. I, you gotta love the posters here. There's a poster that just says decor. Also, I'm just gonna bring this one up. I just want Ruckle to be on the front page of the leaderboard with his lack of profile picture. Somehow it makes it sweeter. I gotta say, um, this is specifically why I, um, I haven't set one. Because I'm sure somebody out there is looking at the leaderboard going, who is this guy with no profile picture who's beating us? <laughs> it's just like, yep. Um, and that's that's entertaining. So, um, I mean, I don't know who these other people are that I'm uh, beating out either. I'm just checking out the uh, Blair Bears. Um Part of Gearbox Union. I don't know what that is. Um, so, just checking them out. Um, looks like they were streaming a while ago. Uh, they have a donation of nearly five grand from Central Pennsylvania Community Foundation. Interesting. Otherwise, they just seem to be... Um, like just a random person, so that's interesting. I think that they might be somebody who works for Gearbox Software, though. So, we'll uh, curious. Um, I'm just checking people out because it's uh, it's curious on that one. So, all right, let's. Um, I guess let's get back to it. I can't be uh, checking out the competition the whole time, so uh, let's. Uh, and. Competition is kind of the fun thing on this one because at the end of the day, it's, um, you know, we're all working towards, I mean, similar causes, different hospitals, but um, it's kind of the same cause. So, all right. Now, uh, I need, so let's pull up a, um, I don't want to do a roustabout. Let's do a javelin, maybe. I was just doing the atlas. Or, yeah. All right, let's do uh, heavy cargo.
Morning, folks. Starting the shift clock now. Another day, another dent in the dead. <laughs> and you don't want to race me? You don't quit racing. You're going to get yourself killed for real someday. Uh, this is Hal. Just wondering, how much time is spent chatting on average in a day here? It's just the crew checking in with one another from time to time. No harm in that. Well, as you know, the Lynx employee handbook says that avoiding chatter makes profit better. Uh, talking to each other is good for productivity, actually. Hmm. Well, we'll look at the performance reports later and see, I guess. People are people. Doesn't mean we don't take our work seriously, Rose. Steiner, right? No need to talk back. Hey now, it's all good, right? Let's everybody just get back to work. Fine. I'm out of here. Good, good. You should all focus on your work. Oh, he's such a lovely human, isn't he? And he feels like somebody we've all worked for. I think most of us have had the uh, the experience of somebody like that guy. Somebody's saying, is this like uh, littering in space? No, this is salvage. Phono text reading. The Stellar Commission. Part 3. With all due respect to the Commission's chair vote, it has been disappointing for many of us average solar citizens to feel like the Stellar Commission hasn't lived up to its promises. After the win in the fight against the AI revolution, Many look to the Commission to provide further protections for human labor across the system. But continuously the Commission seemed outperformed by the more nimble corporations, who were untethered by the bureaucratic process which the Commission seemed ever obsessed to observe and follow. As much as we all understand the appeal of following dry rules and protocol, ha, huh, when it comes to protecting real, human lives, perhaps a more practical approach is in order. With Jupiter Gate established, we find ourselves again in a position of corporate dominance at the forefront of human progress, which threatens once more to be the defining factor in the lives of so many hopeful people. We must not allow this to happen again. We require leadership from the Commission. Leadership which isn't fueled by profit, but rather by... Thank you so much. And maybe, in the future, the Commission can put more emphasis on the fostering of collaborative, proactive efforts, rather than reactively scrambling in the wake of ruthless corporate juggernauts. Salvage secured. Account credit. So now I've got that uh, section depressurized. Which means I can start yanking stuff. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Salvage registered. Transferring credit. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Salvage accepted. Credits applied. All right. I 
I think in order to get this thing off, I have to slice the arrow bridge. There we go. the reactor gone. Maria Esther Toledo, thank you. soundtrack for this game is pretty cool. Um, it's never like really in your face, but it just provides a good, uh, good background. Good vibes. Oxygen. Lame. All right, let's go not die. <laughs> Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Uh, pegs, I don't know. Um, maybe I'll start a poll here in just a second. Yeah, I'll switch over to Alan Wake 2, I guess, when people kind of want to see a switch. Um, I gotta actually buy it. <laughs> Shift's got about five minutes left in her. 
Let's make them count. We were out. Processing valuable objects. Credit awarded. Thank you so much. So this is a great big explosive device that we're trying to cut out. It's important to hit the flush switch so that it doesn't um, have uh, anything in the lines. Otherwise, those pipes will blow up on you. Let's get rid of these. Uh, make ourselves some room here. Get rid of some of the cells. We've cracked twenty two thousand. Holy crap. guys are crazy because I figured at um, at this hour I figured I would probably be just uh, playing games on my own but there's 800 of you here I kind of assumed it would just be me because <laughs> I figured people are gonna want to sleep all right I'm just gonna throw this in the barge here I know if I was you guys, I'd just want to sleep. Deposit registered. Account credit. So more sane universe, that's what I'm doing right now. But sleep doesn't help the kids, so we're going a different direction on this one. That ends up in there, I don't mind. Salvage secured. Applying credit. All right, Cutter, wrap it up. You got about a minute left. Yeah, we're not going to have it fully wrapped, but we do some damage to it. Oh, crud. That thing. I guess let's go deal with that. Or at least get it open. I don't know if I can deal with it. But... At least I can get that out of the way. Good job. Thank you, Daphne. Good job. 
job. Uh, Lori Howard, that is correct. Even if you can't afford to donate, um, just being here is good. good morning, I mean, hell, you help keep me awake. <laughs> Today's weather report, clear and sunny, with a high of minus 270 degrees. All right, somebody mentioned that um, I'll have to have uh, uh, get Alan Wake uh, downloading. That's a good thought. I should probably do that now. I think it's an Epic exclusive right now. So I'm just uh, pulling that up here. Uh, All right, we're just uh, pulling this up here. All right, give me one second. Let's just find that in the store. Alan Wake 2, Deluxe Edition. It was on sale. I guess I missed the sale. Oh, well. What does the Deluxe Edition get me over the regular? Oh, it gets me the expansion pack. All right, we'll go with the Deluxe Edition, I guess. Add to cart. Hundred bucks for Alan Wake too. I just got to make sure it's not actually streaming my credit card information. That's good. <laughs> All right, let me just uh, get the credit card out. Place order. Yeah, I don't want to uh, stream my credit card information. Uh, you guys would have me cleaned out by the end of the stream. <laughs> uh, where's my order going through? Oh, it says my CVV is invalid. No, it isn't. <sighs> Let's try this again. Oh, maybe it's because I got a new card. It wants me to update it. Yeah, we're going to have to delete that. And now i got to type in my card information all over again. And not read it to you guys as I do. That would not be helpful. There we go. Oh, come on. So it doesn't want to take this credit card because it says I've made too many CVV failure attempts. Um, but I just added this card just... Uh, Wait 24 hours. Okay. Um, I guess we'll try another card.
All right, here we go. Is it working? Come on, come on, come on. There we go. That was going to be disappointing if that didn't work. Looks like they also take PayPal, so... All right, Alan Wake 2. We're going to hit the install button. And now it is installing. While it installs, we're going to keep playing. Now wait, we're going to... Start out by doing the uh, ship doctor. The dock is in, and it's time for some shipoplasty. Shipoplasty. Oh, God. All right, we're going to increase the uh, cooldown. Uh, can I add to my air? No. All right. We're going to continue this ship. What device am I playing Alan Wake on? Um, this PC, which hopefully is... Um... Feeling okay, Kai? Oh, yeah. Thinking, I guess. Looking at Earth. Hard to imagine how much life to put on it. Can't fixate on the past, kid. Uh, yeah. You know, if my life had been different, I wouldn't be up here. I'd be working with animals. Well, nature in general. Maybe an ecologist or biologist. Not sure what they do, but I think I'd like it. Just imagine what Earth must have been like a couple hundred years ago. Full of life. Animal husbandry ain't quite the same. But it might scratch that itch. Something to consider at least when you finish it. Ah, uh, yeah. Thanks, Dee. I'll keep that in mind. When I finish. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Accepted. Credit applied. Valuable object processed. Credit deposited. And we're just going to slowly turn this thing into money. <laughs> Deposit 
There we go. So I'm having trouble getting that thing to actually do its thing. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. See somebody saying, does the competition have cool streams going? A lot of them are asleep right now. Um, like mine, it shows as live. Um, a lot of them, I think, are sleeping right at this moment. That doesn't mean that they won't be doing uh, neat stuff later. But I think a lot of them are um, napping. And that's fine. Gives me more time to get ahead. <laughs> Trying not to be competitive. Trying. <laughs> Processing I'm not always the best at not being competitive. And deposit registered. Account credited. Yeah, screw it. We're just doing this. Rather than cutting this thing apart, we're just going to take the whole thing and dunk it. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. All salvage is complete. All rewards allocated. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you for your powers to be stored. Now we've, uh... What is it? Now we've ranked up. New certification level achieved. License upgraded. <laughs> They're going to start adding more fun stuff as we go. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. Links would like to share the following inspirational stories with chance to work hard at work worth doing. Class 2 reactors with coolant, environmental control units. Thank you, Heronius Napalm the Fifth. Oh, congratulations on settling your house. We'll start training when you're ready, and I'll walk you through. Oh, they're not so bad. You've seen one reactor, you've seen them all, I think. This ain't really that simple. Yeah, I got a tip for you there, newbie. 
Don't blow it up. <laughs> Cutter, like I said, let me know when you're ready to start training. Don't take too long. <laughs> All right, so now we've got a training ship. Ooh, Brightfire saying I could make deviled eggs if I wanted to take the time. I I could go for some deviled eggs. Deviled eggs are good. All right, Cutter. Time to extract your first class two reactor. This one's not quite as simple. Just pull it and march it, right? Pretty straightforward. Well, I'm sure head office would rather the reactor was in one piece. Pulling this beast without proper prep is a sure way to print yourself a receipt for a new spare. Sure, sure, prep. But you're on the clock, don't forget. As I was saying, like any reactor, it'll melt down as soon as it's disconnected from its housing. And these class twos will melt down mighty quick unless you do two things first. First, release the connection to the thrusters. Second, remove the coolant from the ship's environmental control unit, or ECU. Uh, or just cut a hole, pull it, and barge it. <sighs> just make sure you clear an extraction route before doing anything, Cutter. As soon as you release the thrusters and mass with the ECU coolant, that reactor will enter a controlled meltdown. Oh, and if you're having trouble finding everything, try using the systems mode of your scanner. Thank you. This out of the way, and these things can go. They are in our way. Thank you so much. Salvage secured. Applying credit. All right. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. These reactors are a lot more. Uh, you gotta put some work in before you're ready to, to yank it. Processing object. Applying credits to account. Little panels aren't worth anything, but I still processing valuable deposit. Credits oh. transferred. Thank you. All right, so our next step now. You know what? I'm just going to do this the dumb way. Ooh. 
Actually, no, we're going to do it the, uh, the way Weaver suggests right now, just to piss off Hal. <laughs> So now the reactor's going. Great work, Cutter. Handling both the thrusters and ECU. Yay! Yay! Still, you want to get it on the bars, right? Well, I'll be. Well done, Cutter. You continue to impress. Now we just got to work on improving the time. All right. We're done with training. Now, great work today, Cutter. We were out. Yeah, Hal is kind of relentlessly a dick, but like relentlessly. <laughs> And now that there's no coolant in it, it's safe to remove that. Let's get that moving. Processing valuable object. Credit award. Go yeah, I am, uh, I'm kind of in awe. You guys are amazing. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. All right, let's see if I've got enough power still to, uh, depressurize this. Ah. The regulator's broken. All right. So we're gonna have to do this the uh, that way. I yeah. Somebody says I'm amazed we have uh, 800 people awake at this hour. Me too. Oh, nice. Thank you. I I got to check the top 10 then. Give me a second. We're, uh, we're going to do a refresh, see what the ranking is. My overall rank is 11. So I am at 22, 578. What does it take to be at? Uh, we are about a um, couple hundred bucks away from breaking into the top 10. And once that happens, we're going to start seeing me get kicked out of the top 10 um, repeatedly. But <laughs> um, that's still uh, still fun because uh, that just tells you that you're uh, making some uh, corporate bureaucrat very annoyed. Thank you. 
Processing valuable deposit. Credit transfer. Object process. Credit deposited. Salvage secured. Credit deposited. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Amplifier. Oh, crud. Oh well. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Salvage goal reached. Rewards assigned. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. I accidentally destroyed some other stuff. We're going to be a little more judicious, I guess, would be the word. Noting that it's 11 p.m. in New Zealand. That's, uh, feels like a fairly reasonable hour by comparison. Deposit deposited. Applying credit to account. Deposit accepted for processing. Salvage deposit registered. Account accredited. What time is it? It's 3.47. That's not so bad. By which I mean, it can get so much worse. <laughs> Processing object. Applying credit to account. I'm going to be hurting by the end of this. I can tell you that already for free.
Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Yep, it'll get worse. But it is for a good cause, so. We're not playing Candy Crush. No, we're not doing Candy Crush. I don't even know how I'd get Candy Crush working on my computer. Isn't that a cell phone game? Hate the pitter patter. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Uh, not my real name. Let's get first page. I hear ya. How are we doing on the uh, hitting the uh, top ten? I hear some people saying we are now in the top 10. Awesome. Check in just a moment here. I'm just kind of on a roll. <laughs> Salvage deposit registered. Account 
account accredited. Once we're done this uh, round, shift. We're getting down to the wire. Let's put a bow on this shift. Wait, did he say shift or? Morning ship breaker. Your allocated shift time will be commencing shortly. Now I'm just going to check the, um, how are we doing, doing on the, uh, I got to see the top 10. <laughs> there we are. Uh, next person above us is uh, like 3,000 above us. So that's a fairly uh, substantial chunk. But um, it would not surprise me to see a sudden bump that knocks us down. So. Uh, all right. And although the guy ahead of us is Mr. Taco and his uh, little logo is a taco that is chugging hot sauce. So I can't feel too bad about that if somebody's beating me out who's, um, you know, whose logo is a uh, taco chugging hot sauce because, um, you know, um, oh, I'm seeing people saying I'm lagging. Um, that might be the game install. Let me just... Um, actually, what I also need to do is I'm going to switch off my VPN. Disconnect. All right. Um, I'm going to take a moment here. I'm just going to pull up the... Um, the uh, sort of uh, away from keyboard thing as I... Um, Go grab myself some food. One second. Um, short break.
All right. Sorry about that. Um, I just got some food because um, it's going to be a long evening. It's um, somebody who's saying, does Canada have daylight savings time? You bet we do. Um, Canada basically has to harmonize with whatever the U.S. does because otherwise we would be SOL. Um, so um, I also went and grabbed this. Um, this is Dr. Brown's Cell Ray Soda. Um, it is the only soda, I believe, that is um, made with celery. So, cheers. Um, they've been making this since 1869. 1869, they've been making Cell Ray Soda. It is actually pretty good, believe it or not. Um, so, yeah, it's um, kind of weird, but, like, so am I. So, <laughs> oh, what happened? No, there we go. I was like, where, what's going on? All right, so we're going to continue this ship. <laughs> Somebody says, you're not weird, Ian. Um, Sorry, but you are wrong on that one. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Pretty sure I'm objectively weird. But I mean, that's okay. I think probably doing this stream is weird, but um, sometimes weird can be okay. Weird does not have to be a bad thing. I mean, it can, depending on how you do Salvage weird. Registered. Transferring credit. And there's plenty of people who do weird in ways that are not great, but, you know. We're going to try to be better. Thank you so much, Katie. All right, that Salvage I already pulled. Secured. Credits awarded. I think even if we don't want to admit it, everybody's kind of weird in their own way. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. At least I hope everyone gives them a little, gives themselves a little room to be weird. Every year. 
This is one of the best charities out there, and I hope you shatter the goal amount. Well, I am planning on keeping the uh, keeping this going. And, uh, this is one of the best charities out there, and I hope you shatter the goal amount. I kind of figure, um, you know, this is uh, a good way to go about doing things, and if I can raise a bit of money, then great. Um, Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. And I mean, I've said I'm being selfish. Uh, the hospital will put up a plaque for me if I. Uh, what is it? Uh, if I uh, manage to get more than a hundred thousand in lifetime fundraising, so I think that would be cool. So that's my selfishness here. Is I would, uh, I think that would be really cool. One saying need to marinate marinate some chicken fillets for burgers later. Ooh. Now I'm hungry and I have food right next to me, which I'm sort of letting cool for a minute because it just came out of the microwave. And when it came out of the microwave, it was capable of like scarring flesh, so I was like, yeah, I can take a second. Oh, somebody's saying, please tell everyone about the garden project. They want to set up like a an outdoor space for, uh, you know, for sick kids to be able to hang out in. Because um, often kids who are sick don't really get a lot of outside time. So, yeah. So I think that is super cool. Uh, Jesse, ra ra ra. Have a um, have a good sleep. Truffle Hound noting that the top ten have raised uh, about eight hundred and thirty thousand dollars. That is wow. Because um, so. It sounds like uh, by the end of this, I'm guessing they'll have cracked a million going to, uh, you know, to children's hospitals. Good morning, Shipbreaker. Listen up, guys. I got something you'll all like. Oh, are you leaving already? <laughs> <laughs> I went ahead and got you all clearance to use something that'll make you 10 times more efficient. Easy. 20 times. You ready? Demo listen charges. Smart free. These will cut through damn near anything. Wait, wait, wait. Spark free demo charges? That sounds pretty cool, Mr. Rhodes. Thank you. Uh-uh. No way. Not a chance. Damn things aren't new. Hell, I've been vaporized by those stupid things plenty of times. Curazon, you're... Spark-free. <laughs> things spark so much you could put one on a birthday cake. <laughs> Curazon! That's it! Come hey, Boss Man C. I'm um, revoking your privileges for external communications. You... What? Yeah. 
Yeah, no comms outside the station network. No more calls to Mars. All of you need to understand something. I represent the company, and you show me respect. Got it? Hal, let's you and I sit down and talk about this. That's all for now. Let's get to work. Well, well, I can't quite afford the demo charges yet. Well, I'm apparently reaching EU hours now. All right, so now we are at hazard level six. Oh, and somebody was asking, what are my leftovers? Um, spicy pork, uh, Singapore noodles, uh, beef with ginger and green onion hot pot, and um, uh, guy lan. I do need clams. Clams would be awesome. Uh, Bob, the uh, donation link, I think, closes at the end of the year. So if you... Uh, you got time. And if you're wondering, yeah, I did grab a little uh, stuffed animal there in the uh, in the game. Material accepted. Credits transferred. 
Get rid of this ion ring. There we go. Now this is all pressurized, which is exactly what I don't want it to be. So much. Four hours in and twenty-two thousand dollars done. Amazing job. <laughs> Four hours in and twenty-two thousand dollars done. Amazing job. Enjoy your black because we know you can. I I hope. Um, if we do, I will make sure to post a picture of that. And, you know, we'll. Uh, We'll have a celebration stream if that uh, if that is the case, because um, that would be awesome. <laughs> All right, how am I gonna do this? Let's see. Make myself a little bit of. Uh, Oh, awesome, thank you guys. Got to plan out my uh Later on you have to do more thinking. At first it's just like ah Slice this thing up and whatever else. And later on, you're like, mm, I don't want this to blow up on me. I'm right. Keep moving, I am right. All right. Oh, that's an interesting... Uh, oh, that's overlay, not... Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. There was an object that was uh, appearing and disappearing, and I was like, what the hell? So there's our thruster. These things are worth a heap of money, so... Sure, you got that covered. Salvage secured. Applying credit. And when you're wondering what I mean by a heap of money, I mean it uh, pretty much got me to a salvage goal on its own.
this thing isn't worth much money, but I just, uh, it's kind of an awkward shape, so I want it out of my way. Gotta love this sort of country twang to all of this. Oxygen reserves low. Links recommend regular gentle exercise to increase blood oxygen levels. Welcome to Visitron 9000. Oxygen levels stabilizing. I like how you have to pay for your own gear as you go. Processing object. Applying credits to account. We're looking at five minutes left in your shift, Cutter. Do what you do. We were out. Thank you so much. Wet coast. I'm guessing that's uh, BC. <laughs> I used to live out there. I know how much rain there is. So I'm just sending the whole thing down to the barge. Don't have to worry about uh, meltdown if you just never let it uh, go critical. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Even when you're scrambling, this game feels fairly peaceful. It's kind of nice. You go. Morning, Tammy. How are you doing? Salvage secured. Account credit applied. I hope you're having a wonderful morning. Valuable object process. Credit awarded. Thank you. 
Raw material process. Credit deposited. One minute left on the clock, Cutter. One minute left. No, we'll do what we need to do. Now. Now. Serene. <laughs> Transmission waiting. Hey folks, this is a private channel. Dee Dee, you alright? No, I'm not. Taking away my comm privileges? Family's probably worried as hell about me now. I'm working on that, Dee Dee. I'll get your comms back. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is he actually allowed to do that? He is. Didn't think he would. But he is. But does he. Outbreak. <laughs> it's complicated, Label. Still think he'll be gone in a week, Dee Dee. If he isn't, I'm gonna float over there and take him straight out of the airlock. <laughs> nice. If I get my hands on him, ooh. All right, hold up now. Let's not get all fire and brimstone. Uh, Regina, I this love time. this game. It's a great now, game. Why don't we all just call it a day? Get some shut eye, and we'll. Hit this up tomorrow, all right? We were out. Good morning, Shipbreaker. Lynx would like to share the following message. The only peas permitted in the salvage yard are profit, processor, and potassium trifluoromethane sulfonate. <laughs> Some training on how to use just chuck them down and light them up should see a big boost in efficiency <laughs> hey cutter i'm uh patching through the operation manual for those things be careful okay <laughs> hmm. 
Thank you so much, Sue. Uh, Sue Herman. Thirty-seven dollars till uh, we're at twenty-three k. Nope. Hey there, fellas. Thought I'd share some words of wisdom this morning. This is from Megan Rye Paulson's book, Owning the Future. You should read it. <clears throat> okay. Focus. Focus is the brawn of the mind. Focus is power. Focus is divination. Focus on what you want to achieve. Let nothing deter you, and you will succeed. Focus is achievement. So let's focus up out there, yeah? Let's achieve, people. Rose out. I love how there's focus is achievement from like the family that, uh, you know, <laughs> is, uh, you know, it's just like, oh yeah, well, why do you have this position? Because you're related to the person who did whatever. Thank you, Crazy Cat Queen, and no need to apologize. Sorry it can't be more. This year has been a bit rough. Love you, Uncle. Love you too, and I gotta uh, I gotta make you uh, sort of a replacement for the uh, mail issue. If I was in space, would this be my soundtrack? Probably not. Um, but it works pretty well now that we're here, I guess. Thank you, Perceptions of Charity. things out of the way. Thank you. 
deposit accepted for processing. Raw material deposited. And then some yummy airlocks. Thank you so much. Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. Good thing. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. And there it goes. Good morning, Aaron Cooper. Object process. Transferring credit. daughter's 18th birthday smiley face oh thank you uh, Yay! 18 18 i see daughter's 18th birthday smiley nice face. happy birthday to your daughter i hope uh hope it's a great one it's a big uh that's a big birthday Snagged up. Let's see if I can unsnag. How much did you get last year? Uh, last year we got to fifty thousand. I'm hoping we can uh, do the same this year. How much did you get last year? I don't know if we'll be able to, but it would be nice. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you. Stabilizing. I guess Dream Big is the... Uh, the thing of the moment on that one. Object accepted for processing. Credit 
positive. Cutter, shift clock says five minutes left. You know what to do. We run. Thank you, uh, Squinting Cat. I'm hearing all the yays twice, and I'm not sure why, but uh, it is what it is. Marvin CZ, thank you so much. Object accepted for processing. Credit deposited. We're working on it. We're making great progress on that. Cutter, your equipment durability is dropping. Keep an eye on it. You don't want to be dangling in the wind with busted tools. When you see it happening, head on back to the hab. Use a repair kit to fix them up. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. and what you do for others is so beautiful. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That was uh, listed as in honor of Captain Corey. Well, thank you. What you do for others is so beautiful. It's uh, good to see you here, and uh, I hope you're. Uh, I hope you're holding up well. I'm it's, glad uh, I was able to help a little. <laughs> Thank you, uh, V takes you. That's uh, so. Hey, Pixie, it's uh, it's good to see you. <laughs> 
I'm glad I was able to help a little. Let's see here. Oh, I know why I'm getting doubled. I think it might be uh, doing that. New certification level has been achieved. License level increased. The Jovian Safety Commission has stated this design of the spark-free demo charge is the safest, I guess. Good morning, ship breaker. Your theta wave levels are high. Please administer two caffeine pods before starting your shift. Mm -hmm. This is for power generators. Got a bit of a surprise for you this morning, 52. Well, I think we should talk this through a bit more. Yeah, yeah, Joseph. Something you'll learn about being a manager, always be pushing your people. It's how they grow. Now, I see so much confidence on this crew. I think it's time to bump everyone up a hazard level. Now, this is too I'm simple. Thinking, uh, I really don't see eye to eye with you on this. <laughs> Well, sometimes you need an outside perspective on things. All right, Joseph. Go ahead and train up 52 here when they're ready. Uh, sorry, Cutter. I'll help ease you into this. Just let me know when you're ready to start training. We were out. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how are you? Hi, friend. Where I've I heard you're at a con. I'm at a con. I just got I just got back to the room. Oh, how is it? But I am too old to be getting back to my room at 3 50 in the morning. <laughs> I know that feeling where you're just like, this wouldn't have been a problem like 10 years ago, but now, oh my God. <laughs> I'm what feeling are you that. Playing? Now. <laughs> uh this game Hard Space Shipbreaker. Basically, you take ships apart and you recycle them. And also it's it's one of those games that's kind of it's like perfect for attention deficit because you start out with like this whole ship and then you like put it away and it vanishes and it's like ah oh, now this is all um you know neatly organized kind of thing it's, that's so cool it's like that's you get the effect of doing chores though doing chores <laughs> i completely understand why that would be coming to the brain there's, it's like there's a whole genre of games that like imitate chores and yet are somehow fun um how do you feel about games that match fruit i don't know many games that match fruit <laughs> oh you mean like the cell phone games suika suika is a japanese fruit matching game it is on the switch it is also on the computer it is so fun I have not tried that one. I may have to try it. How is it spelled? S U I K A. S U I K A. Yep. And chat, for those of you asking if I'm getting up this early, no, I just got back to my room from a very <laughs> long night out. I mean, so, that could be a good thing. No, because I was up this morning before the sun rose because I had so much to do today. Oh, so yeah. I've, I've been up for, for too many hours. Tonight was not supposed to be a late night. And one of the folks that we were out with, who is here from Dubai, lost a cell phone and an Uber. And 
That's everything no fun. went sideways from there. <laughs> yeah, because once you lose one, it's like, well. And um, traveling internationally is hard. Traveling internationally without a cell phone is hard. Trying to track down a cell phone in an Uber is hard. It to, <laughs> Lawyering skills were used to recover the cell phone and get everyone wrangled back to their own hotel. Um. Yeah, I'm just thinking because like normally you'd use your cell phone to say like, hey, I, you know, I forgot something in your car. Correct. Um, Correct. And it's like the Uber driver's like, hey, we need to connect. And we're all staying at different hotels. The Uber driver's like, hey, we need to connect. What number can I call you at? It's like, no, no, all of us are going to different places. So there's no number to call to connect. I'm like, you're going to have to call the front desk like, and and use like landlines. I, so Wow, hi. that just, that seems quaint. It's adorable. <laughs> How? No, chat, no rumors. Caroline did not lose her phone. Um, so, so no, but, but it was it, the entire Real Housewives of Dubai team is here. So it was none of the housewives that lost their phone. Um, <laughs> tonight's been, tonight's been utter chaos, but it's been a lot of fun. And I figured, I was like, wait a second. I didn't think I would have time to stream. I'm like, but it's 4 a.m. Runkle's doing a 24-hour live stream. I'm like, we can go keep Runkle company it, for a few minutes. It'll, uh, I'll be here sort of whenever, but you're, it sounds like things are going to be crazy there. Oh, things um, are crazy here. I'm going to have to go to bed for a couple hours and then it's back up and doing it tomorrow. And then I've got a meet up tomorrow evening. So I need to preserve my voice a little bit. Um, yeah. Tonight was I, really uh, fun. I just... <sighs> I'm finding myself less and less able to do some of those things where you're just like crash yeah. for, um, you know, a couple hours. Um, I still, I still feel like I'm like diminished after like the depth trial from sleeping on the concrete. It's like, I feel like I never really fully recovered from that. And, um, yeah, today's going to be fun. <laughs> no, I'm going to sleep spring. till February when I get home. <laughs> I, I, I'm just, I'm going to need three months to catch up. It's, it's a ridiculously busy event. And it's like the full days of the event are busy. And then there are evening things. And then there are things after the evening things. And so it is just, it is go, 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 go. And then sometimes you don't exactly know where you're go, go, going. And so I left my room this morning at like 7 a.m., and I think I got back into my room to like swap out purses at <laughs> 11 p.m. as we were getting ready to go to a different party. So it was it was fun, but it's been wild. And then Vegas is the casinos that we're in and out of mostly are still smoking. So my brain is and my throat is dying like I'm. Oh, yeah. Too smoke sensitive for Vegas. You. Yeah, I, I feel the same way where it's just like somebody's smoking nearby and you're just like, Ugh. it's a lot. I still have to go take my eyelashes off. Like I'm still in full like <laughs> housewife mode. And what's and funny thing, is how many of them watch the law tube space, which I'm loving. That now I'm nervous because I'm like, uh oh, <laughs> I don't know if your law tube space and my law tube space and the pop culture space crossover that much I, I don't do as much of the pop culture just because i don't watch as much of the pop culture like i don't think i've actually watched a real housewives so the only thing i know about is stacks and um and that's like all that you would... need to know ever that housewife is not here <laughs> that would make for very poor conversation though if i were it's like so um what do you guys do other than stacks like <laughs> that's probably not a great conversation opener and it's so funny because bravo when you come to the cons like this you forget how many properties they have if you watch one or two you forget how many different properties there are so uh, i mean there's i don't know everyone on all of the different properties so you'll be talking to somebody and they're like oh no you do like the youtube thing and it's like yeah tell me what you do they're like i'm on xyz property and i'm like S i'm sorry i there's a there's a lot of them and I'm I apologize. So sometimes not knowing who people are becomes a whole thing as well. So I uh, 
I've had that mistake of like meeting somebody. I, I met somebody and I was like, oh, I, and I introduced myself and I was like, and who are you? And the guy just went and walked away. And I can't even rem like, and it was some like B list person, not like a, but it was like somebody you who thought they ought to have been recognized. Oh, and they just kind of walked away. And I was like, oh, dear. what'd I do? And they're like, um, you just kind of accidentally insulted somebody. And I was like, Oh, though. That's a better response. Know. Last night we were at a party. Um, and one of my friends that I am here with was sitting down to talk to somebody and at one point leaned over and went, remind me of your name again. And she completely threw a drink on him. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I so prefer the intense. just, I prefer the, uh, and then walk yes. away to that. <laughs> yeah. BravoCon's been dramatic and it started today. It's dramatic. It's, it's, uh, it's so many thousands of people. It's so many people. The convention center is so big. It's it's wild. So, but it is a con. Oh my God, it's so good to see you, Pixie. How do you look so good after a massive night out? I don't, I have my glasses on. <laughs> I was going to say, I think glasses help a lot. Glasses cover a lot of ills. A lot, like a lot of, and so do a lot lashes. Of the, a lot of the tired comes around the eyes. Is Down here. Oh. The glasses help. Um, and my hair is still decent because there's no humidity, but it smells like smoke. So, because well, I guess. The other thing is just like you go to those cons and you're like, oh, yeah, it's like an eight hour day. But you can't skip you can't skip all the after stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. That's where a lot of the stuff happens. That's the point. That's where all the conversations are. That's where a lot of the networking is. That is the point. Somebody so. was asking if you got the boozy ice cream. Nisa, I did. I did. Thank you so much. That was incredibly, incredibly kind. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate no. it. People are... What is the Katy Perry mess? I don't know. Is this one of the things that happens every time you get on a plane? I don't know. Like all the the Maya stuff, I've been catching up with Rob's Maya coverage. All the Maya stuff popped off, and people keep asking me about that here because a lot of people are interested in it. And then Murdaugh's like, um, whatever, Judge Newman, bye. So that those are the two <laughs> things. Everything else that's popped off today has been um, BravoCon related for me. It's like Tom Sandoval doing a push-up competition shirtless on a stage with james kennedy while wearing a skirt like that's how my day's been okay that's a that's a weird day <laughs> there were a lot of i know there were a lot of words in that sentence um that don't all go together but it's you, they, you didn't they do now scandal <laughs> yes scandal is different than the stacks so it's good though um what other plans do you have for this early morning hour time um, of your 24 hour stream. I'm probably at some point going to switch over to a game called Alan Wake two that just came out. Um, are, are you, are you familiar with Alan Wake? No. Um, it's sort of a horror game where this guy, um, so the first Alan Wake, uh, he is a crappy writer who ends up going off to this like Island to basically force himself to write. Mm -hmm. And then this horrible thing starts taking over his writing and he's sort of locked in a story battle with this thing, which is, so it's this weird, clever plot that knows that it's playing with bad writing and like, it's very, very interesting in that regard. And then they've expanded it over a number of sort of expansions and so I'm really curious as to what they'll do with um, with the second game because the first one, mm. first one has a big theme of um, sort of light and darkness to it. So a lot of the monsters are vulnerable to that, like light. So you have to shine a flashlight at them and stuff. I'm right. Um, and I'm probably uh, causing your eyes to glaze over here, but it is no, no, a, you're uh, not. <laughs> I'm, I'm. It sounds actually really fun. I was thinking um, 
about a game I had watched. I think Christine from Simply Neological was playing. I it's called Twelve Minutes or something, and so it's it's a I think I've heard of that one. like a puzzle game, but the story resets every twelve minutes. And so you only have 12 minutes to like solve the thing that's going on. And then it like reboots like Groundhog's Day and you have to make different choices. So when you were talking about the writing, I'm like, that actually sounds like you've got to solve this game. But if you don't solve it within the 12 minutes, you're done. And so it's, you keep building on what you learn. It, it's an interesting oh, I, game. I'm, I'm adding that one because there's another game that's very much like that, um, which is called... Um, of all things, it's called the Sexy Brutal. It has, I don't know why, but um, it um, that one similarly has a time loop where like it runs through and then horrible things happen, and you kind of have to figure out how to make them not happen. Yeah. So, like, yeah, that's I, I kind of like a bit of a puzzle game. I do too. Um, that said, they don't make puzzle games like they used to because when I was a kid, they made puzzle games that were like literally this is going to, you know, I had some games that I had to like step away from and then I would think about something in like three weeks and be like, ooh, ooh, and have to come back to the game to try it. Yeah, but I really loved that about games. Like it was, it was games that weren't so easy to solve and beat. Things were a bit yeah. more challenging. But also they had to last because you weren't updating them and they weren't coming out and they were expensive. And so you would be disappointed if you could play it through in four hours. You'd be like, what the hell? Oh, I mean, like the, the King's Quest games and stuff, I just took forever, you know, working on. But I really enjoyed them. And now if like adventure games are pretty much dead because every time they make one, it's like oh, you didn't solve this puzzle in two tries. We'll just give you the answer. And I'm like, no, no don't. don't. <laughs> we all need to learn to work through frustration. Video games are a good way to do that. And I mean, I've got attention deficit. I've got no problem with like, I will play this, run into a problem, and then play something else while thinking about that problem in the back of my head. And then come back to it when your brain is like, oh, I'm ready to solve this problem. Yeah, it's like, ooh, I had an idea. Let's go back and try that. And so I I miss that. Um, yeah, I do too. And uh, we are right now on the top 10 leaderboard. Congratulations. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to stay on the top 10 because there's a bunch of companies that are on that list. And what will happen towards the end of it is that um, They'll just they're going to start pouring money into the, you know, donating money to themselves or their, not themselves, right. but like in their name. And uh, so, but I think this is the great place to be because it means that every time um, somebody donates, it gets like multiplied by three or four because all the other companies are like, now we have to donate. I love it. You just, <laughs> it you raise so much more money by pushing it all up to the top. And I think that's so great. What a way, great way to multiply, not just the audience, but also those that are donating otherwise that want to keep their name on the board for PR purposes. So it's fantastic. And the um, just to maximize that, I've never bothered to set anything on my profile. So it's like the default logo. That's fantastic. Just so it's like, okay, companies, um, I'm beating you out. Do you want to be beat out by like the, um, you know, the Twitter egg the or whatever egg. it is? <laughs> yeah. That's too funny. Oh, I'm oh. sorry. I can't come on a 24 hour live stream and yawn. I apologize. No, it's, it's perfectly fine. Cause you have been like, you've been going hard all day and yeah, I'm sitting here. I'm being really careful. I started out before I came on the stream. I had a, uh, a dark and stormy. And it was like 1130 and I was like, I cannot do that again. No. Because if if I start like breaking out the alcohol, I'm just going to crash. Yeah. But I mean, if you're out at parties and people are drinking, like that's going to hit you too, right? Um, the thing about BravoCon is, and not for me, um, but for a lot of people, the drinking starts when the doors open. 
because that's when the lines for the bars are short. So Ooh. a lot of people start drinking at 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. It's also Vegas and Vegas feels like rules don't exist. So yes. because I mean, with the open container rules don't exist. So you can like walk around with booze anywhere. Um, so it feels like a place where rules and time don't exist. So I was kind of stunned by that when I was in Vegas, because I'm like, I'd like a Caesar. And they're like, okay, do you want it in a glass or do you want it in like a plastic cup to go? And I'm like, I, I can do that. Like I can just walk around downtown with a cup of booze. And they're like, yes, this yep. is Vegas. I was it's like, Vegas. Oh, <laughs> it's, they're just like, whatever you, they're like, Hey, you like slushies? Great. Want them boozy? Great. Yeah. Hey, you like milkshakes? Great. Why don't we stick a cheesecake on top of it, throw some alcohol in it. And now it's a crazy milkshake. I'm like, that milkshake has a cheesecake on it. What is happening? Um, Cause Vegas, everything's ridiculous in Vegas. So thing time doesn't feel like it really exists. So there is quite a lot of drinking. What I have noticed is that for the Bravo Lebs, there is a lot less drinking this year and reality TV has been coming under a lot of fire about drinking and and what goes on with drinking. There's been a lot less of that this year. Uh so I, that's been interesting to see. That doesn't surprise me at all just because the um like the amount of flack they could get if somebody staggers out drunk and like, you know, your reality TV star just punched somebody in the parking lot. Oh, they don't even go to the parking lots. It's so funny how these things work. They take, like, they have vans. They take all of the, the talent that's here for this from hotel to venue, from venue to after thing, from after thing back to hotel. So they have them they have them in like custody the entire it, time. Yeah, I was going to say an insulated bubble so they're not running into like yeah, problem. randos, which is probably for the best because it's absolutely for the best. Um, it's also for the safety and security, but it's also so they don't like lose anybody at a craps table that needs to be on a panel tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. or at 9 a.m. or whatever. <laughs> so they have pretty early call times. Um, so they really do tend to shuttle them around and control their movements. But what's funny is last night we went to a party um, that we had been invited to and we got into the lobby of the hotel and it was packed full of people waiting to watch Bravo celebrities walk in and out of the hotel. And I asked, we were grabbing drinks at the bar at the hotel and I asked somebody, Oh, are you guys just, are you staying here? And they're like, Oh no, the Uber drivers were asking us if we were here for BravoCon and it said we've been taking a lot of people from the airport to this hotel. So then everybody who was who was in the area figured out the hotel that most oh. of the talent was staying at. So they're sitting in the lobby waiting for people to walk in and out. Which oh, I get. Man. You know, yep. which I completely get, but it was the you know, you can do all the security measures you want to do, but what you can't control are the Uber drivers who are going to be like, yep. oh, we've been driving a ton of people over to this hotel. And I mean, if you went with a cab company, you might be able to control them because they're all at the same company and the cab company could be like, if you talk about this, we're firing you. But Uber gives no Fs. No. So. Because you deserve it. <laughs> and they didn't buy, I mean, they didn't rent black cars for, you know, all of the, it's, it's, hundreds of people coming in on the town. Oh, it would be crazy. They book out entire hotels and they still have them at multiple different locations. It's it's really a wild thing to watch kind of the behind the scenes of too. It's insane. I'm just trying to imagine the expense of booking an entire Vegas hotel. Like that, the amount of money. I think it's estimated that Bravo makes somewhere in the neighborhood of $30 million on BravoCon. Damn. So, so, I mean, I, I don't know what their expenses are, but that when people were looking at the amount of tickets sold and the price of tickets sold, there were two tickets sold. One of those tickets that sold out in under three minutes was a ticket upwards of $1,000. So some of the tickets started $1,000 and then go up. Whoa. There are add-on experiences that are $500 and up. 
it's mentally possible. Sleep is essential when you're hurting cats, aka <laughs> wrangling people. <laughs> it is essential. My brain function has definitely gone down today with how long I've been awake, but it's it's a wild it's a wild thing to witness. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Um, yeah, it's kind of like VidCon for Bravo talent. It's I haven't been to a VidCon or um, I mean I I'm kind of at this stage like I do weird coverage so. Like, I don't think I'm on anybody's radar because it's like, all right, let's talk about this Canadian criminal law case. Um, I've been covering GWAX, which is this lawsuit between gun companies. And the only yeah. reason it's funny is because one side is just completely um, we're doing this Runkle, much love from Denmark, completely Denmark. dumb. Um, I got into it because I was like, okay, it's, um, you know, a gun influencer being sued, but it was like, wow this one company is really screwing up and that's funny but Always. um oh bad lawyering is can be hilarious um is and chat I, gpt involved at all no but basically they bought a company and they thought that they were getting patents and nobody actually ever bothered to check like is there a patent Oh dear! And so then they tried to pretend that they had um, trade secrets, and the court was like, "Funny thing about trade secrets, you have to actually keep them secret because there's a whole bunch of emails where they were just sending, like, random people would ask them questions about their products, and they'd be like, oh, yeah, here's all the answers.' Oh, and it's like that's not a trade secret anymore. Mm -hmm. So." I kind of feel like they're suing the wrong people because their lawyers who conducted the transaction maybe should be the people they're suing. Cause it's like, we thought we were buying IP. There is right. no IP except the lawyers who conducted that transaction are also the lawyers on the lawsuit. Well, which... they're not Alec Murdoch, so they're not going to sue themselves. Yeah. But I feel like this is the point where you need to be like, Maybe you need other counsel who yeah, can evaluate the question. Of, yeah. Yeah. So that's fun. Um, that's been going on for a while. Civil suits. Like civil everything is just so slow. Um, yep. I, although um, the Maya trial, like that's been going on for what, three weeks now? The trial has been, I don't know how many years that case has been underway, but yeah, the trials, I think the trial has been three weeks. Well, Maya looks, construct. she looks like a young adult now. So I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, I, that time has passed. Um, no, it's been, that's such years. a tragic story. It is a very, which is part of the reason I didn't cover it. Um, and part of the reason was because I knew I was going to be traveling, but it's the chat is saying six weeks. Um, and that the litigation has been going on about seven years that tracks for complex five years, seven years that tracks for complex litigation. People, it yeah. was so funny when I started covering Girardi and peeling back all the layers on that, people are like, how long is this going to take? And I'm like, <laughs> wow. Yeah, Thank you, Eric days. Newman. Oh that's my like, God. That's a, that's a huge donation. Thank you. Thank you. It's, yeah, all of these, I get people who are like, oh yeah, when's this lawsuit going to be, like in Canada, it's extra slow. And so people hear about like a lawsuit that's been started and they're like, when when are you going to be covering this? I'm going to be like, and I tell them, it's not going to be interesting Yeah, for a year, <laughs> you know? Um because it's usually it's it's often like statement of claim filed, statement of defense filed, and then often neither side does anything right. for a lot. Like there's just no filings. Um, plus, Canada makes it a pain to. Um, I wish there was something like Pacer in Canada, where I could just like order all of the filings off of things instead of, you know our system where you have to actually order them at court and it's brutal. 
but Rob is Rob is killing the coverage on that one. Absolutely. And Pacer, I wish we had a state system version of Pacer because trying oh, to track yeah. down all the state court stuff can be quite tedious. Canada is like the state court system, except that they don't like the state web pages don't actually have any documents. So you have to track down which court things are in and then send them a uh, request. And often the requests are like, you have to already know everything about the file in order to get the details. It's brutal. That's a challenge. Yeah. A challenge uh -huh. for what we do. Not a challenge if you're like, oh, I just came into this case and I need more documents, but a challenge for what we do. Even like reporters, it's a challenge for like yeah. established media because they'll run into all sorts of headaches on that sort of thing as well, which um, doesn't help. To... I know you were getting That's close to a goal, Ian. You've got um, to be close. So I think we might be close to halfway. Um, Amazing. Oh, it's people have been hugely generous. It's uh, yeah, we're at twenty three thousand nine hundred and three dollars. Uh, the goal is the is fifty thousand, um, and the goal is kind of selfish. It's um, I set it at basically the amount we raised last year, but the um, the hospital told me that they're like, if you hit a hundred thousand lifetime, we will put up a like we put up a plaque. You know, and I'm like, that's so cool. So I'm like, selfishly, I'm like, I, I would like a plaque. That would be awesome. You're like, so, oh, challenge accepted. Yep. I'm like, let's do this. So um, it's actually kind of funny because they call, like they said, they reached out to me last year and they're like, we have no idea who you are, but like, we'd really that's like to, hard. because what the hell? You're not a corporate uh, giving entity. We don't know what's happening. Well, and um, I was number one in Canada last year. And so they're just like, we were not expecting anything like this. So like, who are you and what the heck? Um, and uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was kind of an interesting thing where they're just like, what? So I'm just checking the Canadian leaderboard. Um, yeah, I, it's me at the top and the next below that is a is a convention it's animathon um who has like half so um that's why they were like what um especially because again no profile picture no anything it's just like there's this <laughs> random dude is this re is this real or are you doing something weird they're like we need to know what's happening they're like, are you somehow laundering drug money? Something like what's happening this? here? That's funny. <laughs> but uh, no, they uh, they showed me around, and they do all, they've got all sorts of um, amazing stuff they do there. Um, one of the projects they've got on the go that I think is really cool is they're trying to build um, like an outdoor play space, but for uh, kids who are potentially like immunocompromised and stuff, yeah. like. You know, so it's not, it's a play space that's restricted to the sick kids, but is a place where they can actually go and get out. Um, just, yeah. I'm yeah. Sure. They're saying like some of those kids apparently have just like, you know, you get a kid who's like three or four and has never really been outside. And I'm going, oh, that's tragic. Um, but, um, yeah, they do organ transplants. They get people who are flown in from um, Northwest Territories and stuff there. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, and I was kind of like, you know, you guys know I'm already raising money for you, right? You don't need to sell me on this, but it was still kind of But cool. we want to give you a plaque. And you're like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, one of their, um, their leads for like... Um, uh, like all of that sort of fundraising and so forth. Um, her child spent a ton of time at the same hospital and eventually sadly passed. But um, she's like, this is what I want to do is I want to help, like help the hospital with their fundraising. And I was like, that is a, like, she's got a way better story than, than I do. 
So, yeah. um, it just, and, um, right now I think there's setting up. Oh, thank you. Hanging Emily. <laughs> there's an awesome pause. You're fabulous. <laughs> there's a, there's a group at, um, um, there's a group right now at the West Edmonton mall. And I didn't like, they're like, would you join us at the mall? And I was like, here I can just kind of hang out and like, I've got my own fridge and right. You know, all of that. So I'm like, but they're working hard. They're, they're all streaming and so forth. So, um, when, when they sort of, I think they're getting started sort of in the morning and when they do that, I'm going to try to, um, uh, send some attention their way too. Cause, uh, yeah, there are uh, a lot of people there with, you know, personal stories and so forth. So, but um, I I kind of see you are probably collapsing. I can see I'm, here. Uh, I'm starting to wobble. That was um, what I was noticing was yeah, you were sort I'm of like. like <laughs> I am. I am. I am so tired, but I wanted to come in and say hi. I didn't want to keep you from your game too long, but I figured I, it was the time. It was the time of day when I was like, no, this is a good time to pop in because it's probably before everybody else gets up as I'm going to bed. So we can pop in and say hello before I wobble I, too much. I really appreciate it. I wasn't expecting to see you because I know you're at like, con. I was like, oh, she's at a con. Yes. Like that's going to be like a 20 hour a day project. So I, I really appreciate it. It's, you know, if that's, um, it's fantastic to see you. It's we got to hang out you. at some point. But I know um, I miss you. We need to watch Legally Blonde. Um, yes, we we have lots that we need to plan. I I would probably say yes to just about anything right now. I'm just like, yeah, sure, sounds great. Yeah, sure, sounds great. Was, <laughs> I love the ch the chat is saying that you guys hit 24k. That's exciting. I will whenever it's I wake up. Um, I will peek back in and see where it is so I can donate. I haven't donated yet. So I'll peek in and donate. Um, well, thank you. As well. I can't wait. Well, no, of course, Ian. I love being here to support you. Love seeing you. Um, you know, got to wind down for the night. We're going to go take the eyelashes off and actually climb into make bed. So. Make sure you take the eyelashes off because no matter how tired you are, you will hate yourself in the morning if those don't they come have off. To, they have to come off. Um, <laughs> so it is, that is no matter what time I get to bed, the face makeup always comes off. I hate, I hate the feeling of sleeping with makeup on. So, and then I, I made that mistake bullshit. on Halloween. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. It's such bullshit because it's like, especially when you're this busy to have to get up and do it again. It's like, damn it. But I was talking to some of the, some of the housewives this evening and I'm like, when's your call time tomorrow? And some of them are like, Oh, you know, 9 30 AM call time. I'm like, when's hair and makeup call time the amount of time they spend in hair and makeup before the day begins i'm like i don't know how y'all do it like i'm running oh. around in sneakers i'm not in full like television glam but it's it's an intense it's an well, intense like, weekend the tv makeup is gonna be like a layer and then it's your a whole other can't thing breathe, you're miserable yeah um i just i can't uh can't imagine sort of doing that but um no i just get to roll around as me but you know it's <laughs> funny because we're on tv too i mean essentially a lot of you guys watch from television and i just i don't know i, I there's a lot of taking i kind of think seriously. you're the coolest person there so it, it is what it is <laughs> it's been really you know one of my favorite things about this particular convention that's such a generous donation well, thank you, you so much ellie job <laughs> Um, one of the things I love about this convention is it brings together all the creators. So all of the creators are here and I collaborate with a lot of them on their content to explain the legal side. Cause they cover all the pop culture stuff and they're like, and then this yeah. person talked about it on Twitter and then this person did this. And, but when there's legal stuff, I generally will, will chat with whoever I'm, I'm available to chat with and help explain the legal side to the channels that just do Bravo coverage. And there are so many podcasts and Instagram accounts that are dedicated to just Bravo content and they are all here. So that's a lot of fun. <laughs> and you get, you get to meet all the people who you're just like, I've talked to you. I've seen your, I've watched your content. That's, 
that's the other weird thing about like this space is you see somebody and you're like, I'm a fan of their stuff. And then it's just like, oh, and now we're talking. Oh, exactly. wow. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Minimalist Traveler. I love it. I should have set some goals when I came in. I'm like, all right, you guys, if we keep these, if we keep these, if we keep these up, Emily's just going to go back to drinking martinis for breakfast. It's gonna, yeah, I'm teasing. Oh, I, I, it's not breakfast if you haven't come to bed yet. That's the thing is I will feel super guilty if I hear something like Emily D. Baker passes out at BravoCon. <laughs> I'm teasing. I won't. I'm actually, I don't have anything to do for a chunk tomorrow morning. So, you know, tomorrow might just tomorrow's going to be a late arrival. It was going to be a late arrival anyway. It, it's great to get to spend a little time with you anyway for the longest goodbye in the world. It's a very Canadian. Oh, wait. Did you see my picture and signal um, of the Vegas airport from a few days ago? that had the unapologetically Canadian bartender with the moose head. Yes. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you were just talking about moose. And as I was getting off the plane, there's this giant billboard with like a moose head in a plaid shirt, mixing drinks. I was like, do they do that in Canada? Do the moose mix drinks in the woods? No, like moose are actually like really violent. Like, Moose so are, it's well shaken. The drink is well shaken. Moose are actually potentially like really dangerous. Um, there's when where my dad grew up, one guy who was sort of an irascible sort of character, there was a moose that was particularly ornery. And so he set up the with a lawn room. chair and a sign that said something like, go F yourself. Um, <laughs> Wait, and then the people would be no well, the neighbor. people would be driving in traffic, uh, driving along, and they'd see this guy with the sign, and they'd honk at him. And the thing is, is that the moose that was actually quite that was like hanging around nearby would take that honking as a challenge, and destroyed several people's cars. <laughs> and he thought that this was the funniest prank ever, that this this moose would like come up over the hill and destroy this person's car every time they honk. <laughs> So eventually like, no, fuck you. <laughs> eventually this RCMP officer came up to him and was like, we don't know what we can charge you with, but we're going to try everything we can think of and see what sticks if you don't stop. And he's like, okay, I've had my fun. And he packs up. I'm just going. There's no disturbing the peace equivalent. Except, no. I mean, he's just sitting there with a sign that says like, F you and it's That's other true. people who honk at him. Harassment so, harassment of moose. <laughs> incitement. Yeah. Incitement of moose. <laughs> moose agitation. It's just like absolutely bizarre. But um no, I mean you gotta be careful around some of those big animals. Like because um a big herbivore can mess they're, with you. They're huge. And oh, fast, they're, they're absolutely terrifying. They've got like, but I think like the bull moose have a giant rack of ant, you know, antler, and they're just they'll run through a forest at full speed, swaying their head back and forth to avoid trees. And I'm going, that's terrifying. Like, yeah, that's like an that angry truck, <laughs> you know, it's like a scene out of Star Wars where they're just like. Yes, yeah, no, it's like the land fighters. speeder or the land speeder the coming land right speeders, after. That's right, <laughs> right through the right through the forest. Anyway, Ian, have a wonderful stream. I know you are Thank going you so to hit your goal. Very, very excited. Um, it's such a great cause. I love that you do this. I know it's a nice thing. Um, oh, we'll I just, uh, we'll be exhausted together. That sounds like a sounds like a great plan, and uh, we'll catch up soon. Once you're um, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have some recovering time. I know well, that. Did I tell you my travel schedule? I'm guessing so. it's like every single second from like now till from March. now till I leave on Monday, <laughs> and then I'm home Tuesday. I leave Wednesday to go to a concert uh, out of state. And then Thursday from the concert, I fly back to Vegas for a friend's birthday party. And I am in Vegas again next weekend. So you're literally just going to have time to like empty your suitcase into the washing machine, 
do laundry, empty it back into your suitcase, and then run out the door again. It's like, hi, family. Um, just so you know, I'm not dead. Bye. Love you, <laughs> love, love you all. I'm going <laughs> love you all. Vegas Bye. concert, Vegas, and then I will collapse until February. Are, are you comfortable saying who you're going to go see at the concert? Oh, yeah. I'm going to go see Dave Matthews, um, oh, which... Please everyone can my my audience will assume and then when i come back to vegas for a birthday party i'm gonna go see yachtly crew oh so cool the dave the dave concert was planned before almost any of the rest of rest of this was planned <laughs> so we don't move dave like we yeah just, no that don't move that's dave. the priority <laughs> dave is the priority dave. i just i was i always want to be careful no when i appreciate it because like you that, never cause... you never know where people are going to are going to find you, but I love seeing the Lawnards at, at Dave shows. And I'm always not surprised <laughs> to run into them. And for the chat, that's like Delta points. Yes, I will. I will maintain my mileage status for next year by the end of next <laughs> week. <laughs> so I will not be doing any flying in December to make up miles. Um, but I have friends that have had to do that. They're like at the end of the year and they just do the fly throughs to make up the last bit of miles to keep their status for the, for the following year, which I never understood when I was a DA because my traveling was all by car. I was like, that's weird. And now that I travel so much, I'm like, oh no, I absolutely get it. I have never been at like, you know, the status or whatever. But um, when I was flying out to the UK on the way back, um, a bunch of people on my, you know, my Discord were like, we know how bad your back is. We are upgrading you. And so I... And I'm sitting there in this chair going, oh, crap, I can I could get used to not hurting the entire flight because yeah. um, that yes. will flights suck. That's yes. You know, that's yes. It's probably... a substantial consideration for me after my spinal fusion as well. Yeah. Yeah. Just the amount it, you know, and you go somewhere and once it messes your back up. You're, you're like, yay, I've arrived and I'm in misery. So yeah, it, it makes it worse. And then the recovery time's longer too. So uh, Jen K in the chat is asking, do I have all the correct cities? I, th I think so. <laughs> I got to <laughs> Vegas properly. It was so funny. I met um, some of the, some of the cast from Southern Charm and Southern Charm is all based out of Charleston. And I'm like, oh my God, I love Charleston. It's totally not Charlotte. And they're just like, uh-huh. I was like, oh, <laughs> those are, there's times I'm like, that would have been funnier on stream. Like that's a, that's not as funny in person to the group from Charleston that has no idea why I'm like very excited that Charleston is not Charlotte. <laughs> so, they don't have the background. You need the people the who. Uh... I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. You did. There's a lot to fill in there about me ending up in the wrong fucking state. Um, by having ADHD and both words started with a C. So I used them synonymously and ended up in Charlotte, North Carolina, instead of Charleston, South Carolina, just the one time. <laughs> Thankfully, they're only three hours apart. And then there was a meme going around on Twitter or Instagram or both. I'm um, saying if you're ever having a bad day or feeling badly about yourself, remember that <laughs> the um, airport in Austria has a counter for people who didn't go to Australia because it happens enough that people end up in Austria, not Australia. There is a customer service solution for that problem. And I was like, oh, well, that's a much like oh, mine. I rented wow. a car and drove three hours. I didn't end up in Austria instead of Australia. So now that's... I'm just wondering, like, what do they do? Do they put them on another plane or do they just say like, we are a great tourist destination too. Welcome to Austria, <laughs> not Austria. It's so funny, but the fact that there is, that this happens frequently enough that it is a customer service problem that had to be addressed was kind of great to know. I was like, okay, other people fuck now, up flights. Now I kind of want to book a flight to Austria. And see what happens. Well, specifically for the purpose of going around to everything and pretending I'm in Australia. Just to see how many, like, where are the Ian walks out. Good day, good day. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, 
Or the other fun thing would be doing it the opposite way. Go to Australia and be like, so um, nobody here speaks German? When When's it time for Oktoberfest? What are we doing? <laughs> I oh, bet that yeah. one happens a lot less, but it's still funny. Oh, wow. Anonymous with the five. And I, I think that was uh, specifically to put us over the uh, 25K, so... Woot. Okay, I got to celebrate, 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 and I'm going and to go pass out <laughs> to bed. Yes, it is so good to see you, chat. I know you guys are keeping Ian great company. Have fun playing games. I know people were really excited about this game, and then the next one, and people are like, "I look forward to seeing it." Have a great Saturday. I know Rob will be getting up at some point. What time is it on the East Coast? Or um, five, it's six, like seven thirty in the morning. It's like a totally I think he's reasonable gonna, time. I think he's going to sleep a little bit, but um, at some point in the morning, uh, there's going to be D&D. &D. Amazing. So, uh, exactly. It's going to be a good day. Have a great yeah. time playing Dungeons and Dragons. Dragons, we'll and, do it. Dragons and Lawyers. <laughs> yes, it's like 7.30 in the morning and I'm going to bed. So good night, everybody. <laughs> good night. Sleep good well. to see you. Bye. Thank you. Uh, I was I was like, oh, oh, crud. She's going to be uh, really tired. All right. Um, so one second. Uh, all right. Just putzing around here for a second. Uh, all right. So um, here, I'm going to put in a poll here just quickly um uh, there we go All right, how many Lynx tokens do I have? Can I buy anything useful? Demo charges. Um, I want that. Um, I don't want the disarming yet. Yeah, we'll just do that. All right, so now we do training. Oh, we got Prototopics has woken up. Um, oh, let me get you guys the... Um, eh, I'm going to send... There we go. Somebody's got a link there. Hey, Ravi. Good to, uh, good to see you. Uh, David, I sent you a link. So. Oh, and it is neck and neck. Oh, and I got a Twitter shout out from Pixie. Pixie is amazing. Um. Hey there, Cutter. Gonna really need your full attention today. Going over the power generator. Hold up now. Training time has not been authorized. We have quotas to meet. Hal, power generators are highly hazardous. Joseph, you've got to promote self-sufficiency in your team. Let 52 here hash it out. Nothing like a spare or two to let the lesson sink in. Hal, I gotta report if we're not hitting quotas. You'll want to draw Rye Paulson's attention now, right? All right, Cutter. I'm adding some tasks for you to follow for this shift only. Just make sure you pull them fuses before going for the power generator. <laughs> All right. I'm just pulling up the chat here again. All right. Um, link acquired. Excellent. Um, 
So, yeah, and where are we at? Oh, 53 to 47. That's not a huge swing on the... Uh, not a huge swing on that. Uh, okay. Now, be sure your charge is in the right spot. Measure twice. Cut once, Cutter. Ready? <laughs> and lift off. Thank you, Sardinisms. That's how it's done. Oof, I'm going to be tired by the end of this. I can already feel it. Just a wee bit. What is the time in Edmonton? It is... 5.44 in the morning, which is a time nobody should be... Uh, Salvage deposit confirmed. That is a ridiculous hour that just has no business existing. Oh, it's uh, Spidey's birthday. Nice. Happy birthday, Spidey. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. I don't know Spidey all that well, but he seems like a really good egg, so... Wendy's asking, what game is this? This is a game called Hard Space Shipbreaker. Which is a very fun game. Great job, Cutter. Now, just make sure to clear the area before detonating that bad boy. Yeah, those things will kill you real fast. Reactor. Just take the whole thing with us. 
get stuck. Is it stuck on? Yeah, we will make this two streams. Uh, when we start getting towards the 12 hour mark, we'll uh, we'll uh, set up another one. reactor. Okay, that's annoying. No one we're leaking. Like that. Is that a cool one? That'll go boom. Which is precisely what I'm trying to avoid here. Thank you, Michaela. You. To disconnect more fuses before pulling this beast out. There's one of them fuses, Cutter. See them blinking red lights? Wait till they're off, then pull the release lever. Now don't forget to salvage that fuse.
find credit. Processing objects. Applying credit to account. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Thank you, Rabbit. This means more to families than anyone can imagine. Yeah, I, uh, I hope it, you know, gives somebody some, uh, some comfort at some point. We do what we can where we can, I guess, is the, uh, you know, just kind of the long and short of it. The world is often not the greatest of places, and um, it's nice when you can uh, make it a little less bleak. And sort of, uh, you know... Uh, and Sila is saying, what game is this? This is a game called Hard Space Shipbreaker. I basically say sometimes you got to hammer a little light into the universe. Uh, sort of hammer a hole into the darkness. <laughs> Gen T saying, hey, Ian, I just donated, not pledged. Well, then you are ahead of Amber. I don't think she's going to, uh, I don't think she's going to make good on any of those uh, pledges. But hey, if she wants to uh, prove me wrong, there's the donation link in the description. Thank you so much. Bellarkin, that's incredibly generous. Thank you. Uh, what's this game that I'm playing? This is Hard Space Shipbreaker. Yay! The Schnara family, thank you. Or the Schnar family, thank you. I will finish up this ship and then I will um, make a, uh, a game jump. We can come back to this one later if people want, but... Um... Hello, Shipbreaker 9346-52. Lynx would like to share the following inspirational message. Make the most of your shift by fanning the tiny sparks of effort into flames of profitability. 
Somebody was noting that the uh, pole was uh, getting in the way of the uh, the link. Thank you so much, Harry Holmes. All right, let's um, add some oxygen. Thank you so much, Anonymous. 2194. I don't know what that means. I assume there's a meaning to it. Why are those stuck together? They should not be stuck together. I do not get it. Split these things up. There we go. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Oh, I'm tired. He says, the music reminds me of Firefly. Yes, I, I kind of feel the same. I suspect that was intentional. Processing object. Applying credits to account. Salvage 
account credit applied. Gonna lie, I unapologetically love the applause. I mean, maybe it'll start to wear on me later, but um, for right now, I just love hearing it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could hear the noise my back made there. Kind of hope not. It wasn't a very pretty noise. fun game. So for the people saying I may, uh, somebody who's saying I may be looking up the price of this game, it's like, it's worth it. I like this one. I could spend a bunch of time farting around with exp explosives, but let's just... Take this whole thing. Thank you, Joby's mom. Uh, Squidge, I've never played Space Engineers, so I can't answer that question. Oh, it sounds like Trufflehound is headed to uh, sleep. Oh, apparently this is 50% off? Cool. We're up to 1,105 uh, viewers right now. Awesome. 
process or deposit acceptance. Credits awarded. So just uh, watching this get processed. Excellent. Seven thirty one. I'm not sure if there's significance to that number, but uh, thank you. Hello, ship breaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. Hey, Rook. How's life? I don't know why, but I've been feeling a bit lonely lately. Lonelier than usual, even which is saying something for this kind of work. It creeps up on me sometimes. Gets me thinking about this girl I knew back on the air platform. Bumped into her while climbing around the scrapyard. Red hair. Like, hot metal. Wicked smart, that one. Cute, too. We ate falafel at a street vendor, then got ice cream. Her lips were... <laughs> I was too shy to go home with her. <laughs> she had fire in her. She left for a job out on the frontier. Other side of Jupiter. I'm not mad at her. I would have done the same thing. Where I'm from, you can't really pass up those opportunities. Wonder if she ever thinks about me. Hope she's happy. Hell. She sure shouldn't have any regrets. <laughs> anyway, I'll get back to daydreaming and leave you be. Blue out. Good morning, Cutter. It's time to begin your work day. Maybe. All right, I'm going to do a game swap to a game I have never played before. Um, so we're going to try Alan Wake. Um, Squidge, I think so. Yeah. Uh, Joe Gottman is saying, what time is it in Canada? Well, it's lots of times in Canada and different places, but for where I am, um, it is 6 a.m. So, and let's um, pull this up. Oops, I uh, accidentally nuked my audio. All right, let's see what we can do. Uh, it's um, saying that my GPU driver is outdated. So let's see if we can... Uh, oh, wait, it's going to run anyway. I hope. I'm excited about this one. Alan Wake 2.
Lex Luther, thank you for five bucks. Much appreciated. Um, okay. Allow. Uh, Ippy Fluffy, yes, I have played Alan Wake. Yeah. Grandma Nancy, uh, thank you so much for the uh, 125 doing donation. A great thing. All right. Game saving. Photosensitivity warning. All right, we'll just use the default. Okay. All right, here we go. A wet coast is saying even lawyers don't read those things. I normally would. Um, oh, and somebody's saying there's a nudity filter I want to turn off. Okay, that's uh, good to know. Red heart. Uh, yeah, I was going to say is... Uh, nudity sensor there we go thank you uh prototopics much appreciated because um that would have been a very rapid uh that would have been a very rapid, let's find some settings, find some settings, find some settings. All right, let's see what this uh, what this does. I see somebody saying, should the filter not be on? Yes, I've turned it on. It should be filtering it out now. Uh, we're going to play this on normal. No, we can't do nudity on YouTube. They will have opinions. Uh, Courtney Meek is saying, how much cash have you raised so far? A little over 25000 it looks like. Uh, Katie, this is Alan Wake 2. Good luck, Ian. What a fabulous cause. All right, why is this not... Maybe I should have installed this onto the, um, what do you call it, uh, onto the SSD. It's taken a while to load. There we go. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. Yeah. The story that are both victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. A trap by the genre we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces.
donate another 250 if you watch. Jumping jive Kevin Galloway and Nicholas Brothers, you need energy face with tears of joy. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, oh, hey, is this like Barry or whatever his name is? From the first game? It doesn't look like Wake. He's uh, not unless Wake's put on the pounds. At least he's wearing pants. Okay, is there anywhere in specific I should be shuffling through? And sprint, but uh, he don't sprint too fast. an Alan Wake game. No one sprints fast. Oh, wait, things in the sh in the light is. Uh... So, I think I'm going to enjoy the heck out of this, but I think I'm going to enjoy the heck out of this. Maybe not on a stream, because, um, yeah, I think YouTube might have opinions on this one. It's, um, I think it's going to be a good game. I just, this is not, it's not the, um, uh, not the time for it. So we'll, um, uh, Katie, it does look awesome. It's just.
It's gonna hit several of YouTube's rules, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, let's, um, let's try something else. Um, Obsidian saying members only stream? I don't know, but, um, uh, I love Pi says, I don't think YouTube cares with games, surprisingly. I just don't want to, I don't want to get, um, like a strike right in the middle of a charity thing. That would be a bad idea. Um, so, Let's try something else. Um, how about we'll play and yeah, I need to, if I was going to stream that one, I need to move it over to, um, what do you call it? Um, need to move it over to an SSD. So, all right, let's, um, pull this up. Ian, you have a card of gold. I can't wait to see if you exceed your, you and I'm guessing, goals. Gold. I can't wait to see if you exceed your goal this year. Oh, thank you. I hope so. Um, let's try this. Wait for the program to respond. Does it not like? Um... Okay. I need for it to actually show up. There we go. Okay. This one is in um, alpha. We're going to try this. Apparently, we just hit 27,000. Whoa. <laughs> Mary Jane. Fair enough. All right. So, this is. An unusual sort of game. So, backpack. Microchip construction, two silicon, two magnesium. Another silicon for a deconstruction. <laughs> Captain Corey Porter, thank you. Yeah, and this is kind of like Space Subnautica. Is... Cobalt, cobalt, iron, magnesium. Good to see you. In honor of Maya Kowalski. 
Oh, Thanks well, thank you. Opportunity to support Ian. Thank you so much, uh, Kimberly NGO. It's a... Uh... And uh, Maya's gone through a lot. I hope she's... Uh... I hope she's able to sort of recover. Craft, wind turbine. So much. Oxygen low, gotta get back. Vegetube needs magnesium. And once I have the vegetube, I need to put some veggies in it. Thank you so much, Linda Fisher. Mom, mom? Yeah, thank you. This one is called, um, I'm just trying to blank on the name. Um, no, I'm literally blanking on the name. Planet Crafter is the name of the game. chat window back up so I can see what folks are saying. Heater needs iridium, which I don't have. Blueprint screen, which I which takes iron and silicon. Alright, I don't until I get iridium I can't build a heater. 
We got we got oxygen started. Pressure started. I love that you do this every year. Stay strong. Eighteen hours to go red heart. <laughs> Eighteen Much hours. Austria, uh, Austria. Uh, sounds easier on paper. Let's go with that. These things always are like, ah, that's not going to be too bad. And then I'm like, oh, wait. Blueprint received. Oxygen tank tier two. More oxygen means more uh, ability to wander around doing stuff. So I need titanium for this. Titanium and magnesium. Okay, there's my magnesium. Morning. Thank you, Cotton. Thank you. Thank you for doing this for the kids. I wish I could do more to support you this weekend. It's it's all good. so much uh, obsidian and saranta or sarantar hello olivia c
Thank you so much, Anonymous. So the point of this game is basically just to... Um, um, you want to terraform this planet that you're on. Ooh, blueprint. Gotta go figure out what that is. Ah, this rock is bigger than I thought it was. Gotta get back to where the air is. <laughs> Oxygen critical. You have to use the oxygen capsule I had there. Avoid dying. <laughs> Seven thirty-one for traveling science man's pledge. Thank you. Science man's pledge. Mining speed. So I've got nothing for heat yet. That's working on it. Backpack slowly. Indoor ladder doesn't do us a whole lot. Yeah, for the T1 heater, I need iridium. What do I not have any of? All right, iridium. <laughs> Laura Howard, um, let me know what sort of game is your sort of game. And I can try to... Uh, I'm not wedded to this one. Uh, Vez, um, Rob is handling the auction stuff, so we're going to have to wait until he wakes up. What time is it in Runkleland? 6.40 a.m. Also known as too freaking early. Backpack. Thank you so much, Coral. Silicon up here. Now, and I need the torch microchip because I can't do anything without it. I was hoping to explore this thing, but I can't. I'm pretty sure there's iridium in here. Silicon. 
Days Forever RP. Thank you so much. Well, no yawning yet, but um, I can tell you I'm going to be tired. Mrs. Hoglaw, right now I'm playing a game called Planet Crafter, I believe. Oh, and people are saying, did you get much sleep? No, my back pain was killing me. I was supposed to try to get like four hours of sleep and uh, didn't happen. So this is going to be brutal. So much that Sarah Chick. Appreciate it. Ooh. How about if I achieve my goal earlier, I'll allow myself to go to bed. Um, we can talk. I've just upgraded my backpacks and I've got more room. Now I need two aluminum and two fabric for the agility boots. And I have one fabric and no aluminum. Cut that yawning out, Ian. Well, I can't help it. I am tired. Iron ice magnesium.
Thank you so much. Someone can give you a break and take over for a bit. Probably, but we're too early for uh, for that. Basically, these uh, things that I'm building, like this, um, uh, generate either, um, in this case, they generate oxygen. Seeming some puffy and hard suit from Switzerland. Oh, thank you. Switzerland. Um, so I'm trying to generate, like, cough, or, um, oxygen and heat and so forth so that then they will unlock, um, other things. So... That's basically the idea is you're just starting out with uh, trying to unlock stuff and, you know, trying to see what we can uh, build here. More silicon. That just shot the power. Thank you uh, very much, Kimball family. that but thank you it's great progress How is the power from the turbines getting to living spaces? It just is. The angry Latina lawyer, <laughs> thank you so much. You need air in the stretch, um, possibly. Definitely the stretch. My back is killing me. I am, uh, okay, I need to try to un -F it a little bit. I 
may have to break out my little uh, French Canadian American Ian Iran. Keep up the oh. amazing work. Thank you so much. go find some muscle relaxants here. Give me a second. I will be back. Give uh, it rose. So oh, thank you. Um, just one second here. Sorry about that. There's two kinds I could uh, that I have. One is a drowsy kind for when I'm trying to sleep, and one is the non-drowsy. And guess which one I could find? Um, if you said the uh, non-drowsy, you are probably not playing. Well. So, yeah, that sucked. <laughs> uh, all right, let's. Um, I managed to find the other, it just took me a while. Did I stretch? I tried. My back is really messed up. It is 7 a.m., so if, um, if I hadn't been able to find the other stuff, um, no shopping was going to be taking place. I can also tell you, I'm not waking my wife up at 7 a.m. <laughs> Honey, my back hurts and the internet needs me. Can you go shopping for me? She'd be like, mmm. If you have some opinions, they would be objectively correct opinions. Hey, 
Hey, Law Talk with Mike. Um, Mike, if you want a link, let me know. Um, also, Kurt, same thing. Right. Give me a second. I'm there we go. Sent donated thanks to our beautiful craft god who inspires oh. me every day. Thank you. And, uh, there's Kurt. Maybe I should be playing something a little more action-y. This maybe isn't the best thing for when you're, uh, struggling to stay awake. What's up, my man? How you doing? I am tired. How about yourself? <laughs> Good. How long you been going? Um, not long. Seven hours. Seven hours? You doing 24? I'm doing 24. Oh, good lord. All right. Where, where, do, where do I go, though? Do I do a super chat or do I go to your link to, to donate? Go to the link. Super chats are off. So All I've right. got that. Yeah. Um, it's giving me the dollar bill option when I was on there. Um, it shouldn't be. But I don't um, know what I'm talking about. Oh, if you click it, it's got membership. Because if I turn membership off, then <laughs> um, then it basically undoes all of the membership stuff. So that doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, no, you don't want to do that. Yeah, no, that's um, that would be a pretty rough... Because um, they don't make it easy to get that set up. Like they've got to review all of your crap and you know. You all started. Of that stuff. So, what did you start last night? Yeah, I started at midnight, and then at seven. You were on with Rob before that. Uh no, I wasn't on with Rob uh, last night. Um, I tried to get some sleep, but my back pain was uh, prevented me. So I ended oh, up. It, um, it didn't prevent Rob from shamelessly using your image on his thumbnail. That I have no issue with that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think he got like 15,000 in donations on the course of his stream. So wow. like, yeah, That's... I'm not about to give him grief on that. So yeah, absolutely not. That's awesome what you're doing here. Well, I, uh, I did it last year and we got 50,000 in donations. And apparently if we can pull in another 50,000, they will put up a plaque. So I'm being selfish. I'm like, I want that plaque. There should be <laughs> there should be an Ian Runkle uh, uh, statue at this hospital. I'm telling you. I I kind of think that they probably reserve that for like the the real high rollers who yeah. can walk in and be like, I'm just gonna drop three million or whatever. Like the guys who, uh, thank you, you know, Ian. the folks who like own uh, you know 
whatever. <laughs> They're the people who invented like using teeth to eat and get a uh, you know get a royalty every time. Yeah. So yeah, no, it's um, I I need to figure out some way to plan this where I don't end up like just dead exhausted way early. But um, both I originally started it at eight a.m. last like last time, and um, I couldn't sleep, so that was rough. And then this time I was like, well, I'm gonna get off work five o'clock. I'll get some sleep, and then that didn't work. Um, I just kind of figured that it would be easier to like the end of it is kind of a death march and I figured it would be kind of easier to like do that towards midnight rather than like towards hey, um, ATM. Yeah, well, that's uh, good. You, you yeah, do end, you do end up at like a normal sleeping point. Yeah, exactly. Going to sleep at midnight. It's like, OK, fine. Like that's a regular time to go to sleep. When I went to sleep at 8 a.m. last time, because it was literally like, we're done. I'm gone. I'm off to sleep. Um, that sucked. <laughs> my sleep schedule was so wrecked for like <laughs> so long. So what have you been up to? How are things? Well, I'll tell you. In fact, I'm going to go on another stream in a little bit here. But um, I'm in Charleston, South Carolina. And I don't know if you've been here, but it's a, it's, it's a cool town. Are you there for, is that where BravoCon is going on? It uh, could be. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm here because my like, sister's here. I'm, I'm oh, doing okay. like a family thing with my with my sisters and my dad. Oh, cool. Um, I don't know anything about where anything is, so I'm like. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a charming, you know, it's like East Coast. You know, the old towns are like right, right where the boats first hit, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So it's got the whole Brick Street thing and all that stuff. It's cute. You've got some history there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, no, that uh, that sounds awesome. What have you been? Uh, what I have been out of the loop because I had to write a factum and um, like written submissions and it sucked. <laughs> um, I was running an appeal where I knew I was going to lose because. Oh, yeah. Somebody else got to the issue first and took it up to the court of appeal and they lost there, but they, they ran it without the evidentiary record I had, but like the court is like, okay, cool. You've got a much better evidentiary record, but you can't win on this issue because there's binding precedent. Yeah. So I have, I had to lose at that level of court in order to maybe win at a higher level of court. Mm hmm. And it really sucks to have to put in a ton of work on something where you just, you, you know, know, you're going down. Yep. Yep. You just have to go down in a way that isn't like embarrassing, you know? So, and that's a perfect segue for Kurt right there. <laughs> How are you doing, Kurt? <laughs> Good morning. Brother. Glad to see, gl glad to see you again, Mike. This is really a cheer to my day. Glad you're here. Glad to see you. <laughs> Is there I, some? I, uh, <laughs> I, I survived. I'm in the South, Kurt. I am too at the moment. I'm in South Carolina visiting my folks. I'm in South Carolina. Okay, where are you in South Carolina? I'm in Charleston. Okay, you're over there in the state. You're in Char Charleston. Charming little town. Yeah, Charleston Rock is up. a very cool little place. Let's meet and exceed last year. I I was going to say it would be uh, really weird if you guys ended up both in the same town. Just randomly to visit family. I can be there in four hours and punch Mike in the face. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you do, um, it'll be great content for the rest of us to cover. <laughs> like, <laughs> think, think of the children, Kurt. You, you know, the, the, the think of the money this will raise. Yeah, yeah, the children. Well, that's the that's the reason I'm doing it. The children. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> I mean, it would just be like, all right, we're going to do some law tube coverage on this one. Um, that would be funny because now it would be like, how many witnesses do we have to something <laughs> that was announced on a live stream? <laughs> and they'd be like, Rumpel, we want to subpoena you. And I'd be like, good luck. Subpoenaing across the border is always a fun move. <laughs> yeah. 
No, nah, no, nah, we're cool. I like Mike Fine. All right. <laughs> I I have to run along. I just st- hopped on to, to say hi. Good luck. Good luck, Ian. Nice oh, to see you, you Kurt. Man. Seriously. Yeah. Good to see you, Mike. <laughs> Good to see you. Have fun in Charleston. It's a great, great food town. Yeah. Ooh. So how are you doing? I'm doing great. I, I'm visiting my folks. I'm in very good spirits. I'm, I'm enjoying my little remote here that we got going on. Got my web, got my nice webcam, my 4K webcam, and a little lav mic, and uh, not doing too bad over here. I got my laptop. Yes. Things are all right. I was gonna say for a travel setup, like you've got good video. Um, I mean, background. Maybe not the ideal background, but you got good video, you got good audio quality. So, yeah. Like, that is. I, I thought I had. I thought I had. So I have, yeah, I've got the little uh, Link 360 webcam. It's a nice one on a gimbal. It's got AI, so it'll automatically track you around the room and keep you oh, in nice. focus. And then I got this little Rode Smart Lav Plus mic, so made by Rode, which makes great quality stuff. So. Not too bad for the road. Or not too bad I gotta for get, travel. Oh. I got to get something like that because, uh, yeah, that sounds like a pretty decent Recommended. Setup. Recommended. So, <sighs> so I, um, I was going to get some sleep before the stream started. Yeah. I mostly failed at that. Yeah. This is going to be a fun adventure. <laughs> Well, look, so, man. I can always put I can always put RimWorld on my laptop. You know, the laptop doesn't have much horsepower, but then again, RimWorld doesn't need it, and I can stream it out and help you out if you need for a little while. Get it now. Um, I Good luck on I may reach out to you later, yeah. but for right now, um, th- yeah, we'll just have to uh, have to see because uh, I don't want to sort of start burning that too soon because um, we're just gonna see. But um, okay, yeah, we'll just. Uh, so to see where where things take me there, but uh, yeah, RimWorld doesn't take too much too much juice. No, it's uh yeah. I tried to fire up um, Alan Wake too, mm-hmm. and it immediately starts with like a human sacrifice with a whole bunch of swearing in it, and I'm like, mm-hmm. maybe not. <laughs> How about this? Because I know you felt the pressure to return to Cam. How about I? Hold the stream down for five minutes or something while you actually go try to find the pain meds you need. Oh, I did find the pain meds. I was just apologizing for why it took so long. Because ah. the first ones I found were the like the drowsy kind. Okay, I didn't think you found them at all. I was like, no, I uh, get you get get you the meds you need. Okay, good. Yeah, no, I just didn't want to take the drowsy ones because I would literally be sitting here like. No, that's a, that's a good call. <laughs> I uh, I went. They're what I like try to use on planes to not be awake. So, because yeah. planes suck. I do hate flying. I have to say, I'm not afraid of it. I just hate every part of the experience. It sucks. Yeah, it's not like fear. It's just that flying itself is garbage. Yeah. Um, they've managed to make it such a miserable experience. It's like, all right, now you're going to be. Um, what do you call it? Uh, you know, you're like, okay, now you're going to be like crammed into a space with your knees up against your chin. So, nobody needs that. So, yeah, I don't know. I uh, Trapped in a not- tube with people you don't know and people you don't like. And I don't know, I always find the time goes slower on a plane. I'm always like looking at my watch. And it's always like five minutes to pass. I'm like, this sucks. I'm pretty good at sleeping on a plane, so not as bad. But um, yeah, it um, it could be a lot better. I'll say that. Yeah. All right. So what what game are you playing now? I don't know. I was just trying to decide that. Uh, certainly not Alan Wake 2, much as Maybe I... Maybe it was something uh, with a little bit more energy, so that it'll keep you awake a little bit more. Maybe something more action-y. Yeah, maybe... Um, I'm just trying to think here. You got Doom, play Doom. That'd be good. Um, I do have Doom, but I don't know Doom all that well. 
Um, like okay, so there you go. Like put it, put it on an easy mode and go kill some demons, man. You want them. I'm just trying to look here. Maybe Hades. Hades seems like a decent choice. Have you played Hades before? I have not, no. Oh, you should. Okay. Hades is a great game. Um, I mean, I think it got like a whole... I think it got basically all the awards. Cool. So... Here we go. Uh, someone in someone in chat says they're on their way to the Texas Ren Fair. I hope you have a great time. I'm looking forward to going pretty soon myself. Because uh, yeah, I I, I want to check it out. Nice. Um. Seven hundred thirty-one dollars and forty-five cents from Yanis. Oh wow. That's nice. Yeah, that's, um, thank you, and you're crazy, but we Hades, love you. <laughs> whose very name inspires fear and penitence, reminding us of the inevitable fate which we all share. I, however, mean to tell you such a tale. Listen carefully. Goodbye, Father. To hell with this place. I'm leaving. I guess that was the amount needed to bring you up to 30k. I guess people are in chatter saying so. Oh! Ready. Wow! Thank you, $75 from Anonymous. That's very kind of you. Thank you for helping to support the children. That is amazing. goes nothing <clears throat> in the name of hades olympus i accept this message hail noble cousin now let's get you from that miserable place i'll see that all of us upon olympus do our part beginning here with me mm. sure more attack no, damage is good all the way where you are goddess but thank you Oh, in the name of Secret McSquirrel, thank you. In the name of Secret McSquirrel. Yeah, we do miss Secret McSquirrel. Terribly. She was uh, amazing. So is this a roguelike? Um, Semi-roguelike in that it builds. Okay. All right, so cool. uh, you don't lose everything when you get killed, but you lose a bunch of stuff. But you will get killed a bunch before you uh, complete it. Right. And even when you complete it, it restarts. So. But it's really difficult to make it through without uh, dying a whole bunch of times first. That said, I am pretty good at this game. Thank you, Anonymous, for twenty-five dollars. I will not complete it uh, before we uh, <laughs> before uh, getting killed. But uh... the underworld's power. Yeah, let's get more more power ups. In this game, there's nothing wrong with cheesing the enemies. 
Thank you, $30 from Shiny. Good luck with the 24 hour stream. We may need some luck here. I got hit. I made it a long time before getting hit. My reward. Special is stronger. The strength of the goddess. Uh, somebody's saying, what game is this? This is Hades. Thank you, $10 from Dr. Scribbles. Great username. Every little bit helps, so we really do appreciate the people who oh, are absolutely. donating 5 or $10. And we, as people who donate $700, obviously, that's wonderful. But if all you have is 5 bucks, 5 bucks makes a difference, too, and we do appreciate it. Yep. Thank you. Well, now, yeah, let's do this one. Thank you, anonymous. Oh. I mean, uh, back pain is just going to be, uh, it's just kind of how my life is, but, uh, divine arrow. There's only one heavenly archer I know of. Well, several really. Anyway, in the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. I've heard about you. Look, I'm not like all the others on Olympus. The power of the hunt helps keep I'm not me like the other girls. Is that what she just said? That's great. Uh, yes. Uh, all right. None of those are the power I was hoping for, but... Um, Thank you, where when for five dollars. Appreciate it. I got a power that lets me deflect things, so might as well use it to cheese them. Hundred bucks, from Michael. Thank you, sir. That's very nice of you. I'm a granite of power. Wretches. <laughs> Trap kills are fun. $40 
fourteen dollars and sixty three cents from a sunflower day. Well, that does sound encouraging and bright. Thank you very much. A sunflower day. Thank you. A poem of power. Yeah, all right. Always better to have more uh, more attack power. Upon Olympus. Are you guys playing D and D today? Yeah, just a like quick one shot. Um, cool. It's mostly, um, what is it, uh, David's uh, Star Wars group. I'll keep you company until then. Oh, well, thank you. I'm, I'm not actually sure on the time zone difference. I'm like, yeah, what time is it? Because of time, time zone. They said, a, they said a half hour, so. Okay. 1829 from Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you. The chat may know better than I do. Caron's shop. Uh, 50 monies for that. Yeah. I'll take it. Cheers, mate. Yeah, I'll take that. That's handsome dead. Beyond the present. And I can reckon quite a bit. Why, good to see you, Caron, mate. Just minding my own business, taking in the sights, and I'm sure it's awfully convenient to be running a deal like this. I had all this coin I wanted to get rid of. And now we get to our first boss fight. Can I take out the first boss fight on the first run? Well, this is... Fifty-five dollars from Juniper Lily. Juniper Lily. That's a cool name. Come on, make it. Haven't we? Also, your first boss in this one is your ex-girlfriend. Your father sent me. So we can't be friends. Is that what I'm hearing? Good little man. Um, pretty much. The painful way. What'll it be? I'll have to go with the painful way. A man after my own heart. I can't. No more waste of time. Ten twenty-eight from Snanders. Thank you, sir. Oh man, I forgot just how much you suck starting out. <laughs> So this game is teaching us that the proper way to deal with our exes is by physically attacking them, I guess. Well, to be fair, she attacks it first. I don't think I'm going to win this one, but I'm going to try. We believe in you, Ian. That makes one of us. Twenty dollars from Bethany, or Bethan, rather Bethan Wilson. Thank you, Bethan. We appreciate that you want to save the children. Personally, I'm donating to the fund to oppose the children, but uh, we appreciate that you're supporting this one. Wait, there's a fund to oppose children? That seems like a weird thing to exist. Got 
55 dollars for megan thank you for that kind thoughtful contribution yep this is gonna be rough Get her. I mean, I'm getting close. Oh, oh that was close. That it's was tough. Very close. That was very close. Thank you, $20 from Allie, saying you are wonderful. No, you're wonderful for contributing to a good cause. We appreciate it. Are these notifications in OBS? Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Carry on, everyone. Don't mind me. Welcome to the House of Hades, where... Wait, I know you. Guess that means you died out there, huh? Well, don't be sad, though. Pretty much everybody dies sometime. Some of us more than others. Back already. Stupid boy. I told you nobody gets out of here, whether alive or dead. So how was your wanton ransacking of my domain? Greetings, father. My ransacking was a delight, thank you for asking. So I'll just... <laughs> Memory is in memory of C. E. U. Thomas. Well, that is a very oh, nice memorial. You. We appreciate it. What do I care? You shall never reach the surface. Go, see for yourself. You've returned. Good to see you, lad. Despite the circumstances, remember your training out there. The pain of death. It's but another obstacle. Yeah, that's a... Take care, Achilles. It's a pretty big obstacle for most of us, unfortunately. The house. Yeah, Hades. it's just your Hades' is kid, so you get to... Um, the world's king. You get to respawn endlessly. To his willful progeny. You know I, I heard a beep of someone in the background. Yep. Oh, no, it's Richard Hogue. <laughs> It's me, gentlemen. I saw you play in Hades, and I wanted to pop in before this turned into talk like a pirate day. <laughs> it, uh, I mean, Hades is a great game. It, and before I was playing Hard Space Shipbreaker, but with very few hours of sleep, it um, <laughs> it's kind of a peaceful game for uh, when you don't have much sleep. Um, you don't want anything that's too chill. I, I tried to switch over to Alan Wake 2, and it starts off with a human sacrifice and a whole lot of swearing. It does. And I was like, a lot of swearing and, and check, please. Like, we can't do this on the YouTubes. So. We're, we're over the two hour mark. Yes, we can. I expect to be uh, Yes. We I just. Um, then go. Eventually, we will, you know. I don't want to get a strike, you know, midway through a uh, midway through like a charity stream. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Uh, I love Alan Wake too. It's been a great half a week that I've been able to play it, but it does swear a lot. I mean, I really like Alan Wake, and I liked you know the um, you know the expansions and so forth. They were um, so. Yeah, I was just like, all right. Um, yeah, no, I've been really impressed by that game. And uh, I think you're going to like it. Although one of the reasons I like it, Ian, is that it has a lot in common in terms of what it wants to say with immortality. But it is more of a game. Okay. Okay, well, I mean, my Let's objection with, window there. you know, is not that it, or to immortality, is not that, like, it exists or it has certain <laughs> stories to tell. 
Um, it's just the lack of game oh, to it. And also the lack of... Um, like, they really should explain how the basic Never mechanic works. Because there's going to be people playing it who've got, like, disability issues who just don't know what the hell is the game. So, yeah. I was like, eh... There we go. Code unlocked. Well, I don't recommend playing Immortality on stream either, so. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um, do I want to run with the bow? You know, I think this might be the first time we've been on stream together since your stroke. So if this is the first time we've been on stream together, I'll take this opportunity to say it in person. I'm glad to see that you're doing so well. Oh, thank you, Kurt. Yeah, I was actually thinking when I woke up and I saw that Ian was playing Hades that and you were here, Kurt. That I believe you and I were here when Ian played Hades last year. Yeah. Just try and beat it out of me. And you know what? I'll probably play Hades again next year because um, Hades is just a really good game. It is a good game, and it's good for streams. Uh, and Hades Two should come out next year, so maybe you'll be playing that next year. Oh, I hope Hades Two is as good. Um, I'm kind of worried that, like, it's like, how could it be? Um, the name of Hades, Olympus. I accept and somebody's name. asking, is the count in Canadian funds or U.S. dollars? It's in U.S. dollars. Actual dollars. None of that fake dollars. You'll have a better home where you belong, here on Olympus. And to help you on your journey, have my blessing. Uh, so your attacks. Uh, let's go and improve the cast. Hey, Richard, I do a show on Thursday nights now. If you ever want to join me for that, it's uh, 8 Eastern. So, oh, thank you. Happy to for you to drop by if you want. Yeah, no, absolutely. I will. I will keep it in mind. I um. I haven't been able to do many of the night streams of anybody because I've just been going to bed earlier, but. Fair enough. If man. I can, I will. Sure. We need to also do that gaming thing we've been talking about since forever. We do. I think. Um, I think my last text to you on that was in August. I actually looked at that this weekend and said, "Oh, I'm sorry. I am." Oh, it's, I've been all over the place this last couple of months as we finish up rehab and try to get back a, to whatever the heck normal looks like. A, you've got all the best reasons for that, and B. Um, like I've been stupid busy myself, so it's all good. Like, uh, it's just, you know, Hey, I haven't forgotten. We need to do this at some point, but at the same time, like you gotta, you gotta sort of manage whatever you're and Any of that is not priority. Hey, the, uh, the in chat. Hello, Natalie Lurchick. Glad to see you're doing here today. Hey, um, Natalie, I am going to be, um, I think David's coming on shortly to run a game, but um, I will send you a link um, in any event. Um, just, uh, I haven't been on a stream with Natalie in, oh, since we did the hot, the hot ones. And um, see, charity streams bring, bring people together. You bring people together for a stream. Because I haven't been on stream with Mike in a long time either. So Me either. that was nice to see him this morning. So that was nice. And it's, I mean, I always enjoy his soft set uh, mockery because um, soft sets deserve mockery. <laughs> his show is so strange to me. It's like, I don't know how he does it ever, all the time. Is watch this absolute insanity and stupid. But uh, <laughs> I, I guess better him than me. Hey, uh, don't you cover like Supreme Court stuff? Yeah, which is kind of the exact opposite of that in every possible way. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's mocking the jurisprudence of our Supreme Court, Kurt. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, just a wee bit. They absorb my blood. Oh, these are going to be rough. Look. 
All right, I can just chaff this out. This is an interesting game in the sense that if you find a tactic that just cheeses monsters, you should totally uh, use it. Yeah. Yeah, I think since I was on here with you last, my daughter has really picked up on Hades. She's played it all year. Uh, it's, oh, it's like her favorite game. I It may be, you know, it's at least one of my favorite games. It's one of those games that's just like, I can keep picking this up and like just go to town on it. All right, I'll check it out. It's actually got a surprisingly deep plot for a game that is mostly like, you know, murder monsters. Um, like the plot on it is actually quite good. Yeah, I think I think my daughter is at um, like three Hades defeats right now. Um, I might be at um, the you have completed all achievements stage. Ooh. That, I mean, that's that's pretty good at Hades, man. Because um, some of those achievements are not super easy to get either. Bose does not do great at, well, anything until you get some perks on it. So mostly it's good at, uh, like, coward strategies. Um, Sometimes you just got to kite. Yep. And this is a game where it's like, there are really no bad... Um, uh, this is not the boss I wanted to be fighting with this thing. Have you played any Diablo 4, Ian? I have not. Um, yeah, that was a grand miss. It's one of my favorites this year. Yeah, I've heard it's good. I just... I, I'm sort of out of the Diablo franchise, I guess. I haven't been playing a lot of it. And so... Um, ah, this thing's kicking my butt. Well, they let three run the show for like 12 years. So if that one didn't match up with you, that's... Yeah, I don't have good crowd control with this thing, so. And the bow kills your mobility when you're trying to save. All right, 10 hit points. You did no it. No ability to heal. What's that? You did it. No problems at all. Oh, I'm going to get kicked or my butt kicked before I uh, accomplish anything, though. Um, I guess we'll go with the deadly strike. See, we have videos and graphics up above any of your pertinent stats, so we think you're just fine. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, I guess maybe I should, like, remove the uh, my title. Thank you for Dr. Vibes. $20. We do like vibes over here. The vibes to save the children. Or more importantly, the money. What better vibes could you have on a Saturday morning? Oh, absolutely. All right, what do we got there? Apparently, there's a lot of kids that would prefer, you know, living, and uh, the money helps with that goal. So, uh, you all know how I feel about hospitals in general this year, and I can't um, imagine going through all that as a kid. So, 
Absolutely. I assume you're a big fan because I been am there a whole bunch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You keep going back. You must love it. I've gotten a full service year long tour of the medical system. Mm -hmm. So, and I can't imagine what that's cost because, like, the U.S. medical system is not renowned for being inexpensive. I, I believe right now the claims are like two eighty three, something like that. Hey, um, if you're just down to, um, you know, if you're not into like six digits, oh, there's another person joining. Hey, it's Rob. Good. Look at that Good smiling morning, face. Look at Rob with his fancy camera and his bokeh out background. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. How you doing? We're doing okay. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, he, Ian's been up Rise. all night already. Surprise, surprise. I, I was unsuccessful with sleeping. Everything you do, Russell. So well, you're, you're not supposed to be. That that makes this successful because this is the 24 hour stream of you not sleeping. Yes, did but you try it, to sleep up to really, the start. I did, and then I got back pain and I couldn't. So, oh, no. um, so basically, I just have been up for I don't know eight, you know, however many hours already. So. This is why I always also, felt that Jack Bauer had the toughest seasons when he started at midnight. <laughs> no. I've got a oh, Rob bot. That's cute. Where's the Rob bot? Hang on. Oh, is that the wood Rob bot? Yep. Yep. Which is purple. I love that. So it's purple heart. <laughs> Which is my that's my favorite color. I also have a Roku bot. Which has sword pattern. Oh, that's so that's better. Cool. I have outfitted it with a tiny little sword. Oh, did you, you got it? To, so you got it to hold. That's awesome. Yeah. We got Rob. We got Scott. We got Ian. And um, you all. It, you all uh, have made my life so enjoyable, and I'm learning stuff. It is genuinely sharp. <laughs> hey, Nancy B. Thank you so much. Um. So yeah, um, I am playing some Hades. Hades is um, is a good game, although I'm getting my butt kicked. He says that, but he's going to go another couple rooms. Don't worry about it. Oh, I'm, I'm so sure confused. I can go another couple rooms. It's just I cannot go. I'm not going to successfully take the boss. Well, maybe that I did get that sandwich. I've... That's video games. Oh. Oh, it's good badly. We've got a loading icon. Speedy wheel. Well, I think David's got some chaos in mind for you, so. I think so. That'll probably be a wrap up the, uh, the I think that's set to start like imminently. Yeah. Yep. Fifteen and minutes. I've got this guy. If we want to set up and get him away, a pen. Oh, a pen. You've got specialty fundraiser pens, Rob. Yeah. This one's the dragon pen. Let's see what's in here. I don't. Did I buy one. a little rotating battery-powered pedestal to film the pens? Yes, I did. Am I ashamed about that? Not in the slightest. Five hundred dollars from Team Whoa. Hogue. Oh, awesome! Thank you so much. Hogue apparently has some hit fans. I think I, I'll, I'll ask, but I think that's probably co-counsel okay. in the background. Well, thank you, co-counsel. That's very generous. Uh, we we love all y'all, and this is such a good cause. Oh, it's um. I was really impressed. They took me on a little uh, tour just to show me some of the stuff they do. And it's just like, holy crap. Because um, like this is the hospital. Surgery, yep. And um, like pretty much a whole bunch of transplants, if they're being done in 
like anywhere north of Red Deer, they uh, they get flown in. She is your mother, so, as I understand. Yeah. We Olympians I will pretend I know where that is, but I, I can use context clues. Um, if you sort of picture the province um, being split in two, um, it is um, it's sort of the, the midway. So, yeah. All right. I'm picturing the province split in two. So it's sort of the midpoint there. Um, and let me just see. Hey, Natalie. Good morning. Now, Rob, it's Saturday morning. It's early. Uh -huh. how, how did you how did you finish up your Friday night stream? Was it was it late? Did you sleep tonight? I got the, I kept that stream <laughs> at under three hours. Oh, under okay. three hours. And I covered Dark all Kips three topics babies. I wanted to. I was but it's really cool. So, so we I'm donating everything from that stream, all the proceeds from that stream to extra life. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, my five dollars from Natalie. Thank you, Natalie. Oh, look at that. Yay. I feel like there's a lot of really good people, and I'm really lucky to uh I'm really lucky to know you guys. It's uh so well, chat last night was on fire. I was like, right, "Let's get Ian the ten thousand before he before he starts." And they were like, "And they okay, were like, no, we'll raise you, <laughs> <laughs> we'll raise you." And then throughout the night, it looks like what you're at thirty k now. Yeah, uh, it's it's unreal. Um, so, oh, and Prototopics is giving us a ten minute warning. Oh, there you go. I uh, I had to make a pirate character. I have I had no idea what I was doing, so I, I'm running Ghost Blade. I have reached the boss. You're stubborn, aren't you? Maybe my whip might make you reconsider whatever it is that you're attempting here. Um, that <laughs> your whip's not been all that persuasive in the past. We're oh. getting way too much about their relationship. Why right am here. I? <laughs> Persistence will pay off for both of us. Well, Eddie's the relationship. Like, is, they, have, they have a complicated relationship. Um, Rob, just so you have the background, um, the first boss is your ex. Oh, so these so, two used to date. Whips ordered by your dad cuffs. to stop you. Whips and chains, handcuffs. All right. You're trying I have to a leave pirate. Can I bring a pirate on? Yes. Because I. Oh, no. <laughs> Yar, har, lily, be. If you let sail this. David, what's your pirate you voice? Yar, pirate. That's right. Yar. Not like a pirate day. Is that all you're going to say? You're going to run a whole game just going, yar, 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 yar. Yar. I mean, <laughs> good to see you, yar. David. That surprise you? Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> How are we doing? Doing great. Um, we're gonna see if I can take out this boss. Your ex? Yeah. She just I joined it right she, the best time. She was like the whipping thing. That she said the whip has not been as persuasive as it has in the past, and I was like, what is she saying? Yeah. yeah um, <laughs> they know exactly what they were doing with that. Well, I figured as much. Oh yeah, they like people, innuendo in Hades. I mean, people think that I throw innuendo around, man. This this game does it pretty well. So David, I have to drop my guy down to level five, correct? Or you could just leave it at seven. You're gonna need it. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of one shot where everyone dies. This is so. It's not gonna I'm be rolling at level easy three. out on these high seas. <laughs> do we? Do we? Is, is it a one shot where the unicorn hoodie comes out? When David I says mean, one shot, he means one shot. One <laughs> shot. Yeah. He means your character is gonna get one shotted. <laughs> or shot once, or three times. No, just one shotted. So, you know, Ian, so you know, in chat, so you know, I'm going to pop off for the pirate day, but I will be back on, Ian, at some point later today to hang awesome. out. Awesome. I mean, 
you know, um, whatever you're sort of able to do, like, don't feel obligated if you're, you know, you know, if you're having a rough time or whatever, but I, I'd love to hang out. So, yeah, no, I will be back on, I, uh, I don't know when, I don't know how, probably through clicking a StreamYard link, but I will be back. Excellent. All right, cool. We'll see you later, man. Over 32K, Ian. Holy crap. All right. I'm going to hit the quit button because um, stuff is going on here. But um, All right. I guess that's also my cue to step out, so I'll see you guys later. See, see you, you later, Kurt. Thank you, uh, right. thank you for joining me. <laughs> no worries. We'll pull that out when we need it. Where's my pirate hat? You, why do you have a pirate? Oh, that you've always had that pirate hat, though. Yep, pirate hat. <laughs> I've just got my my trusty, trusty weapons. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> did I tell you I rocked out with glitter blade on um, Halloween? Oh, really? <laughs> Oh, yeah. In the unicorn onesie. <laughs> Walked around the neighborhood with kiddos and did, yeah. You know what, though? It's a, it's a good it's a good costume. No, it was, it was, you know? it was that black unicorn onesie and the glitter blade was rocking out. The great thing was, I wasn't concerned about the kids losing me, my nieces and nephews. I, I right, knew that yeah. they would be able to see that big glitter blade up in the air. I can't miss <laughs> you. All right. Um, yes, I do have swords. I'm not going to go grab a sword though. Cause they're in another room. I have lightsabers, but not with me. No swords <laughs> though. But are we, uh, are we, are we ready to introduce what we're doing today? I think so. Um, All right. we have other people on hand. We do have other people on hand. So we're going to bring them in in a second. And, uh, but I just want to give an introduction to what we're doing here. So this is the Pirates of Dagger Den, which is going to be a Dungeons & Dragons one-shot here today, uh, featuring some familiar faces. If you've watched uh, the Star Wars show that I've run, or maybe you watch D20 Deathmatch, you'll recognize some of the other faces. And uh, we're going to be doing this Pirate one-shot. Now, here's the rules, and this is really why I wanted to give an introduction is that your donations, once we start, your donations to the charity will count towards impacting the game. There is a chaos wheel. And every time we pass $100, the chaos wheel God. <laughs> oh, God. So, I am so concerned and so confused. Time, every time we pass $100 on the threshold, this gets to spin, and something will happen every time with this wheel. Oh. You realize that it might be no, 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 no. You, you, you can't do the hundred dollars. You got this has to be a th <laughs> people. David, it's got to go to a thousand. A hundred dollars is too low of a threshold, man. That is, you're going to be spinning that thing all day. You know what? It's not going to have time to finish. You know what? I that I will leave that up to you two to decide what the threshold should be. Ian, this is your channel. You tell me what the dollar amount is, and then we'll keep track of it. Let's try five hundred. Five hundred dollars for the chaos wheel. So, oh, and you crap. You Sorry, all heard it's that. early. <laughs> oh man! So, Ian, you have to change. Do you have a way to change your um the banner up at top so it tracks like total towards the goal? I I don't because I didn't code that. Um, we'll just have to do math. That's okay. Because I've got people who are going to tell me, and I know chat is going to tell us every time we hit it if we don't see it ourselves. Oh. But we are going to track it, and it's going to be every $500. Every $500, the chaos wheel gets to spin. And I'll be honest, I don't think all of them, uh, all of the things on the chaos wheel will help the party. I think it's going to be a little chaotic. <laughs> up in here i i'm just kind of surprised that like there are things that might help the party <laughs> oh no there are definitely things that will help the party yeah it's it's got to be fair chaos is balanced you know 
Is it going to help the is party it? as in the players, um, or is it going to help the party as in like the actual shenanigans? I mean, yes. We'll see. <laughs> oh, you'll 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 see once we start spinning. There, there's a theme here for some of these. Oh, Cinder Shadow is going to be you, in West Edmonton Mall in an hour for setup. Hour for setup. What you are doing here is amazing. Well, thank you. Cinder Shadow is also fundraising, so he's going to be at the uh, West Edmonton Mall um, with a whole bunch of other people. So um, I'm hoping to be able to join him at like 10 for um, uh, what's the game called? Uh, Phasmophobia. I've never played it, but I've heard it's amazing. Very so, scary. Yeah. Um, also, I'm just going to mention we are now at number eight on the leaderboard. So, um, yeah, that's, um, that's amazing. Um, now, now the number one is bring Magic the Gathering. <laughs> yeah, I saw them. You're not, we're not catching them, but. We're not catching them, no. Um, like, we are at we're at the point where we're embarrassing corporations into no, donating to themselves. With mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Ian, you and ready to read the rest of your, uh, rest of your party? Yes. <laughs> oh, these the guys went all out. That is awesome. <laughs> we're not here to play. We're here to play. Ian, permission to <laughs> remove the logo momentarily. Uh, yes. Uh, give me a yeah. Okay, I you got, got it. it. Good stuff. Um, this is why you gave me powers. Yes, because um, otherwise the logo is like Rob is. <laughs> oh no! It's just powered by Streamyard. <laughs> uh, there we go. All right. I was just trying to see if I could get it to line up so it's just the the duck on his head. <laughs> and now we've got the full team. <laughs> It sounds like Charlie Brown every time they uh, they applaud. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Absolutely Charlie Brown. <laughs> okay. Welcome, everyone, to Pirates of Dagger Den, a D&D &D one-shot here as we are raising money for Extra Life. I am uh, David from Prototopics, and I'll be your game master for today. I want to welcome all of you in the chat, and I want to welcome this motley crew of players here today before we go around and introduce who we all are and who all of our characters are i'm gonna go ahead and read the introduction to the show so let's get into that now again once we start every 500 dollars we make the chaos wheel has to spin so be aware of that <laughs> okay here lie the dangerous isles, a treacherous archipelago where the laughter of the waves turn to a menacing murmurs and the kiss of the wind becomes the bite of a tempest. Tis a place etched in the lore of every sea rover, scallywag, and marauder. For here be the twin sisters of piracy and legend forever entwined in a deadly dance. And ye have chosen to sail under the banner of me, Cap and Feathersword, in pursuit of Dagger Den and the legendary treasure, the Ocean Soul. Some claim the Ocean Soul can command the waters, summoning currents and conjoining gales. Others claim it can speak the voice of lost sailors guiding us from the beyond. But I know what it is to be true. The Ocean Soul is a Blu-ray 4K copy of the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. <laughs> Gold. And ye should know. <laughs> We're not alone on these high seas. There are beings in the sky watching us from beyond. And there so often, you can hear them speak with their doubloons, changing the very fabric of our reality. <laughs> Be vigilant, for no one can escape the wheel of chaos. I now look down upon ye, this crew who has chosen to sail under Cap and Featherbeard. And I ask ye to introduce yourselves and your characters to the crew. Go ahead, starting with Mr. Uncle of the Bailey. Go ahead, introduce yourself and your character, sir. And so first thing I'm going to hopefully, I hopefully have turned off the sound on the alarms 
because but it um, was so great because it was yay. applauding our missteps. <laughs> <laughs> Their yeah. demise is soon. <laughs> and then you're hit by a cannonball. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So my character is uh, named Experimental because that is stamped on his chest. And he figures that's got to be a name. I have not successfully turned <laughs> off. <laughs> you <have the> noises. <laughs> uh, so, Warforged pirate and um, deathly afraid of falling off the uh, the ship. So, <laughs> stays where he can. Uh, I had an image, which I don't think I have convenient, but um, basically has pirate out, you know, pirate outfit. And looks sort of like a brass skull in the uh, so very distinctive and not exactly going to blend in, but um, there he is. <laughs> okay, experimental. Welcome to the crew. I now look and see there is an individual wearing a woody cowboy hat aesthetic. <laughs> the story time guy, introduce yourself and your character. Uh, your howdy and all that nonsense. Um, I got on the wrong boat. I was trying to go to the Wild West, and I ended up going to the Blue West. And, uh, well, uh, I don't really like boats. I don't like water. My name is <laughs> Razzle Dazzle. That's when I throw confetti, by the way. Whenever I introduce myself, I always throw confetti. I always have some. Uh, I am a, uh, a artificer, uh, tiefling, and, um, yeah, I, uh, I'm just a cowboy, uh, trying to make his way in life, and, uh... And also, this sounds really fun uh, in character. I'd really like to get that thing and, uh, I don't know, make like statues of myself from the water. Yeah, I think that's what I'd, I'd really like. But on shows, <laughs> you know, you could do a lot of a lot of hand tricks if you controlled the water. Make a lot of money from that. So uh, yeah, that's probably what I'd do if I get it, when I get it. You know, kill whoever I have to kill. Friends, foes, friends. Doesn't really matter who, you know. Did he say friends? Like seven <laughs> times. <laughs> he said he'd kill his friends. <laughs> okay, well, uh, hold up. It's only if you're my friend, right? That's how you show friendship. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Mm. That's what pirates do, right? Also, my character knows nothing about pirates, so um, I'm gonna make a lot of assumptions. <laughs> can your can your character swim? Uh, there's no water in the Wild West, so no. <laughs> Good. Is there a lot of water? I'm assuming we're taking a boat to somewhere, landing in in a nice, normal desert, right? Hmm. He's in Good for session. a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Yar. That's what I'm how you guys say sadness. Yar. And as I look away from the very confused man, I see... Is that... Is that a monkey on my ship? It Do is! I... <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Caustic Phoenix, and for this little ship, we will be partaking in the character of Monkey Key, the ship sinker. You see a tiny little monkey, little chapukin cheeks that are big and bold and covered around her are many, many pockets, so many pockets, and in each and every single one is a tiny rock, precious and very important to her. I'm ready for this! And she'll hop up to the top of the mast. Oh, baby. This is a whole lot of energy for 10 a.m. I am living this. Bless your soul, little monkey. I'm so happy to be with this little monkey. Bless his little soul. I'm going to be so sad when it dies. What? Huh? Nothing, monkey. Don't worry about it. We all make sacrifices. Probably you especially. And uh, sitting there in the back, I see there is an individual who is a little angsty and yawning and Seems to be a little early for them. Uh, Ghostblade, go ahead and introduce yourself and your character. Rob Channel Lawn Lumber. And the character is Ghostblade. Ghostblade is a rogue. He has no idea what he's doing, but ends up playing two roles, often at once, sometimes nice, sometimes just decides he wants to slit something, cut something. I have a blade that's called the Soul Sealer 3000, and there's a gemstone in my pocket that does exciting things. Can I have that? No, you you might. Well, no. I have another question. <laughs> yes. If you have a ghost blade, how can you cut through things? Because ghosts can't cut through things. Oh no, this one steals souls. 
it it actually it it started off as a dagger and then when it got blood from my hand it grew um the innuendo was not my fault that was david's fault but so no it was jack's fault (laughs) Uh, question when you die and and or get thrown overboard by a fellow compatriot crewmate um who can is your ghost um phallic what was it a phallic ghost thing uh will that work Uh, with soul sealer that grows yeah yeah the growing point Will that work with everyone or just you? I'm pretty sure that works with just me. Oh, so it's worthless. No, it has a preference. Well, to anyone else except for me. <laughs> oh, don't we all, sweetie? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Well, <laughs> you know, your phallic ghost thingy. Uh, you do that, and uh, I guess I won't kill you first. At which point, we, a very confused Captain Feathersword turns his attention to the elder, elderly woman who has walked aboard his ship. <laughs> Yes, yes, darling. It's so nice to see you all. I, my name is Granny Nana. That's what the children call me. They have for years. <laughs> I'm very excited to be going on this adventure to get the ocean's bowl. I want a bowl of pudding so big it would fill the ocean deep. <sighs> and I am Olivia, known as Pinwilder on TikTok and on Prototopics. So. <laughs> and you've got fans. <laughs> the Peanuts Gang. Would that good. kill all the fish, though? What? The, if you made all the the ocean of pudding, wouldn't all the cows and the cowfish and the horsefish and the the pigs? Well, everyone can die? make as many wishes as they want, Sunny. Oh, I'm okay. not. I'm not one to, to. There's many stars in the sky. I'm not one to squash the dreams. Oh, that? I get what you're. Many stars, and I get what she's saying. And I give her a wink. Oh my! I'm over my head. I'm it should be noted that Granny Nana is uh, wrinkled beyond nearly recognition. She's a halfling woman um, who stands at roughly three feet tall, um, and she has one leg, but instead of a peg leg, she uses crutches. To get around. Uh, have you been reading my diary? No. Please, please stop. I have not. <laughs> I just read your mind. I have a terrifying read my diary. When I saw that old woman. <laughs> it, is, it is quite a good read. Okay. And with that, I see we have, uh, we have accumulated the crew. I have worked with crews before. None have looked as, well, frankly, interesting as this crew. It is okay. Well... Let us begin our voyage. And so you guys will uh, take off en route to Dagger Den and three days and three nights will pass and you will deal with not a lot of food. And the food that is there is already covered in maggots as if it wasn't cleaned out with the last crew. There is just kind of a a dirtiness left behind from the previous crew and you deal with some torrential winds and downpours it's not fun it's not pretty and then the sun during the day is very hot and it's not great but the voice in the sky keeps talking and keeps cheering you on (laughs) and so at the beginning also of the experimental third... keeps asking questions like, do you like eating those when they're eating the maggots? Because he doesn't eat, so. <laughs> do you need help eating? No. Oh. <laughs> and so eating is I... for you. <laughs> I just didn't know if you didn't know which hole it was supposed to go into, and I was going to help you. What are we gonna do? Figure you out? Know, like, there's not gonna be anything. Problem. You have to try. <laughs> My interest is peaked. Uh, I've I've got purified food and water because you know, it, it, drinking a lot of pee happens. And uh, in fact, I'm just gonna assume that's what we do here on the boat. So I'm just gonna pee in a bucket, purify uh, food and water spell, and uh, offer it to anyone. Does anyone want some water? And I'm still going to be very happy not to need to eat, drink, boss. or sleep. I love you guys. <laughs> You do great things for so many people. <laughs> Good Thank job, you. Razzle Dazzle. Is that the sound of God? Because do we hear that? Do we hear the sound of gods? I don't know, but he, not, whoever he that was was confused that? because it said we do good things for a lot of people, and I don't see a lot of that happening on this ship. I'm offering you guys free water. What are you talking about? You are you offering us your friends. It. You're welcome. 
We are There's a big asterisk called cut free water. <laughs> Three days and everyone's already suffering from scurvy. <laughs> <laughs> And so three days will go by and you'll find yourselves looking out on the horizon and you finally see land. And I'd like to know of the crew, what is the first thing each of you does when you first hear Captain Feathersword yell, we're about to make dock. I'll drink Razzle Dazzle's piss water. It's regular water <laughs> Just, that was once piss, but it's regular, it like regular water. I'm going in hydrated. <laughs> exactly. It, you give me a sec. I can recycle this in about uh, uh, five minutes or so. I need a constitution saving throw. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> I got a 14. It's purified enough, but it's room temperature. This is really delicious. There's a weird tang to it. You should probably eat more food. Uh, you know, um, I'm gonna be honest. I don't really know how to use this on food, right? Every time I do it, it it just doesn't work too well. So really, I've just been drinking water and nibbling on wood this whole time. Oh, that makes sense. There is a lot of fiber in here. Yep. You know, you go to sleep with a piece of wood in your mouth, you wake up with half a wooden piece of wood in your mouth, and... Uh, well, you know, it's got to come out somehow. I feel like you have a lot more life experience than I do right now. <laughs> Probably not as much life experience as um, the... Never uh, woke it up with wood. <laughs> My... Exactly. So you're a monkey, right? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Can I use that word? Is that Have your, you never... Like... Yeah, I'm monkey okay. key. I specialize because I'm a monk and I'm a monkey. You can just call me Kiki for short. You're a monk? Like, you know how to punch people? Yeah, you want to see? Can I try to punch him? Yeah, I absolutely. Watch me off the boat. Like, Change the in tone. <laughs> yeah, Matt twenty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking them out. Roll damage. I would like to go for a dick punch for flavor. <laughs> Can you uppercut? Can you do it like an uppercut? Oh, am I not supposed to say bad words on the stream? I'm sorry. I should oh no, you, you can say anything word. you want. We're well in the past two hours, yeah. so we're good. Okay, I'm going for the pecker then. <laughs> I, I All right, just... roll roll damage. I, I I absolutely will. We're opening on <laughs> PvP. The bad guys haven't even shown up yet. And it's just it's PvP stream. <laughs> it is 10 points of damage straight to the dick. <laughs> and how much would a metal cup stop that? Like if uh... <laughs> Oh, I ring that, that bell. Metal cup just goes I ring that shatters. bell, and you are going <laughs> to feel I mean, I'm from the Wild West. You walk around without a metal cup on, uh, you never been to a brothel. Good morning, uh, <laughs> Granny Nona. Uh, 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 Granny Nona, you have just stepped <laughs> outside, and the first thing you witness is one of your crewmates monk <laughs> punching, uh, uppercutting Razzle Dazzle, who visibly lifts off the ground with that strike before landing can i can i bg3 it where you do that the, the, the little ragdoll like arc like, yes <laughs> it's like it's like that gang beast game where he just flops around like a ragdoll <laughs> exactly i'm gonna be in a lot of pain and at the same time go Whatever. super cool Mon monkey really i didn't mean punch me though uh, always happens with the ladies uh, I missed it. Could you do that again? Yeah, of course. Here, I'll use my left hand this time. It'll go easier on him. Are you aiming for which which one? Right or left? Oh, the word. Do you Square how many do you have? Let me ask that. <laughs> Granny Nona, how do you react? <laughs> Granny Nona is just just cr using her crutches and just hobbling on by. Good morning, children. How are you today? Good, we're doing pecker punches this morning as our warm-ups. I... She's named it. She's named it. Yep. I am so proud uh. you practice that. And I am telling you, it will get you far in life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I go, what, before you punch me again, I take off my belt because my belt's got like, uh, you guys ever see the, the um, like from Dust Till Dawn where he's got that like, that gun? <laughs> no, that was not what I thought was popping I know exactly up like that. What you're talking about? <laughs> yeah, I, that's my eldest can because I'm an artificer. All right, and with that, everyone roll initiative because a, <laughs> an enemy vessel has now come around you and is now attacking. 
Yeah, we're fun. under attack. <laughs> <laughs> Just for well, flavor, I throw a cheap shot because um, I, I was given permission to. So. <laughs> Do you like walk by and like nut just? Oh yeah, ah. just a flick. Yeah, but it's with my enough. tail. Oh, with your tail, that's even better. I'm gonna like dodge like the, you walking by and then ah, tail. I like it. I got 17, Papa. <laughs> oh yeah, roll. Twelve. So I got a natural one, but I'm a halfling, so I got to re-roll. So I got oh. a 19. So it's a 23. Freaking halflings. <laughs> you got... Uh, Kiki. Dirty 20. Uh, Ghostblade. 12. Rather happy to be going last. Okay, and so what happens is as you guys are... Uh, just kind of messing about on this bright morning. Another vessel comes around in front of you, kind of just kind of cutting you off and keeping a distance as you're both moving ahead. And you could see that this, this crew out in the distance is turning their cannons and pointing them at you, and they're going to open fire upon you. I feel like um, in memory of keeping their distance is a good uh, move. It's like, mm -mm, all they're doing over there is dick punching. Let's keep our distance. <laughs> <laughs> and so the first, the first cannonball lets loose and flies across the ocean. Boom, hitting the ship. And I need Razzle Dazzle, Kiki, and Experimental to roll a dexterity saving throw. Yes, give me the big rocks. Oh, no. 18. 7. 11. Experimental and Kiki, as this cannonball hits the ship on the top of the deck, the floor gives out where the three of you are, and only Razzle Dazzle is able to hold himself up as the other two of you fall through and hit the bottom deck. Ow. You will each take. Yay! Oh, 300. Trying Whoa. to kick it for 33,000. Hang in, Ian. Hang in. <laughs> Hang in. <laughs> uh, somebody believe... was asking, are we keeping track of progress towards the chaos yes, wheel? I think we're that... owed like three chaos wheel rolls. That put yeah. us over <laughs> quite a bit. And so I'm going to roll it in a second. So here's what happens as you guys fall through. You'll each take seven points of damage from falling and hitting the ground. At which point you hear... A voice call from across the ocean. Hey, we're uh, we're we're gonna get the ocean soul before you. Do any of you what? respond? <laughs> Fuck oh, you, no. Morty. They, they were they were practicing <laughs> punches this morning too. Apparently. <laughs> and with that, <laughs> shout, so so your mother. Cheering. Hello, Ian and crew. Love the D&D &D story time. Also, maybe <laughs> someone could 15. cover the lawsuit against Hill Science Diet Dog Food. I think it's very interesting and could be very informative for pet owners. Thanks I, for all you do. I could provide some really interesting commentary on it, but it wouldn't be very long. <laughs> on a 15, I'm going, I'm going to read this. So the Chaos Wheel has spoken. On a 15, this is called Hot Sauce Missile Launcher. A golden light and god rays appear in the sky. An RPG missile launcher descends from the heavens, fully loaded. With a single missile of face-off hot sauce. It is now sitting on the deck in front of you. On the top deck. There is now an RPG filled with hot sauce. Okay, I feel like that is something we have to make use of. Um... Can I just dive for it or no? You're still we're still on, on your so we're still we're still in initiative. And so yeah. with that, the two of you have fallen. Granny, it is your turn. You've just watched as you've been hit by a cannonball. They've called from the other side, and a giant missile launcher has descended from the heavens, a gift from the chaos, and dropped onto your ship. What do you do? All right. I'm using that super high uh 
roll and I'm going to hobble all 35 feet as quickly as I can. And and she's surprisingly fast on these crutches. Just okay. kind of just choo, choo, choo. uh I'm so sorry, honey. Could you could you repeat that for me? I couldn't hear you. My ears ain't what they used to be. <laughs> I couldn't hear you over the sound of hot sauce missile launcher. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're gonna get we're gonna we're gonna get the ocean soul before you. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, can one of you understand what the young man is saying to us? Because I just don't understand. And then that's it. That's all I'm doing. Hot sauce. <laughs> Did he just shotgun hot sauce? Yes. Yes. <laughs> that's a tendency. It's a tendency he has. Oh my God. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's my turn. Oh, I can't. Hear, okay. I can't hear anything. I I hear it talk. I, I'm yelling across the ocean. You keep. I didn't know that they offer insult. It's all right. Kiki, it's your turn. <laughs> You have fallen through. You're on the bottom deck. And uh, all all you saw was these bright lights coming from the sky, lighting up the deck that you're on. It's on fireworks today. Is it somebody's birthday? And Kiki's going <laughs> to jump and quickly climb back up to the main deck at this point. <gasps> Is it the other crew? Are they sending us gifts? Somebody shoot me over. Somebody shoot me over. And I'm going to crawl inside one of our cannons. And if anybody would like to shoot me over on the <laughs> hold my move for that. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> the other pirates are going to go as Kiki uh, loads herself into the nearest cannon, which mm -hmm. is pointed face first. at the oh, face first. Okay. Yeah, that way my butt is mm. the first thing that arrives. Very good. Uh, the, the pirates are going to launch these uh, 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 ropes over as they the ship kind of gets close enough for them to throw over these these hooks, and they start pulling themselves over and onto your ship. And you see two of them arrive, and they're they're just two humans that are not really wearing any fancy clothing or anything, and they have these really rusted swords. And as they draw them, they come running over, and one of them is. As the cheering, they feel so excited as the cheering comes from the sky. And they run over and they go, one of them goes to swing on Ghost Blade. Hey, man, uh, I, I'm sorry I have to do this, but like you can't you can't have the ocean soul. And he swings with a four, missing you. Mm. Is that your response? Got, mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're, You've got very does apologetic. That give does that give me an opportunity attack, his miss? Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> On your turn, you could you could retaliate, assuming he's still alive. The second one is going to go, and he's going to run forward. And go, no, man, you got to swing like this. And he's going to swing upon you, rolling with a 17 to hit. Does a 17 that, hit Ghost Blade? Yeah, 17 hits. Here, this Sucks. is what you do, man. And he swings down on you with his sword and deals five damage. Well, that's annoying. That's really frustrating. Okay. I will wake really, up, I promise you. You sound really thrilled, like pirate. Well, I just got I just got slashed. It's early in oh. the morning. I've got there's a monkey whose ass is sticking out of a, a cannon over here. It's me. <laughs> There's a hot sauce grenade. I'm processing. It takes me a second. Do you need a Snickers? You're not you when you're hungry. I need That's a true. Snicker. <laughs> I don't trust you to give it to me, though, because I doubt it's going to be a Snickers. It'll be and a razzle surprise. Dazzle, you, razzle Dazzle, you shut up. You don't say a word right now. I don't want to hear you come out because you thought water was something else. It'll have nuts in it, but it won't be a Snickers. Yep. Nope. I don't want I don't, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to wait. Until I have a frustrating opportunity to try and kill these two. And I am being told that we have a second wheel spin queued up. Uh-oh. May you always ignore the fact that the water you must drink used to be urine. <laughs> <laughs> that will haunt me the rest of my life. Thank oh you. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. On the second wheel spin, we've rolled a 14. And what happens is... <laughs> <laughs> I thought this would have happened later. 
a second boat appears on the other side and you just see as this little dinghy of a boat becomes sailing over and as you look over you'll see that there is a swarm of monkeys beating their chests on the other side Whoa! Ah! 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 they're they're losing their collective minds and they're just going to keep floating along on the other side until it is their turn with that not my zoo not my monkeys um they might be though <laughs> <laughs> to recap we have the two of uh uh kiki's in the the cannon experimental you're still on below deck there are two guys on your ship there is an rpg on your ship as well a missile launcher and now there is a swarm of monkeys in a dinghy going by razzle dazzle it is your turn what do you do oh gosh uh -oh. i've been trying to figure out what i want to do there's about 110 things going through my mind I'll tell you what um okay so i got to shoot the monkey uh so i'm gonna imbue the weapon i'm gonna infuse the cannon uh, to do an extra roll and hit and damage. Uh, I'm going to aim that at... Um... Uh, let's have a question. Would this be too difficult to enlarge mid-air? Wait, are you the... enlarging me mid-air? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm starting off small, so you'd make me a medium size. That's... But I'm I, saying as I'm... you're flying through the air. Oh, yeah. Would that be too difficult? Give me an arcana check to yeah, see if you would on. be strong enough to do that. Fair enough. Make me a gorilla. Kiki is now Kong. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got 15 for that. Oh, my gosh. Okay, yes, you, you would be of the strong enough will to cast in large as Kiki is flying through the air. Okay, perfect. So I, I infuse the cannon to, and I aim it as best I can. Uh, kick the cannon bonus action and then as she's flying through the air i go a little razzle dazzle and i i flick my arm in the air with a little sparkle confetti and i increase her size yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's a i love that added flavor does she hit Getting anyone the, the largest monkey's butt it, they've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> That thing is locked and loaded if we need to know. <laughs> Kiki, uh, as, as as you see the monkey flying backwards through the air, just growing in size, eventually colliding with the side of that ship and blasting through the other end. <laughs> there is now a full hole through that ship. Uh, Razzle Dazzle, is there anything else on your turn? Uh, no, that's about it. That's what I was uh, going for, for uh, just shooting that cannon and turning a monkey into a bigger monkey. Razzle hey, Dazzle, you... I found I found something that you lost. <laughs> oh, I want that, back. that makes me do <laughs> things better if I don't have them. That's nice that they're in a, in a simple little sack kept together. <laughs> I agree. I'm just confused when you met my ex-wife. So, because um, <laughs> she was pretty convinced she was keeping those forever. <laughs> Uh, he does family law, so he does um, family law. <laughs> he's like as payment. I need those from you. Uh, yeah, that's that, and then um, uh, yeah, that's my, my that's my turn. I've just been told we are about to pass Chaos Wheel Three. Oh man, Chaos Wheel Three is about to be passed. Do with that what you will. Anyway, uh, Kiki, you blast through the enemy ship going straight over through and landing in the water on the other side. You are now, just to wrap up where you are, you have the, the enemy ship here, which immediately begins taking on water. And then to the other side, you see that there is the land that is within swimming distance. It's very close. Mm. So that's that. But now we jump back over to Experimental, who I believe is still on the bottom deck. You've, you're hearing most of this. You would have just seen at the God rays as uh, something descends, and we are we have passed Chaos Wheel Three. Oh, we'll roll yes. in a second. Glad the f bombs showed up, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the chaos event? The f bombs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get prepared. <laughs> Experimental. It is your turn. What do you do? 
can I find like a um, a rope with a weight thing to like to do the uh, cinematic esque, you know, re uh, what is it, re entry? Uh, otherwise, otherwise, it's the stairs. <laughs> Quick investigation, investigation check. is not my strong suit. Let's see how this goes. That is a five. <laughs> As you look around, all you see is stairs. Stairs it is. <laughs> hey, you can tell there's stairs by the way they are. <laughs> there's a clank, clank, clank coming back up the stairs. And before we continue, we have two chaos wheel spins. Two. <laughs> can I say after we get like the fifth chaos wheel, like it should go up to a thousand? <laughs> <laughs> we should probably do that. <laughs> We're going to run out of Chaos Wheels before we get into the adventure. Yeah. <laughs> or we're just going to get killed by the Chaos Wheel. For real. <laughs> okay. I'm sure death is an option. Before <laughs> this is applied, Experimental has already started their turn. I'm going to let them finish their turn and then I will apply the Chaos Wheel. But it has been spun. We have one more spin to go. Experimental, what do you do? You have now walked up to the top deck. You see that there are two guys and there's a rocket launcher sitting on your deck. If I could pick up the rocket launcher, let's fire that at their ship. <laughs> As you look across, you pick up this rocket launcher and there's just this stench of uh, chilies and peppers and it's very fragrant and immediately spicy on the nose. Uh, go ahead and aim it, and then give me a, a give me a d twenty roll. It's a flat d twenty roll. The it's an eleven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So experimental. As you you pick it up, and you could see that there are a couple of people running back and forth. A couple of people running around on the other ship, trying to get the other cannon ready. They're bailing out the water that Kiki has blown through the the whole of the ship. And as you're, you're trying to get it lined up and you don't really get it lined up on one person. And as you shoot the rocket, it flies across and it hits the mast and explodes. And you just see the splash of hot sauce, which splats and hits people. And like the blood of a xenomorph from Alien, their <laughs> skin begins melting and you hear screeching coming from the other side of the water. Ah! my face my face and they are just melting and it is horrific to see and hear but that is what hot sauce does when it's called face off hot sauce it takes your face off so experimental that turns and just gives a thumbs up <laughs> i need to ask a really important question right now really quick i'm so sorry but does experimental have olfactory receptors does he know the the gravity of what just transpired because you oh, described the smell can he smell it we must know i don't know let's go with no <laughs> <laughs> he's unaware the safe option. <laughs> at which point as this happens the chaos wheel kicks back in and experimental as you see this explosion of flavor across the way <laughs> all of a sudden and all of you feel this as a bucket of chum upside down falls upon your head and you are all blinded until the end of your next turn as there is a bucket of chum stuck to your head okay so nothing changes for me <laughs> <laughs> this is the new skin treatment <laughs> I don't like chum buckets. I think the Krusty Krab is better. <laughs> and with that, before we continue, uh, Ghostblade, you're on deck, but there is a wheel spin ode. Oh, no. I thought the chum bucket was the wheel spin. There's no, another there, one. There were this two. Fourth. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Oh, my Is that God. more monkeys? That's more <laughs> monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to look like that part during Phantasmic at Disney when the, when the, over barges, the, the barges go by with the, the jumping monkeys. I like it. That's, I that's want all more I can monkeys. see. I'm so excited. And, and as of now, we are switching. We, I, 
from our people behind the scenes, we are switching to the thousand dollar threshold. Thank goodness. <laughs> also, great job. Keep it up. Yes. Keep it going. Thousand dollar threshold. There's Give me still, more monkeys. We need more monkeys. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> uh kiki while you cannot see them you can certainly smell them as another dinghy of monkeys <laughs> you hear them <laughs> pounding their chest Whoa, ah, 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 as another dinghy of monkeys comes sailing through <laughs> on the other side of you towards Is this like the mad land. max fury road yes, <laughs> yes. yes. Fire. ghostblade it's your turn there's a bucket of chum stuck to your head and you are blinded I'm blinded, but the last guy that swung on me missed, right? Yes. So hypothetically, he's within arm's reach. Both of these guys are within arm's reach. There's two right. guys in front of you that you could swing upon. If you attack, it will be at disadvantage. That's fine. I'd like to attack with both of the daggers. Okay, roll for it. So at disadvantage, right? Let's yes. get this up. All right. First <laughs> one... Well, first one's a 25. Okay. Second one is 11, <laughs> which sucks. On an is 11. As So, Ghostblade, as you draw your daggers, menacing, professional, there is a, a, a style to the way that you hold your daggers up. And as you go to swing, it is this eloquent slash. But you do miss on your first oh strike. Let's try number two. Uh, 11. Two misses, damn it. And with the second strike, you miss yet again. But no one can see it as you are all blinded by chum buckets. Can I just run away and try to hide from the chum bucket and getting on my head? I want to disengage. I will, I will need a... Um, I will need a... Uh, some kind of roll. Uh, give me an insight roll at disadvantage to see if you can run away without running into something Insight you are blinded at disadvantage no, but, yeah but running into something is funny 14 Skip away at disadvantage <laughs> <laughs> on a 14 you successfully get away and you almost take a step and fall into the hole on your ship but you do miss it <laughs> and run around it you are an amazingly thoughtful person Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we are back. We're back to the top. As there are now uh, two swarms of monkeys that have entered the initiative. <laughs> nice. Hell yes. Monkeys form a swarm. Is that uh, how they operate? <laughs> That's and then we create the mega monkey. I think the official term is uh, monkopolis. <laughs> oh, when you have too many monkeys. The they got <laughs> They're now Put on powers combined. <laughs> yeah. Uh, go go monkey rangers. Uh, Ghostblade, as your turn ends, you're able to get the chum bucket off your head. As yes. you see now, the swarm of the second boat <laughs> the of monkeys swarm. that is entered. <laughs> <laughs> Granny, it is your turn. You are blinded. What do you do? Okay. Um. What else is new? Do, is is anything else like nearby? Like, to like find anything any else. any um enemies or anything like that there, I there are I'm two still... enemies on your ship the other ship is uh pretty much gonna sink so since i'm visually impaired already yes like before the chum bucket would sure. i have maybe <laughs> advantage on hearing checks to see if i can I, perceive where these enemies are you wouldn't have advantage but you would certainly not roll at disadvantage okay all right mm. a straight roll i will do that you have daredevil reflexes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 19. <laughs> Plus stuff. <laughs> so with the chum bucket on my head. Yeah, 19, 20, 20, 22. It's a 22. And please describe what it is you're doing with a 22. Just, the, you see the, the chum bucket just kind of, as she like listens. And then she just takes off on these crutches like unnaturally fast and goes up to one of them and just uses um, as a bonus action, Shillelagh, uh on her wooden crutches 
and then whacks them in the back of the knees. <laughs> okay. Yeah, monkeys. Uh, Granny Nona, uh, roll roll to attack. Do it. Do it. That is a natural 17 on the die plus 21. So it's 21. Uh, uh, tw- 21 to hit or 20? Oh, 21 hits. 21 hit. That's a success. As you Correct. charge over on your crutches and just boom, <laughs> clack this guy right in the back of his knees. Ow! You nice. hear a soft groan as so the that's... voices in the sky cheer you on. <laughs> hey, take that! You don't mess with my crew. That's my grandchild. And Roll then um, that's a total of seven. Uh, give me a give me a strength check too. Oh, nice. Check, not save. Okay, um, that is a seven minus one, so six. Okay, yeah. So you're, it's not very strong to to do anything else other than take him to his knees. He is now prone. As you hear, oh my legs. And is that the end of your turn? Um, yeah, that was action and bonus action and move. Okay, I'm done. Kiki the monkey. You are blinded, but you hear other monkeys. What do you do? I, I have this chum bucket on my head, right? Yes. I'd like to turn back to the enemy ship and headbutt it with my chum bucket head. You're... All right. Just you have given me a wood weapon! Wood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, roll an unarmed strength. You this can... is what a monk does. Oh, it's only an 11 to hit, though. Um, you with that, you... What is the boat? Oh. <laughs> you, you slam your head into the boat and just the, the echoing boing reverberates in the helmet. That was a terrible idea. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Hold on. I get two attacks per action. Can I try that again? <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work the first time, so science as, leads me to think that maybe next time. As the tinnitus starts to come to a close, you can slam your head into the wall again. I don't know that science is leading any of us to think, because that implies two things. One, that we're guided by science, and two, that we're thinking. That's true. That's true. But it is an 18, so at least luck is on our side. <laughs> And with an 18, Kiki, you hit the same spot again. And it's like Kung Fu Panda training. And as you strike it, there's just this crack up the side of the ship. Yes, Kiki is science. (laughs) (laughs) Is that it for your turn? Do you try to move anywhere? Can Can I make a verbal appeal to my monkey kin? Uh, You could try. Okay. Is the chum bucket still on my head? Yes. Great. I will use it as a megaphone. I don't think that's how that works, but in her science brain, that is how it works. (laughs) Okay. She turns to face where she thinks they are, which is probably in the wrong direction. So she's probably just talking out to the (laughs) open (laughs) sea. I just like... I have fellow monkeys! Help us take over the ship and you can have all the goodies on the inside. Please and thank you! Give me a persuasion check. Oh, you you bet your monkey balls. That sounded will. pretty persuasive. <laughs> <laughs> I think she should have advantage. She I said am... please and thank you. Yeah. She used her manners. Which is a lot for a monkey. It's a, it really is. It's a six. You <laughs> <laughs> have advantage. But how hard is it to persuade a bunch of monkeys? As you have to throw poop. That's a <laughs> major faux pas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to 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 those in the sky who are looking down upon this scene, Kiki, who believes she's addressing the swarm of monkeys, is still pointed at the ship and talking at the ship as the monkeys behind her are disembarking from the boat. <laughs> <laughs> so they do not hear her. That's fair. That's fair. It's one of many monologues that I've given just to myself. That'll be my turn. Okay. We give what we can. Though the doggies do their best to use all of my money on Beth Bill's purple heart. <laughs> Fair enough. And with that, the pirates that are on your ship are going to go. One of them trying to stand. Let's see if he could stand up in front of Granny. 
and he rolls unsuccessfully with a nine. Oh, oh, you got, you got me. I can't move. You, you, I, you got me. And his friend is going to run over and say, "Hey, you, you can't hurt my my friend." And he's going to try to attack Granny with. Oh my God! With a five, he swings on Granny, missing, tripping over his buddy. <laughs> Uh, total failure. Razzle Dazzle, you are blinded with a chum bucket on your head. What do you do? Well, it's not the first time I've been blinded. Um, I'm going to uh, use my Eldritch Cannon to hop off because it can't suffer conditions, so it's good. Um, <laughs> and uh, I know, artificers, right? You, mm. you think of everything. Don't give me power. Um, I use... Um, yeah, I'm going to shoot one of the things uh, with the cannon. I'm going to shoot one of the guys with the cannon. You are blinded. No, no, so no my, my will... Eldritch Cannon has its own. It's a, it's a creature. Oh, right. It's it's targeting on its... Okay. So... Yeah, so my little phallic thing hops off my belt, and it's it's like a golden uh, cucumber sort of looking thing oh. with, with four little <laughs> legs, and it, it walks over to them, and it fires. It goes... <laughs> And it shouts razzle dazzle because I've infused it to say just that. Okay, roll to attack with your cannon. <laughs> I got a 19. A 19. <laughs> Cheers from the sky. And uh, razzle dazzle, which are you attacking? You're attacking the gentleman who is prone, or are you attacking the one that just tripped over his friend? The one that's prone. The one that is prone. Okay, roll roll damage. Is it two D eight? All right, let's see. But, but I can't find two D eight. I got eight damage. And as a cannonball explodes from the cannon, um, those of you that have eyes and can see will see a uh, explosion of confetti just pelt that individual, and it just is so powerful with so much force it just poof, explodes through them sending that person's body spiraling off of the ship and you hear a poof, splat into the water oh, that after the pecker punch everyone like that <laughs> it's so <laughs> the timing <laughs> um Braz, I'm Braz, going that to, turn i'm going to my, as my character I'm going to implement the cannon into a firebolt. So I'm going to firebolt through the cannon. So I'm, I'm firing blind, but uh, I'm still okay. going to fire with it. I really hope you don't hit a teammate. It, it's the cannon. It's where I shot you I'm, from. So I'm going to be shooting job, in the same direction. Throw that right in David's mind. <laughs> it's just, perfect. Just the thought, the plant. It's like, yeah, yeah, do it, man. Grow. Do it. Fire that cannon. Fire that firebolt. I'm hey, I'm waiting on the chaos wheel. We need more monkeys. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's what I'm ready I got, for. I got 15. A uh, fifteen. What? Okay. What is that green thing? I only have one eye. I can't tell. This is the cucumber. This is the pickle. Nice. What pickle. is it? Extra leaves on it, or is this like uncircumcised pickle? <laughs> <laughs> I went to Runkle's channel for the snark. I stay for the compassion. Oh. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> <It's> timing. <laughs> Such compassion. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you're so razzle dazzle. If you were to choose, what direction are you pointing in? Are you still pointing in the direction that you fired Kiki from, or have you turned around? Oh no, I'm I'm literally putting my hand on the cannon and using it as like an implement to just fire my firebolt spell forward. Okay. So I'm not moving all the you, cannon. I don't. All you are going to hear on a fifteen. All you are going to hear is uh, ah. <laughs> There's a screech that echoes from the other ship. <laughs> Dig it. Uh, and with that, it is the swarm of monkeys' turn. The first swarm of monkeys. And those of you that have <laughs> eyes, and now most of you do, experimental and... Uh, uh, experimental is the only one that's still blinded. Everybody else can see again. Uh, you'll all see that as the first boat docks, the monkeys all climb off the ship and charge into the trees. And so the first group of monkeys goes into the trees. You see them climb up and just kind of 
disappear into the shadows. <laughs> That's no. horrifying. Okay, no. so Charlie's in the trees is what you're saying. Just... My brain goes to the second Hunger Games movie immediately. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my my brain went to a dark like then. Mm -mm. <laughs> I want to stay on the ship. Do I really need this thing? Yes, we need we need the Blu-ray copy of SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> do people even use Blu-rays anymore? Does that still exist? It's, hey, it's do, do not judge those who use the Blu-ray. It is Blu-ray 4K. It's going to turn out to be a laser disc. <laughs> it's gonna be, you know, what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a pirated copy with the dude standing in the back of the theater with the camera. <laughs> Those are the best. We are pirates. You hear them I breathing mean... in the background. <laughs> Experimental. It is your turn. You've heard everything that has happened, though you cannot see. Um. So I've heard like Ghostblade fighting the um, fighting the enemies there. Yes. Missing. All right. You heard me missing. Experimental will pull a pistol off the brace of pistols on his coat and fire in that direction. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Experimental, I need a uh I need an insight check with disadvantage because you are blinded and there are two of your companions standing in that direction. Hit them! Hit them! Oh. A 12. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, I need to roll now. <laughs> okay, you, you successfully so so Granny Nona, as you're standing there, mm -hmm. a, just you hear this explosion from a gun, and you just feel as a bullet kind of just crosses, just like grazes your cheek. No, Not doing any damage, but it doesn't. I use my reaction to deflect missiles, and I attempt to catch it. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> that, that, I, listen, that's... listen, this is my first time playing a monk, and I am going to like. You're going to bulletproof monk it? Do it. Do it. <gasps> a 19. Another 19. <laughs> that's the third she one today. What the, the heck? Bullet out of the sky. What the hell? Okay. 1d10 plus my dexterity modifier. That's a nine. Hell yeah. Do I... Kung Fu Grandma. <laughs> yes. Thank you. And what happens Thank is you. as as the bullet Thank grazes you. your cheek, flying in the direction of your enemy, as you turn and your, your eyes look and you realize this bullet was to impact your enemy, you catch it in the middle of the air. <laughs> nice. It's okay. Good job. <laughs> Experimental. It is still your turn. What do you, what else do you do? Sorry. <laughs> I won't have actually seen that. No, you, you did not. So I just kind of fire and it's like, put that pistol back, grab another one, and ready to go next turn. <laughs> Give me another insight check. Uh, at disadvantage? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, nine. Okay, roll uh, roll damage. Oh, I'm I don't have another attack. I'm just getting ready for next turn. Oh, okay, I got it. Yeah. Uh, and then, so with that, you will successfully. You are now. You could see again as you are able to get the chum bucket off of your head as your turn comes to an end. And with that, all of you will see as the second boat of monkeys has made land and they disembark, looking around, and then scramming into the trees and up the trees and all you could see as you look out onto this island in the tree line is these eyes these white no, eyes stop, coming from stop. the tree line <laughs> no the monkeys are going to get to the treasure <laughs> first equipment for this <laughs> and that's actually kind of horrifying because the real treasure was the friends we made along the way and the monkeys get there first <laughs> That just means more friends. How <laughs> how many numerically are we talking with monkeys? We're we're looking at fifty monkeys per set, or is it just fifty total? Fifty total, twenty five per boat. Those are cramped dinghies. I'm gonna just tell chat right now. I would like hundreds of monkeys. <laughs> so please get us past at least the one hundred <laughs> monkey mark. We are halfway there. <laughs> How many of the numbers are on the Chaos Wheeler monkeys? 
Uh, <laughs> only one, and the chances of us rolling it twice are insane. <laughs> now, how many monkeys are there if we measure them by the barrel full? Ooh. Oh, <laughs> good point. On average, is a how barrel many on the chaos wheel? Is there a barrel that we can <gasps> stuff the monkeys back into? Is that a thing? <laughs> David's like, there is now. <laughs> I am but a man with a keyboard. Anything is possible. <laughs> I saw the look in his eye. He was like, yes. <laughs> How do I work this in? How do I work this in? Plot hook, plot hook. <laughs> I thought just one. The chances of us getting two are insane to me. <laughs> All right. Uh, and so with that, it is Ghostblade's turn. Ghostblade, as uh, it comes to your turn, you can see. Also, I've just been notified we are a hundred dollars away from the next chaos wheel roll. Already we'll get there. We are a hundred dollars away. Yes. <laughs> and with that, Ghostblade, as you look out, you see that there are two enemies on your ship. The 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 enemy ship is very much almost sunk. It is very much sinking quickly, and it looks like everyone on there has died of burns via the uh, hot sauce. And so I turn to you and say, what would you like to do now? The two enemies on the ship, when I disengage, they can't see me or they still can? Well, they could still see you, but they're not engaged with you. As uh, Granny has assaulted one of them in the knees. You would suggest that their attention is, is directed elsewhere? I would <laughs> confirm that. Okay, sneak attack on the nearest one to me. Ooh. With All two right. daggers. Roll attack. I also think I'm flanking, so. Uh, that's a nat 20, 26. Yes! yes! Uh, so uh, you're just going to turn this guy into vapor. Damage <laughs> on that one was nine. And then second dagger, 20. Okay. Damage Go ahead seven. and describe uh, one, what you do. 16. I just want to I want to make the damage very clear. Plus the the sneak attack modifier twenty one. So what's sixteen plus twenty one? Thirty seven damage. <laughs> <laughs> so then you, you killed him. You basically just take the guy, stuff him into a perfume bottle, and spray him out as mist. I think it just goes. We just go in with both daggers, just like <laughs> he's just gone. There's just no more. He's just doesn't. He's not there. Did you used to was, work at the Hibachi Grill? Yes, I did. <laughs> I did. And I take a little shrimp from the sea and I flip it up in the air and it lands on the hat of the other guy. I got here. <laughs> uh, Ghostblade, is that it for your turn? Uh, I'm going to disengage as my little separate bonus section. Okay. We're back to the top, Granny. It is your turn. And But before we go, we have gotten... A chaos wheel. Chaos wheel. Oh, no. It is chaos wheel time. Number five. Come on, 14. Come on, number 14. 14. 14. 14. No. Ah. Oh, <laughs> it's a five. We were hoping it's for maximum monkey. I know, right? Five. Small note, though, if you take a one and a four, that equals five, and a one and a four is a 14. So this is 14. true. <laughs> Science, brain. Science. I rolled for it. <laughs> on a five <laughs> you have all caught scurvy what all the? players suffer disadvantage <laughs> on attack rolls and skill checks until the end of their next turn would we describe scurvy as a disease yes cool i'm immune to those <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how do I get one of those? <laughs> uh, just put your brain in a robot. <laughs> Dang it. Those of you who are not mechanically based all have scurvy. <laughs> uh, and with that, Granny, it is your turn. You are rolling any attacks at disadvantage. And right. just to sum it up, the enemy ship is no longer part of the encounter. And there are, there's only one enemy still on your boat now. Okay. I'm going to, the, the one with the shrimp on his hat by our yep. hibachi flipping friend, I'm going to wallop him next. Okay. At disadvantage. That is 
A 12 to hit? A 12 hits. That was a 5 plus 7. <laughs> okay. Um, so then I'm going to pull that damage. That is 7 damage. And then I'm going to spend a key point to do Flurry of Blows and hit him. Taking taking a page out of the monkey's book. Oh. Just do a little uppercut um, yeah. like that. Yeah. Twice. Bam, bam. Um, <laughs> Roll for damage. Yep. Right side, left side. Absolutely. As the voices in the sky cheer you on. <laughs> that is eight damage. With it. Okay. So you will... Almost all of you will see as Granny turns and uppercuts this guy. Oh, they fell out in a flurry you be of a blows. doctor if that happens. <laughs> nah, the gentleman. Let's put him back in. It'll get better in time. Trust me. The gentleman levitates off of the ground in pain as you see a horrified look of of agony on their face as they ragdoll backwards and off of the ship. You hear a, a loud, a, a very, a very subtle bloop <laughs> as they From land this? in the water. <laughs> to that. Those are some big blue balls. <laughs> <laughs> Do those count as a flotation device now? <laughs> <laughs> Not for this guy. <laughs> they might be a sinking device. <laughs> and with that, because you have all been moving forward, as the the ship is still still sailing ahead, <laughs> you will. Because you didn't really brace, the ship is going to slam into the sand on the island, <laughs> very much destroying the hull of your deck. Nice. Uh, that has officially ended with all of the uh, enemy pirates being dispatched. Congratulations. And with that, I turn it over to all of you on what do you do. You are all regrouped. Uh, your ship has landed. Does anybody want some water? And she'll hand around the little grog that Razzle Dazzle had given her earlier. <laughs> uh, I can fill that up, by the way, if we drink too much of it. <laughs> All right. This was he absolutely the right call. <laughs> it... That's right. They did do well. They did do well. Good job. Thank you. Thank you, voices in this guy. Wait, okay. how did Hardy get here? I, I it just comes out. <laughs> it, just happens. it wasn't in my when was Hardy here? Hold on here. It just happens. Wait a second. I'm not an actor. All right, you good good group. Okay. <laughs> we move ahead now. Why are you rushing? I gotta find it. Why are you rushing the voice again? Too much. <laughs> Too much just happened. The pirate guy comes out and says, Let's go into the trees. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, the, the trees are full of monkeys. That's okay. I'm sure they're really great friends, but just in case, she's going to hop on Experimental's back. You can go first. <laughs> Do they not talk? Can't we communicate with them? I mean, we could just write. Let's just uh, offer them some food. And I take a rotten banana we have, and I go, monkeys, we have food for you. We have bananas. Bananas for the monkeys. As you do, you then spell it out B A N A N A S. Yes, I use a, I use my prestidigitation to create a, a highlighted word bananas, but it's it's bananas for me. So for them, it would just be the opposite of it would say it'd be, it'd be backwards. backwards. Tell them Sanadab. 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 Well, I'm not going to fix it for them. It's for me. I need to know that it's bananas. I sometimes forget how to spell that. So Okay. To be clear, <laughs> is it actually a banana that you have discovered, Razzle Dazzle? I feel like you're giving him an opening that you should not give him. <laughs> right? <laughs> and, evens, and not like a golden cucumber? Odds are evens, David. Choose. Uh, uh, evens. What's the All most right, you've ever lost a on a coin flip? It is, it is, it is <laughs> in fact a banana. <laughs> it is in fact a banana. Uh, as you all that's right. You all see as Razzle Dazzle holds up this banana, waving it at the tree line. All of the trees violently start shaking back. <laughs> Where's the barrel? Where's the barrel? <laughs> Experimental just sort of gets out of the way between him and the 
the trees. All right, you move on ahead. As Captain Feathersword begins walking into the tree line, expecting all of you to follow. What do you do? Kiki will still stay on the shoulder of Experimental unless swatted off. Granny Nana hobbles over to to Ghost Blade. What's up, Granny? Are are you all right there, son? I think I'm okay. Wonderful. Would you help an old woman down? My, my... uh, Flexibility ain't what it used to be, if you if you know what I'm saying. Just, just help me off the ship, would you? Be a dear. Doing an awesome Marvel thing for a good right. cause. Uh, cautiously, yes. How can I oh, help you? Gee, there's there's no there's no like. All right, um, good because I just no... saw you kind of annihilate somebody with the the PP punch with a oh, with your walking stick and hey. i also saw kiki do that earlier to razzle you saw dazzle me do what i think your eyes are playing tricks on you boy and now you're gaslighting me granny <laughs> <laughs> Roll. Mm. does granny believe what she's saying yes at all times yes uh, uh, <laughs> uh that wouldn't be deception what's the persuasion other one? persuasion check yeah okay mm. Nice. Um, try to switch over to my skills. That is a nineteen no, Ron, total. He admits your Google Maps argument is superior. It's not. Oh though. no! Those are yeah, yeah. Yes. No, it's no, not no. We're not doing that. that we're, not, we're not reengaging in the Google Maps debate. See, if we'd used Google Maps to crash into the shore. Plot, plot twist. <laughs> Google Maps is seven of the chaos wheel spins. <laughs> we could have used Waze instead. <laughs> Google bought uh, Waze. Granny, they uh, did? You, you, you've rolled very, very high. And Ghostblade, as you're looking at her and you think for a second, oh, she's gaslighting me, you then realize, oh, no, she's crazy. She genuinely believes what you're saying. All right. Then, yes, I'll help you off the ship. Come on. Oh, thank you so much, son. You're very welcome. You're a very nice young man. Well, that's just because you don't know me yet. <laughs> well, no, actually, I, I feel like I've got a pretty good beat on your on your. Uh, on your you, do you know I have a grandchild that that might be just. Uh, what, you, do you have a partner? A romantic interest? Because I have a granddaughter that that's just your age, and and she's what? also a bloodthirsty, murderous <laughs> pirate on a, on another crew. Granny Nona is down, trying to I set will. me up. Yes. <laughs> with a with a serial killer with, a serial serial killer. with yeah. another pirate Get i am right. intrigued this is fascinating <laughs> does she have a sister <laughs> well, oh but her cousin also a serial have, killer she's my uh she's my niece chill out Done. pee water set it up granny <laughs> <laughs> absolutely we'll have to run up the white flag to go you know kind of communicate oh, with razzle, 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 run they anything. leave no survivors so honestly it's just but if they know it's me they, they'll probably be all right captain feather sword has entered into the tree line <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, Granny's Granny's hobbling along with the assistance Very, of Ghost Blade. Like we're we're talking while we're walking. Experimental and Kiki. Yeah, I'll follow along. Follow along. Okay. Yes, charge! I it's throw the banana going quickly. into the trees. I just chuck it into the trees. What? Uh, the banana. Give me an give me yeah. an athletics check, Razzle Dazzle. Yes, Papa. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> Just so long as you don't start with yes, daddy. <laughs> I got 19, daddy. Oh, all right. So, Razzle Dazzle, that is like such a precision throw as you see it boomerang spin through the tree line. And as it passes through the trees, past your sight, the trees, which are violently shaking, stop and go very still. <laughs> I, I take another cup from my backpack and fix it. And, uh, and move forward. Okay. And as you all start walking 
into the tree line. A little bit of time will pass, and you can't see anything up in the trees. It's very dark. It's a dark forest. It's, you can hear the sound of the forest very much alive with the birds making noises, animals making noises. And as you keep looking up, you don't see any eyes. What is the sound of music? Is the forest alive with that? The forest no, is the, the hills. The hills. That, that's there the are no hills that's, here. That's, I mean, the forest could also be. And as you move, that's different music, though. Yeah. You come to the center of what looks like a fork in the road, going one way and then the other. And sitting there on this very large stone is the same banana Razzle Dazzle had thrown in. What do you all do? Hey, experimental, you want to try to eat now? I do not. It's going to be really fun. I bet it's a special banana. <laughs> That's because she's going to try and find out what hole you eat from. <laughs> I will find out. Don't tell me I was doing that. She'll like shoot eye is. daggers at Ghost Blade. <laughs> <laughs> what do you all do as there's a banana sitting there? Looks like it was gently placed on this rock. Uh, I go to pick up the banana. I go, oh, that's the banana I threw, I think. And I walk over to it. As you pick up the banana, you see just all of the faces in the trees emerge. As you see 50 monkey faces <laughs> oh my God. stick out and look down <laughs> at you. And they look menacing at first. And you could see that the tension in the room becomes so tight you could cut it with a knife. And as they look down upon you, a another monkey who's on the ground <laughs> steps out and approaches you and says, you have given monkeys banana. We yeah. serve you. Oh, really? oh. <laughs> so, cool. so, um... Hi, you can call me Captain Kiki. <laughs> yeah, she's the, I look at her and I kind of like squeeze my thighs together, the, the fear and pain still lingering. Yeah, she could be the, the co-captain because I'm scared she's, she, do you guys wear cups? I don't have enough for all of you guys. Just don't don't get on her bad side. Anyone that's got a, a mouth that keeps running, I'll, I'll hand you. And I take out like eight cups from my backpack. Um, Monkey confused. What are cups for? Anyway, nice to meet you, Captain Kiki. Thank you. This is my handy steed. And she'll pat the head of experimental. <laughs> <laughs> Big metal man. <laughs> <laughs> the monkeys are now clapping and cheering from the tree. <laughs> Please, experimental monkey sort of quietly pulls a gun off his brace, <laughs> off the brace there, and it's just like, <laughs> "You come to Dagger Den seeking what? Food, shelter, music, festival. A bowl of pudding, the size of the ocean." Does anyone else interject? Nope. <laughs> I'm still taking it back because I'm wondering what kind of pudding is it, you know? Is it banana pudding? Is this is apparently pudding? our new mission Well, now. we have a banana now, so we could make it into banana pudding. I say. You have given us the sacred banana. We have searched yeah. islands and islands for banana. No banana found till today. 404. Oh, I also got water, too, if you guys are thirsty. <laughs> Color coordinated. <laughs> uh, true, it was. It's yellow on the outside, but then it's it's clear on the inside, just like a banana. Uh, do you uh, guys know where this um this there's this piece? There's this like uh, there's like this one piece of uh, like treasure we're looking for. Ocean soul. The one the ocean piece. soul. That's right. It's the ocean's bowl. The ocean's soul. Oh. Yep. Ocean. Yep. Exactly you know what where I that said. Is? Little monkey men, women, people. We have searched. The shore of Dagger Den many times. We know that the ocean soul is the right path. And he points to the left. Maybe he means, I turn to the, everything and say, maybe he means like right as in stage right. Because that's, I'm trying to remember the times that I did burlesque. Stage right is, did you guys do burlesque? Do you mean stage right? I said to the monkey. We shall take you there. And with that, you see. <laughs> Experimental says the monkeys did not do burlesque. 
you see the swarm of monkeys descend from down the trees and start charging ahead, making a procession line for you. Do you follow them? Can they carry me? Can they carry us like a little wave? They, a wave of monkeys? they come down with a C-3PO stick thrown to carry you. Yes, excellent. This is where I belong. Future king or ruler of the seas. I am, oh, I say. wonderful. I'm going to climb up here and, and, and Granny Nana is going to actually climb into the chair. It's so <laughs> thoughtful of you to, to accommodate my elderly bones. I don't move as well as I used to. I, I, I'm at first upset, but then I remember she's got a niece. She's got a niece. Crazy niece. It's worth it. It's worth it. Yeah, of course, I say. Of course, it's for you. It's for you. And you just remember your niece. Oh, absolutely. Yes, as soon as we're done here, when I have my pudding, we're, we're going to go get you a pudding. <laughs> I'll take that. I don't even like the ocean anyways. At which point you all find yourselves moving ahead through the trees and you come into contact with locations that it would have been very difficult to discern which path to take as there are many branching paths going in different ways. But the monkeys like Google Maps take you in the dir the correct direction. Well, then it's not like Google Maps if it's taking us direct direction. <laughs> it should take us across a busy four-way street. <laughs> it takes us into a ravine. <laughs> you you have it. arrived at your destination. <laughs> no, we haven't. <laughs> destination not found. Oh, you, <laughs> you arrived at your destination. Turn around when possible. You know I can't wait until that trial goes forward. I cannot wait till that trial goes forward and I'm right and you're wrong. I cannot do a U turn. Yay! You're the best. And yeah. you guys uh, find yourselves looking in front of a very large and long, narrow bridge, a rickety wooden bridge that's barely clinging on, held up by twine and wooden boards that are broken and slanted hanging there and below a very dark pond the monkeys pull up in front of this bridge and stop in place and say monkeys are afraid of crossing the bridge must travel with friends oh Why are you afraid of crossing it there are monsters in the pond and it's okay, I'll be your friend. And Kiki would like to go up and hold the hands of some of the monkeys. <laughs> Kiki is now holding the hands and they begin to form very, without even telling them, they form uh, how the Grinch uh, stole Christmas circle and start mm -hmm. chanting back and forth. Wow, who I was going to say, yes. I knew you knew the words better. I know. Wow. <laughs> and so... Captain Feathersword, who finally catches up, he's very, very short and stout and doesn't have a lot of, like, leg stride. Does he have a handle and a spout? We should tip him over. Pour him out. <laughs> David's so... <laughs> it's science. You should do that. Roll for initiative. Wait, Wait I was doing that? research in case law. What? <laughs> oh, it turned out that the captain's actually a giant teapot. Yes. <laughs> Is he attacking us? This whole time. No, no but he's, he's a little steamed. Oh, oh that, was, that was a poorly timed yay. All right. Before we continue, I want to do a check and make sure. The last I heard, we were $200 away. Uh, have we crossed the next threshold? Because... I need chat to confirm. I think we are there. Yes, I got confirmation. It is chaos time. Now, uh, before I roll the chaos wheel, I need everybody to tell me what they're doing. As you see, beyond you, you've got your pals of monkeys. And beyond you is this bridge that is uh, very dangerous looking. What do all of you do? Granny Nana climbs out of the chair and just starts across the bridge. <laughs> are we still afflicted with scurvy? No, that would have ended at the end of your turn, so you'd no longer have scurvy. Mm -hmm. See, that's the quickest the... bout of scurvy ever. Yeah, it just kind of yeah. comes and goes. <laughs> Part of our imagination. Oh, yeah, the scurvy. 
I feel like the less feet on the bridge, the better. Let's stack up. And I would like to start creating <laughs> a tall tier of monkeys. Give me an intelligence check. Oh, I'm about to surprise you all. No, you're with... not. <laughs> okay, with my eight. <laughs> Within That's eight. Probably higher than what I some of you anticipated. Surprised. surprise Pikachu face. <laughs> Captain Key. I mean, that is higher than I was expecting, but <laughs> as you instruct the monkeys to start creating a giant monkey yes. uh, of a uh, please describe how you would structure this, Captain Kiki. It's very easy. We want to make sure that we have only one monkey at the bottom, and then we go two monkeys next, and then we go three monkeys. I saw it once at a water skiing show because I got those a lot. Pyramid. Oh, it's an inverse pyramid. This is the worst <laughs> idea ever. And then we go four monkeys. You mean it's a funnel? Because we want to make sure it looks pretty, then we go back to three, then two, then one, and then we go two, then three, then four. <laughs> And as you are directing this, and they are huddling up and getting on top of each other, Granny uh, Nona has gone across the bridge, and Granny, you get halfway across the bridge when it begins shaking. And as you look over the side, the puddle just begins shaking back and forth. And you see popping up out of the water is these dagger-like fins. Well, she's visually impaired, so she actually doesn't see any of that. <laughs> she just... <laughs> Look, there's you a just fish. going. <laughs> and with How that, far like, down is this pond? Uh, about a hundred feet down. Oh, can I get a oh. monkey to draw us a map that goes across the bridge so that I can give it to Ghostblade, and then the monkey's liable? Oh my! <laughs> I will. Gosh. I will lend you one monkey, but it will be drawn in poop because that's all they have. I, that's fine. <laughs> it's I a shitty map say. if you get that. I, I want to say that the chaos wheel has a lot of fun things on it. And yet for some reason, the, the chaos has chosen to bestow upon you no. another hot sauce missile launcher. Oh, okay. Which... I thought you were going to say more monkeys. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> the sky opens and another missile launcher descends down and lands in front of you. It before the bridge. And with that, everyone roll initiative. Don't want that. Twelve. <laughs> what the heck? Six. I got seventeen. I also got a six. You can go first. Twenty-three. No, Nona is my mentor. Nona can go first. <laughs> okay. I think Nona's already like. Bridge, so she's going first all the way around. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey. So what happens? is that as you guys all begin to move across the bridge, you could, and Granny can't really see, but there is just motion like Jurassic Park as the pond begins to shake and out from it, a swarm of these frog-like monsters begins climbing up and climbing up the ravine towards you. And they make it to, ha they're hanging on the bridge and the bridge is now rocking back and forth. And you see that there are five of these creatures with experimental. You are first on deck. You go first. What do you do? As he's taking so, a nap. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, uh, I'm feeling it. Um, hmm. You know what? We've got a, uh, we've got a hot sauce grenade launcher. Let's pick that up. Okay. Can I shoot that at the swarm of frogs to not hit us? So to describe, you have there are three of these creatures hanging from okay. the bridge now. And there are two of them that remain. One of them is along the wall near the other side. And one of them is up along the wall on your side, both of which are close to the bridge posts. All and five are close very to... close to the bridge. And Granny. And Granny. Who would probably not appreciate getting grenade launcher in the no, face. Probably not. I can't speak for Granny. I mean, she did catch your bullet last time. You shot at her once before, so maybe not repeat. That's... I mean, I don't know that. <laughs> I didn't see That's it. That's true. No. I just shot, and then that was it. Um, let's go attack a frog. <laughs> I would like Words to stab a frog in the face. Weird sentence. Which which one are you going to attack? 
whichever one is closest, I think. Okay. Uh, the one there is one that very close to your your post. I need you to roll a flat d20. Eight. And as you pick up the gun and aim it, and you try oh, this to is shoot. I'd be going with a rapier, not a gun, not with a gun here. Oh, you're not shooting I the. You're shooting. I thought you were shooting the missile. No, if 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 it's gonna get granny, I will. Okay, I will go oh. I'll be fine. No fragging. As you run ahead, you see that there is a, this frog-like creature which is now cl uh, climbed up and it just has its hands on the ledge in front of you. It's about to pull itself up and you look down and it has these ravenous teeth, these large, jagged teeth, and it has not been to a dentist ever. So it's very ugly. And as it looks up, it goes... And what do you do with your rapier? Flourish, flourish, stab. Okay. Uh, AC 18. That's a hit. All right. And I'm pretty sure I can sneak attack this thing on account of it is climbing. And also I have rakish audacity. Okay. So that is plus. Seventeen damage of stabbing in the face. <laughs> As the creature is climbing up, an experimental burr, 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 steps over to it, takes out his sword, and just impales this thing in the top of its head. <laughs> As it she lets say, go flourish, of flourish, stab, flick. <laughs> <laughs> You just see as its body falls down and goes plop into the water. Good job. Uh, razzle dazzle. It and there was much rejoicing. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to use um, my first level um, Scorching Gray. Okay. I'm going to use uh, Scorching Ray on because there's a few of them, right? There is now four left. There's four left. Yeah. So I'm gonna use uh scorching ray on uh one each. Okay. Roll for damage. I got twelve to hit. Twenty to hit dirty twenty. Okay. And another dirty twenty. Nice. Well. All right. Uh roll damage. All right. The First one is seven damage. The second one is. <laughs> I can't. Come on. There you go. There's great timing on that. <laughs> three damage. Seven, three damage. Seven and three? Yeah. So to the, with 10 total? No, it's just. So seven damage to one of them, three damage to the other one. Okay. So it's going to hit both of them. One of them, you're going to. Uh, so one on the bridge, you'll hit for seven as it's going after Granny, just face plants onto the bridge. The bridge is now swinging back and forth. And as you shoot the other one that's across the way, that's at the other post, it just kind of like knocks it back a little bit, but it's still standing upright. And now it's their turn, but is there anything else on your turn you'd like to do? Uh, Eldritch Cannon. I'm going to use my Eldritch Cannon to shoot at them. Uh, which one are you targeting? Um, the one that I hit with three damage. Okay. Roll to attack. I got a, it's, it's, it's a twenty-two. Epic D and D. Wish I could donate more. And five damage. I'm. Are we? Are we at number seven? Chat. Is that? Is that official? That's we are at I'm number seeing. seven. That's what I'm seeing too. Yep. So first, go ahead. Tell me what the roll was again. The uh, the damage roll there. Uh, seven, what was that? Five damage. Five damage. Another five damage. So boom, boom. As this guy gets hit, and he's still standing up, but his hands land on top of that post, and we are at number seven. Uh, so before we also continue, he moves five feet. He gets launched five feet. And as his hands go and almost touch the post, he gets blasted back into the woods. <laughs> And the chaos wheel speaks. Come on, monkeys. Seventeen. Ooh. Seventeen. Let's see. What is seventeen? Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> it is the chaos wheel for a reason. Um, as you all look around, you randomly see on your side of the of of the bridge, there is a bowl of potato salad sitting there. Is it like that's all you're gonna give us? Salad? That's what you that's it? That's <laughs> that's where the description ends. It's a bowl of potato salad. There's definitely more to that description that he's withholding. I bet. I just feel it. The the chaos wheel has spoken. It is now uh the creature's turn. <laughs> I love potato uh, salad. This is excellent. What style potato salad, though? Well, isn't there like the Amish potato salad or the mm. what's the other one? There's a difference. There's mustard potato salad. Yeah, like Amish potato salad, like it won't drive a car. Yep, that's sure. it. I, that's exactly <laughs> what it means. You'd have to eat it to find out. <sighs> All right, uh, the creatures are going to go, and uh, the one that was just blasted into the woods is going to come charging up and attack the rope holding up the bridge. Cool. And they are going to roll an 18. Nice. I don't remember making a conscious decision to get on the bridge. And as it charges at... Oh, no. The, that's where the only, map took only Granny's on the bridge. Only, yeah. Oh, Everybody okay. else only is still Granny's outside. Right. Yeah. And as the, the, the creature comes charging out, its claws now visible in its hands, and it starts scratching at the first rope and cuts it, and instantly the bridge begins to skew a little bit. Thank uh, <laughs> you. And with Got that, it. I need Granny to roll a dexterity save. Got it. These frogs have claws? Oh, yes. Giant cool. teeth and big claws. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. That is so that what you're saying is they're not frogs. Yeah. What the you're describing creature. are not frogs. That's frog a 21. <laughs> it's not mad for her. Is, it's as... <laughs> Granny, it's like you're I serving. need help off the ship. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Granny, there is an abrupt shake to this as it is shifting back and forth. You are unfazed. It does she not can't be... see what's going on. She can't feel what's going on. <laughs> She's just chilling. <laughs> she, Completely she unbothered. You're... She smells can... the potato salad. I was going to say, is it on the opposite side of the bridge or is it behind me? It's behind you. <laughs> mm, okay. It is behind you. We're like red, not uh, dirty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and with that, we continue uh, with the creatures. Go so the first one is gone. The second one goes as it regains itself. Well, let me see if it regains itself or if it falls off. It does. It stabilizes itself on the bridge and it goes to attack Granny. And it swings right. with its claws at Granny with a 10. That does not hit. And it misses. <laughs> Ghostblade, it is your turn. To recap, um, uh, there is a missile launcher grenade that Experimental has. There's a bowl of potato salad sitting uh, nearby. There is this bridge that is now rickety and almost broken. And there are a handful of enemies in front of you. What do you do? The frog that's engaged with the uh, the rope that uh, the bridge is there. Would you <laughs> yes. say he is distracted? He is. Let me roll for Otherwise it. engaged. Out. Makes but but he's fun. but he's between myself and Ghostblade. Yeah, he's so on, therefore so I'm on the flanking. other side. So I'm flanking. He's on the oh, wait, other he's side. He's on the other side. Oh, yes. I thought he was the side they were trying to get to. Side trying to get to. Who's the nearest? What, this is the nearest there's the nearest frog to me, right? Where's the he, nearest frog to you? You have to walk out onto the bridge to get to. Well, that sucks. <laughs> and sure. Let's do, do that. Let's range? go to that. Is that is he climbing? He's climbing. No, he's on the bridge. Oh, he's, he's on the bridge. Let's just right go after him. Two weapon attack right ahead. Just okay. Soul Stealer three thousand. You have Shoot advantage because your uh, granny is flanking. Okay. There we go. Soul Stealer. Oh, don't need advantage. Twenty five to hit. Okay. And that's gonna do 
Six damage, and then the dagger. In Twenty-three morning, to hit. And children everywhere who suffer life. Six damage, changes. so twelve total. Six damage total as you run up and just kind of slash through this guy. This kind of green ooze of blood just kind of splats everywhere, and it's pretty gnarly. As it responds and in groans of pain. Do you have anything else well, on your turn? Yeah, I'm going to dash the other side of the bridge. To be clear, you're going nope, to. Nope, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Way to you're read the backwards. tone there. You're treating backwards. <laughs> the I realize that the other evil frog, clarify, you're like, the no. other evil frog was still there chewing on the. So I'm going back to the other side. I want to get on the ground. <laughs> All right, yes, you brave, you six... brave ghost blade. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm a rogue. I don't want to stab you. Can get out as you make it to the other side. You make it back, you make it back to your side. Uh, you can see that the bridge is just shaking back and forth. Uh, and with that, Granny Nona, it is your turn. Yep, I'm just um hobbling onto the end of the bridge with my 35 movement speed. <laughs> You make it to the other end. Jeez. No problem. Okay. Is there is there a, a frog nearby? There is one right next to that post who's going to go and try to cut the other part of the bridge. What are you doing? <laughs> you stop that right now. <laughs> and then she's going to she, she's just going to club him with the uh the crutch, one of the crutches. All right, roll to hit. That is a 19 to hit. Okay. Um, Love helping this effort. Red heart, red heart, red heart. So that is five damage. And then I'm going to spend a key point to do flurry of blows. And basically, uh, after whacking him, put it down and then use my hand to just punch as hard as I can into him twice okay that is an 18 to hit and then 24 to hit okay and that is a total of 12 damage please describe how you um Beat this frog to death with your crutch, <laughs> like like a naughty grandchild in church. Wait, you wait. That's a bad chaos forever. That's like, a bad like, analogy. Like when your grandchild is bad in church, and you you whack and you beat it to death. <laughs> oh, like, she can not, ask for forgiveness right away. Apparently. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Repentance is like right behind me, like by twenty. It's like if you're not paying attention, I'm sending you to meet God directly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Ian, Ian, you're getting you a phone call for it. another reason in real life. Defense counsel. <laughs> <laughs> no, just uh, smack it and then um, hopefully make it just fall off the edge back to whence it came. Uh, yeah. All of you who are looking at this, you'll see Granny just walks along this very <laughs> dangerous Shrek I'm looking down bridge. And as she makes it to the other end, just beats the living life out of this frog. <laughs> like <laughs> one day I'll be as cool as her. <laughs> just I hope her niece is just like her. <laughs> doesn't let up. up. Can, it is just brutal play? and violent as there is just the, the creature's dead. She's still wailing on it. <laughs> just can I just can Ghostblade pulls out a cell phone and just starts filming. She was so good. Put it on yeah. pirate talk. <laughs> Ghostblade is like world star. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So and with oh, with that, so because we are getting close on time here here's what's going to happen um we've got we've still got some time so we're going to keep going and for those of you i know the numbers have shifted for viewers those of you who are maybe just joining us we have a chaos wheel when we hit thresholds in that chaos wheel of you donating to the charity we will roll the chaos wheel now 
we were doing it at a thousand. There we go. See, um, we were doing it at every thousand dollars, but because we are low on time, I'm going to bring it back down to 500. And I've just been told that we are 300 away, which now plus 15 bucks. Uh, we are 300 away from the next chaos wheel roll. So I want us, if we can help us get there, we got to get at least two more wheel rolls in before we are done with our, with our show today. So keep that up back to the game. You all just witnessed granny beat the life out of this frog creature who is very much dead. And it is now ghost. Uh, sorry. It is Kiki's turn. Kiki, Kiki, as this is happening, you have continued uh, through everyone's turn. You've assembled a pyramid, a reverse pyramid of monkeys. Yes. And you've gotten five monkeys high. Yes. What do you do? Follow me! And I would like to, on my run across the bridge, grab a whole handful of that potato salad. Okay. And I'm going to look at it at experimental. I'm like, I'm going to show you how you're supposed to eat. And I would like to take this fistful of potato salad and punch it into the mouth of the non frog like creature. <laughs> okay. And destroy its teeth because frogs shouldn't have teeth. Frogs don't have teeth. This is correct. So you need to course correct this frog creature? <laughs> yes. This is your fault. You describe frogs very poorly. You're so trying to change evolution. You've, you've put the burden on us as the players. We'll play God. Is I've what been trying to do. Yeah, Kiki. I've been back. Well, Kiki is a god. Yes, in her head, <laughs> like Frankenstein Please, was. <laughs> give me, give me an athletics check to punch the teeth out of this creature with potato salad. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I will. It is a seventeen. That is a successful hit. So roll, um, roll unarmed damage for the punch. Okay. And then I need you to roll an additional 3d4. Okay. That is a five for the damage. And you said 3d4s? 3d4. Okay. That is an eight total. Okay. So to be clear, this creature has already been shot by Razzle Dazzle for seven damage before. And as you approach it with your pyramid of monkeys behind you yes. a fist full of potato salad and punch it through the mouth you break its teeth first of all but the potato salad which as you you smell it and you feel it in your hands should have healing properties are you kidding me <laughs> no i not realize that it's potato salad it's literally a real life healing. Tell property. me this backfires and this frog is now full strength again. It yeah. should. No, I said it should have healing properties. But as oh. you push this potato salad into its mouth, it no longer has teeth to chew it and suffocates an additional 3D4 damage. Is it in a perpetual state of immortality? <laughs> like it's suffocating and then healing and then suffocating and healing? That's terrifying. That's a little too deep for me. I'm going to just say maybe, it. and it no, falls off the bridge. That's my head cannon. Yeah. That's our, for season two, our next one shot. It's the and that's frog man how you teeth. eat your food. If you don't chew it, you die. I love that Ian's not, Ian's not here, so he can't hear you educating how you intend to defeat him. I'm just yelling now to no one paying attention. You want to chew your... <laughs> she gets frustrated as you look back you see experimental has turned around and powered down are you i'm gonna stuff the potato salad in his holes um are there any other non-frog like creatures in front of me there is one more on the bridge great you and she'll flip around with absolute fury and anger and use fist of unbroken air <laughs> It will need to make a strength saving throw, DC 10. All right, let's see what it does. Yeah, yeah. It fails with a nine. Perfect. On failure. <laughs> Let me roll. It's 3D 10 of damage. It is going to take 13 points of bludgeoning damage as Kiki just angrily flips back around. Chew your fucking food! And she pushes her fist out and a fast wave of air just shoots out like a bullet from her hand hitting this non-frog like creature <laughs> and with that 
It as the impact hits this frog, the frog itself it's blown up into the air. Upon impact, you see as its teeth are broken and its face is very much crushed as it flies backwards and off the bridge. The bridge is now open. <laughs> that will the be period of it of monkeys tries to cross the bridge. Yeah. Oh God. We're gonna run out of monkeys real fast. Uh, as we as we get to the top of the encounter and combat effectively ends. Experimental, it is your turn. You have you were powered down and missed uh, Kiki's uh, demonstration of how to eat food. Uh, so as you power back up, you realize you're facing the wrong way and you'll have to turn around. But uh, with that, the monkeys are gonna try to cross the bridge. And I'm going to roll to see how eff effectively they do that. Oh my gosh, they rolled a nat 20. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> Yay! The oh, monkeys Donate all up a face with smiling eyes. Go runkle go. <laughs> As the monkeys are at a five person high pyramid, they start walking through, and you just hit oh we oh. Whoa, as they make their way across the bridge and make it to the other side. The bridge behind you is still very much damaged and rickety. And so anyone else who crosses it, I will need a uh, nimbleness check with a dexterity, uh, ch a dexterity check. Do I need dex check? If, you, if you're crossing the bridge, yes. Fifteen. On a fifteen, Ghostblade, you follow right behind the monkeys and get to the other side. You did it. Experimental and razzle dazzle. What do you do? Uh, I use spider climb and then just casually walk across. Razzle dazzle crosses the bridge with no trouble. Let's try to climb or cross. Uh, would acrobatics help? If it breaks, but go ahead, try it. Um, acrobatics at nine or sorry, twenty. So experimental. There's been a lot of traffic on this bridge. There's been battles on this bridge. There have been teeth broken on this bridge. And as you try to cross ah, it, <laughs> and you get to the middle of it. You see the other side finally snaps. And as the bridge begins to descend, you said you rolled a 20? Yes. You watch as Experimental just does a super flip up into the air and landing onto the other side. Cheers from the sky light up. I cheered too. That was incredible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. And I offer him a piece of apple and I say, here, take a bite. And I kind of look at Kiki and be like, do it, do it. He'll just take the apple and chuck it over his shoulder. <laughs> I tried. Uh, anybody who is looking over and backwards to where he threw the apple, you'll see that that one creature had regained uh, breathing and has climbed back out. And as it comes out, <gasps> opening its mouth for air, an apple flies into its throat as it sinks again. <laughs> We're fighting wild and coyote. Jeez. Um... Okay, so I'm just being informed we are now $80 away from the next Chaos Wheel spin. So keep that moving, folks. Good job. Now, uh, you guys have made it to the other end, and you see before you, as all of you have regrouped, awesome. As we look to the other side, uh, there is the mouth of a cave in front of you. You've all grouped up, and I'd like to ask the, the crew, what are you doing? As you have 50 monkeys... And a cave mouth open in front of you. Monkey I bet that... sweepers. What? <laughs> monkey minesweepers. <laughs> Search for traps via 50 monkeys. <laughs> My friends! <laughs> Can you grab one of the monkeys and just throw them? <laughs> Someone will have to restrain a wailing kiki then at that point. <laughs> Wait, experimental. Are you really sending the monkeys in to search the cave? I don't think it's. I don't think I command the monkey. That is my suggestion. We should send the monkeys. 
<laughs> Granny, what do you do? Uh, Granny, having reached the other side well ahead of the party, has just sat down on a rock, and propped her crutches to the side, and is sitting there with her hand on her back, and uh, is is meditating. Just just trying to rest, take a little breather, maybe regain key points. I don't know if that's allowed. If this com combined with the the sitting in the chair through the the jungle counts as a short rest, I don't know. Well, well, we'll find out. <laughs> what is Ghostblade doing as you approach the mouth of this cave? And Experimental has called for sending in the monkeys. Well, I'm lingering behind. I'm going to wait and see what happens. This is just going to be more chaos. Just tearfully approaching Experimental. Yeah, and you and really... more so because there's something that I think, well, you'll see it, David. If you really think that's what's best, we can do that. <laughs> oh, Okay. Uh, I've just been informed we just went up another thousand dollars. And I don't know if it's hit yet. Wow. I may be ahead of time. So if I'm counting right, that should be three, including that $14 that just hit. So that's three chaos wheel spins we just hit in the last few minutes of our uh, one shot here today. Amazing job. Do not let it stop there. Four Fourteen, right? That's what we want. We want three fourteens. Three fourteen. Yes. Three fourteen. Three fourteen. So here's what's going to happen. Uh, I need confirmation. Are you going to send the monkeys in, or are you not going to send the monkeys in? You can send the monkeys, the monkeys in. Send in the monkeys. I want to lead the monkeys with the banana. Razzle dazzle! You charge into the cave, and um, holding, the banana. holding the banana as a swarm of fifty monkeys follow behind you, and they all begin to spread out instantly. And all of you from the outside very quickly begin to hear explosions. Okay. The monkey. <laughs> boom, boom. And the the cave, which is kind of leading into this this bit of a not super big mountain, but it's certainly a mountain of sorts, just begins exploding through the tops of it and as you see these explosions where there is now rocks and everything you see that there are now monkeys being launched into the air at mock speeds <laughs> very quickly the cave the <laughs> The, the cave of the mouth uh the mouth of the cave lights up and you can see inside that it is the chaos wheel now spins before you i finish what i was saying this is the first spin Will my fire resistance really help in this instance? Or uh... Ooh, three. three. Is that, that is more monkeys? Three. Is it like double double monkeys? Triple monkeys. Triple monkeys. All Triple the monkeys. monkeys. <laughs> Before we continue. And this is a very high stakes moment. I need all of you to roll a D20 roll right now. Oh no. Oh, Just no. a straight D20. Straight D20. I got a two. I also got a two. I got a 17. Nat 20. 12. Okay. So here's what happens. I'll switch back to me before we spin the next one. So what happens is uh, the monkeys running through have just, oh my gosh, we got another $1,000. What? <laughs> we just got another $1,000 donation. You guys are killing wow. it. That is amazing. Uh, we just, uh, did we hit 40K? Yep. We hit 40K. Oh, Holy that's crap. so amazing. Wow. <laughs> Corporations everywhere cried. <laughs> oh, it's it's going to be fun to watch just because, like, just to see the uh, the catch up that's going to happen. You, you guys are amazing. Great job to the viewers. So great. However, we got a lot of chaos wheels now. So what happens is <laughs> as... You guys see, boom, the, the mountain itself begins to explode, and there is a pond on the inside, not unlike the one that you saw before, but there are these pillars inside marking something of interest here. There is something inside this cave that must be either interesting or dangerous for there to be hieroglyphic markings inside the cave, all of which are destroyed because this, um, this cave was set with explosives that the monkeys all triggered, blasting them all into different locations. Um, and the cave itself is very much compromised. And as you all see it, the chaos wheel takes into effect with a number three, which is Davy Jones Locker. And all of you 
being experimental and kiki who rolled very low see that on the other side there is a large locker a gym locker appears in front of you a grotesque odor of old unwashed gym clothing fills the air and those of you who failed under a 10 are magically dragged into the locker for one turn Kiki no. has been given a sock. <laughs> Where is this locker in comparison to me? It is right in front of you, in front of that pond. There is now Kiki a giant now gym free. locker in front of you. <laughs> can I make it to the Kiki pond? Kiki is free, monkey. You, you can make it to the pond, but before we continue, I need everyone to roll initiative. Of course. I feel like that's a fair price for that monkey. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm not <laughs> complaining about this at all. <laughs> a sock? That's definitely Kiki's value. We got this. This I might vote the... poorly, but the rolls have turned. That was a nat 20. I got all right. 17 Kiki. again. I think I forgot. Oh, is this initiative? Like every time. Yes. Yep. Initiative before Okay, we... then um, um, next two 23. Rolls. Seven. Sorry. <laughs> You're good. You're good. Did you both get a seven? <laughs> How dare you? I got an eight. Oh, okay. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Your eye patch is just like it's 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 not infuriating, but it's like you know. Where are you this going is my this? real eye patch. When where, I first started teaching, I had a scratched eye. So this no, when saying, I like had a lecture line. for the not first the time. Not the eye patch. The line that goes under her eye. It's yeah. not supposed to go under. The, the... One goes up, the other goes down. But it's supposed. I know to it's go supposed like to be this. the other way. The other way. It's supposed to be the other way. She's. A, it doesn't stay the very well that way. Trust me. <laughs> uh, Razzle Dazzle, like... what was your roll? What? This is my real I, I got a 17. I wear it comfortably. Razzle, oh, Razzle 17. Yeah. I feel uh, so attacked. No, it's like it's like <laughs> seeing someone wear like a like a like an a, a shirt that's backwards. You're like it's not like annoying. Thank you. I feel so like... much better now. All right. Before just you know be before initiative begins, we have some chaos rolls to roll. Let's roll I the next it was one. Just intentional. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was a character choice. It doesn't. It's harder to actually hold up there. I use like four oh bobby pins and it keeps sliding. Well, she is Kiki, so she's she is. is she's just one Kiki, so it is a okay. choice. Here's what happens, folks. So on the last chaos wheel, a Davy Jones locker has appeared, and Kiki and Experimental were dragged into it unceremoniously by some kind of magical stench, pulling them into the locker, slamming it shut, and both of you. Hold on, I got to transition back to me for dramatic effect. Uh, both of you will be permanently stuck with that stench for 1d4 turns, which I just rolled now. And Wait, for two turns. For 1d4 turns? Permanently for 1d4 turns. You cannot <laughs> shake the stench of uh, Davy Jones' locker uh, for two turns after you get out. That's all right. We've already established that I have no sense of smell. So this is really a problem for everyone else. <laughs> Uh, but with that most recent 19 chaos wheel, uh, you the rest of you will all see that there is a um, a single golden uh, piece of coin sitting on the ground with a skeleton face carved into it. Okay. That's what you'll see. Uh, we have another chaos wheel spin. Do it, do it, do it. 14. Aww. That's a two. And on a two. Um, I'm going to respectively, uh, respectfully save what happens here for once the combat actually begins, because otherwise it would be ruining it. Uh, with that, experimental, it is your turn. Friday Night Frenzy chat donations. Part one, timed appropriately Boom. because I love chaos. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And thank you to everybody from, from yesterday's F and F. That was amazing. You guys were killing it last night. Uh so what happens is starting off experimental, you are inside the locker. Uh all that has surrounded you is really uh dirty gym clothes. What do you Does do inside the locker? The locker? Door open? No. Is there can anything I, you try to do inside the locker? Can I batter it open, say, with the uh, use of a small monkey? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> At least you have a good permission here. Kiki Absolutely. Is all four of this. Yes. We're going to need a strength check. 
You already killed. Oh, that's pieces. where I'm exceptional. Um, eleven with my minus one. Eleven. Can I can I give advantage as I assist in this? <laughs> do you buy the method of battering ram? Yes. <laughs> There's only one thing you can do. Do you put the chum bucket back on your head? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Wait, Easily, eagerly, the whole time? <laughs> most willingly. Oh, I kept it as a souvenir. <laughs> uh, wearing the chum bucket. Uh, go ahead and roll uh, advantage to try and break open Davy Jones' locker. Um, the next one is an 18. Hey. Ooh, that is very <laughs> close, but unfortunately, it is still not oh. enough as it requires a nat 20 to break out of. I don't make the rules. The chaos wheel does. But, but all you made you outside, the chaos wheel. Uh, hey, wait, wait. We're not. No, 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 no. no. Let's, not, let's not. Let's not go down that road. No science brains allowed. No, okay. No <laughs> Kiki the monkey, uh, you feel your head mash into the locker. Uh, and for all of you outside, there's a very large dent <laughs> that is now protruding outside of the locker. <laughs> uh, with that, Ghostblade, cutting over to you. You see that there's this locker there. You see that there's a gold coin now on the ground in front of you. You hadn't seen before. But out in, in the pond, you see that the pond itself is rumbling and shaking. The water is moving as a very gigantic and horrific looking creature emerges out of it. Before you could see its face, you see its wings. These giant dragon-like wings pop out as each of them has a claw. One comes down, the other comes down, and it hoists itself up out of the water. And you see the face of this grotesque octopus-like creature. Its tentacles still in the water as it's not high enough. And what do you do with that? This sounds like a politician. Dance with it. <laughs> Dance off. <laughs> Against an octopus? Are you mad? <laughs> yeah, they got eight legs, dude. They can haven't you ever seen like any octopus in any dancing movie ever? They do <laughs> crazy things. <laughs> Hotel Transylvania 3, for instance. Listen, I'm not saying this is the smart move. I'm just saying it's an entertaining move. I'm not saying it's a smart move. It's just the right move. It's the right <laughs> move. Well, I mean, there's, there's five of us. So by that sheer stance, if we all dance together and tie ourselves, we would have two more legs than it has. You I could do rock, paper, scissors because it can't do the scissor thing. It, oh, it can't scissor? <laughs> Ghostplay, oh, what do you so do? Sad. No. Don't listen to us. We're dumb. <laughs> nope. <laughs> um, sure, why not? Let's just attack this, this thing. What was the thing that came down that's holding it up? It's Wonderful a little claw. It has giant, two giant Wonderful. claws lifting itself out of the uh, the, the, the water. We can let's call try it to Peter. Go, let's try to go after that one claw that's trying to help it lift out water. Okay. Let's attack that. Go ahead. You Probably very foolish, it. but why not? Each is of its claws is larger it? than you. Mm. Oh, no, we're in turn rotation. Oh. You've got this. Okay. Either way, why not? No regrets. Until afterwards. 23 to hit. Can. What? 23 is a hit. Okay. That one's going to do five. And then a dagger, a second. 24 to hit. Those, that's, those are two hits. Seven damage. And then disengage. And as you slash on it, you could see, you, you do, you cut through and you, you deal quite a bit of damage. And as you hit it, you just hear this kind of like voice pierce through your head. It's just, no. just echoing in your ears as the creature itself is not speaking with its voice. It's speaking with its mind. And you very no. aggressively hear pierce through your mind. Ow, that kind of hurt. <laughs> 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 okay razzle dazzle it's your turn i uh I, I i step up to the um the thing and i go hey are you bad or good no response as these just piercing octopus eyes look at you <laughs> it says i've chosen evil 
All right. If you're if you're if you are a bad okay, would you eat a baby? One tap for yes, two taps for no. <laughs> <laughs> persuasion check. What a, what a question. If it asks what kind, I would be. And, and while he's doing okay. that, we I are got a going 19. To spin. Chaos Beautiful. Wheel. We're going to spin that chaos wheel as there was still one left over. <sighs> Ten. I was hoping for more hoping, monkeys. I wanted monkeys. <laughs> okay. So I have some catching up to do. So here's what happens. So Razzle Dazzle, as you're trying to communicate with this thing, you see from your peripheral that it's having a hard time focusing on you because with the last chaos event, a yellow submarine has also appeared out of the freaking pond and you hear classic rock music being played off of that, which is extremely distracting to the creature. It can barely hear you over the sound of the loud rock music. I mumble under my breath, dang hippies ruining everything. <laughs> you were better when you weren't hippies. I shout to the submarine. And and with the 10, everything goes still for all of you. For a moment, everything feels kind of peaceful as, a, as this combat comes to a pause. And it's really funny that Ghostblade leaves now because of what's about to happen. Run away, Rogue, run you away. Have, you have all been hit with the chaos event called Kindness. Oh, that's the worst. I don't. Like it. Please explain. Okay. He's gonna kill us each, with kindness. Uh, each player must. <laughs> kindness make is a, the name of his shotgun. <laughs> each player must make a genuinely nice compliment to the game master, or be terminated instantly via a bolt of lightning. This is the most impossible thing you could have given us. <laughs> Sorry, I missed that. Repeat. I don't make the rules, okay? It was Greg. no, actually, Greg you literally do rules. make the rules. Uh, look, Repeat, I, me. I had an audio glitch. I didn't hear it. Oh, each player must make a genuinely nice compliment to the game master, or be terminated instantly via a bolt of lightning. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, uh, <laughs> whenever I listen to the song "I Touch Myself" by Divinals, I think of you. <laughs> Oh, there's is that, that enough to cover for all yes. of us? <laughs> no, it explicitly says that each player must make a genuine compliment. Um, I don't make the rules. I have you, just been the keeper of the rules. You have a face with eyes <laughs> that you like. You like. You like something about him. Just That's, say something. That is good, and I am happy you have that. <laughs> <laughs> Chat agrees. <laughs> uh, I think Hardy is your genuine personality that you let show from time to time, and I find it enjoyable. Compliment, dude. Compliment. <laughs> he he turned it on the end. He that is a compliment. Uh -huh, That's uh -huh. a compliment. I find it enjoyable. <laughs> have you met Hardy? <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i love this sarcastic little prick <laughs> can you see this windex cheese yeah i know that's <laughs> david's real personality and i find it enjoyable <laughs> david i am certain that you would never even if a google map told you to drive off a bridge <laughs> drive off a bridge <laughs> We're proud of you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, David, you, you brought this on yourself. Yes. It was brought on by the chaos wheel. So Say that I, he's I, something I, like, a, like a Capri Sun, like a Kiwi Strawberry Capri Sun. Guess I'm the last to go. Last to go. Um, and I'm torn between two compliments. And and I guess I will just be super kind and hope that you give me advantage for giving you two. Um, the first one is uh, you are awesome at world building, and it's so enjoyable to talk to you about world building um, DM to DM. It's very fun. The second one is you have the shiniest head I have ever seen. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 
<laughs> and it's 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 really nice. The it's the like sweet so and the pop. sour flavor today. <laughs> There's a hat covering his I am head eating head. that up. He yes. want to talk about being she bald. called you Mr. Clean. I <laughs> no. No, Mr. Clean is like less shiny of a head than no, he's that. Very very shiny. He's Mr. Clean. I just you say I wanted no. Clean was more handsome and rugged. He would look like David. Ooh. Yeah. I I I want it known that we put this together uh for the kids. Yes. And, uh, I hope that all of you who made these donations feel like you're getting your money's worth here as you're helping kids. And also, this is an amazing roast. <laughs> I didn't roast you. Okay, mine was very. No, no, that was really. Gen- I appreciate that. Exactly. Everybody lives. You it's also creepy, but followed the guidelines, and uh, we are back. To, back to the encounter. Um, the creature is distracted. Uh, Razzle dazzle! It is still your turn. What do you do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna angry. It, it ignored me. It is ignoring you. Yeah. I'm gonna say, I, I, and like I snap my fingers. What are you, my ex-wife? And I, I throw a <laughs> firebolt just like I did last time. What if roll to attack? Is this your ex-wife? Do you need to roll a history check? <laughs> you know, my ex-wife was she had black hair. She didn't have tentacles. Although she, her, the face is very similar. In my dreams, this is how she looks. Though I will admit that. Whenever I have dreams of us, this is exactly how she looks. Dreams just with nightmares. long black hair. Mm. I have a type. <laughs> um, dreams are nightmares. So you need, so you need my card. Both for him. I'm the type, type I need is, my card. The type is hentai. <laughs> I, 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 I my my type is long TMI, black hair. TMI. Whatever the long black hair is attached to is irrelevant. As long as it's long black hair. Curly, roll Auburn. your attack. My wife just angrily stared at me. She's like, <laughs> um, you yeah. should not meet a moose. Twenty-five. Twenty-five is what I got. Did I hit? You hit with a 25, yeah. All right, and I got two nine, 18 damage. 18 damage. Okay. Uh, where exactly are you targeting the fireball? Um, let's see. Something that, something that won't show when she wears a dress because then, like, you know, then there's, like, questions asked. So probably in her, like, chest, stomach area. Oh, Maybe this is arms. awkward. Okay. We have another <laughs> chaos wheel, I am being told. Let's see if we get another 10. <laughs> roll. Roll. 14. 14. Oh, I'm going to do that for you, Kiki. 14. For you. No. <laughs> no. 16. We were so oh close to monkeys. Gosh. We were so close to monkeys. However, uh, so, so Razzle Dazzle, as you successfully use that attack, boom. Um, damage is done. And you hear piercing through your ears a very harsh and aggressive oh man you guys really hurt that that's not fun it's my ex-wife oh my god it, it's her <laughs> sounds just like her that's, that's really <laughs> that's really kind of mean i didn't i didn't come into your house and kick your dog and explode your ceiling Love that's this what she said the last thing she said to me oh this is crazy david you're reaching right into my mind and as that happens a chum bucket hits all of you again as the chaos wheel has determined, <laughs> there is another uh, chum bucket. Uh, well, you are all blinded. Are the octopus too? And all the monkeys? Uh, n- no, just just you, you, just the players. Do I have two chum buckets on? Because I already had the other yes. one on from being a batting ram. Okay, cool. cool. You successfully have two chum buckets stuffed to your head. Yes. Uh, and with that, it is um, Kiki's turn. We're still stuck inside this again, right? You are, and you are now blinded. Okay. We just need a little more force. I would like to run headfirst into where I think yep. the door is. Yep. Saw that is, coming. Is, is experimental going to assist? Yes. I need... Like, like it, you know, point me in the right direction, you know, sort of thing. Give me a pep talk. Kiki... <laughs> Roll, Give you a good show. <laughs> roll the strength check with advantage. Will do. First one is a 25. I just want you oh to brace God. yourself for that. Yep, we're going to stick with a 25. <laughs> okay. You all. Rage um, monkey. 
What is, Kiki, please describe how you explode the door off of this locker. Like a small, tiny, rampaging bull, Kiki aims her chum bucket doubled head towards the door, and with a very kind push from Experimental, she trips and falls and tumbles towards the door with enough force that it cracks open like an egg, and we, the yolks inside, can spill out. And you successfully both escape Davy Jones' locker. <laughs> with a foul stench attached to both of you for two turns. <laughs> we explode out of the box and jock straps fly everywhere. Like a big celebration. <laughs> <laughs> the Yay! creature is going to go and it, the creature is going to look down at all of you and just, man, you guys really stink. This smells really bad. <laughs> but it's, but again, it's just piercing through your ears uh, as the creature looks around. Are you guys, what are you guys doing here? I guess y'all are lunch since there's dead silence. No, we're here for the special ocean soul. The oh, DVD, is that all? The Blu-ray. The HD thing with the extras. And I'm the here for pudding. And she's here for pudding. At which point you'll 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 all hear Captain Feathersword like a mile away, huffing and puffing because he was unable to keep up with the group. <laughs> I thought about it. <laughs> Didn't he I turn into a teapot? Yeah. He was, he's still <laughs> unable to keep up with the group. You beauty and the beasted him. <laughs> so he's trying hard to run. Hey, we're looking for the ocean soul. It's a tale. I'm trying to picture the teapot talking. Did Is you this like the... Chip? Yeah. Or... It's Mrs. Potts. Mrs. Potts, Mrs. Potts. You want to Potts. try that again? <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, the ocean soil, where, where is it? Um, however, uh, G Granny has just asked for, uh, what exactly? Pudding. I'm here for pudding. Oh, is that the all? The ocean's oh. bowl. Is that, that all you're looking for? Yeah. Oh, well, it's right here. I guess I don't have to eat y'all now. And uh, <laughs> if that's all you're looking for, you just see as a tentacle pulls out this large treasure oh chest as it's dripping with water and drops it and it thuds in front of you. And um, I'd like to know what any of you would do if you could see it, which none of you can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> could I have? Could I have heard... The promise of pudding being thumped onto the ground since I'm visually impaired anyway. Oh, yes, actually. Yeah, sure. Okay. I'm hobbling right over to it on like ridiculously speedy crutches. Oh, <laughs> uh, Granny flies towards it and flipping the lid open, you see inside uh, pudding. two things. <laughs> One of them being pudding, uh, a very large, chilled bowl of pudding. <laughs> Right, and next to it, a VHS copy of the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, unsealed and very much used, and they didn't rewind the VHS tape. What is it in the Blockbuster thingy with the Blockbuster, blockbuster case sticker on the back of it? Yeah, uh, and with that, as the, sticky. as the creature has decided to disengage with you. <laughs> Uh, you will all be able to remove the buckets from your head as we pull back and the cameras stop rolling. And so, yeah, cut. We got it. We're good. We get. We did it. All right, everybody. That was a really good take. Uh, Hollywood's having a rough go, so I'm really glad we were able to get you YouTubers again. to shoot this again. special. Uh, we're going to be uh, going direct to, well, I guess direct to Amazon Prime at some point. I'd like to thank you all for for being here today. Um, have a have a nice have a nice day. How do you end the shoot? Yeah, thank you. Get you did it again. You did. There's... <laughs> now I can eat this pudding. It's not it's not stunt prop pudding, right? I can just sit down and it's about time for my break. This is elder abuse. If you don't let me sit down and eat this pudding oh, right now, yeah, we we wouldn't want to uh, uh, step on anyone's uh, toes there or infringe against anything. But um, I have just been told. Yep, I just saw we it. We got another thousand dollar donation right now, oh, and wow. uh, 
I I love you guys for doing this. You all are amazing. I love really you too. coming in hot here. Oh, and we're gonna the spin the wheel. We've got two more wheel spins, and let's see if we get any more monkeys. Super monkeys? What was uh, six again? Six. six. We we've not we've not gotten a six before. Oh, so a nice. six. <laughs> That's right. A stampede of dire chinchillas. <laughs> <Are you? laughs> um, trampling the cast and crew of this. this Are they film shooting set. Chinchilla King just on the over? over uh, Get the next studio lot. They're shooting the it's Chinchilla, Chinchilla King. King. They got loose. <laughs> <laughs> the dire chinchillas have charged through. Uh, we do have one more. Get them, chinchillas! Chimba. <laughs> Oh, we were close. Oh, we were so Dang it. Close. Dang it. <laughs> I can't believe we got 11, too. All right. At least we didn't get um, a 10. As... <laughs> Ow. <laughs> uh, as everything really draws to an end, uh, you'll see that there is an elderly woman that is, if not the same age as Granny, possibly older. She's wearing all black. Ow. That's right. And uh, she's standing there and she's holding a small, what looks like jar of dirt in her hands. I want that. I want this her is, jar of dirt. I wanted more. Uh, I need that it, jar of dirt. It is a gift for you. And I she comes it. and hands it to, uh, well, Razzle Dazzle takes it as she's handing it to Kiki. And it brings you good luck and fills you with creativity. <laughs> I pour it on myself. I swirl the lid off and pour it on myself. Uh, you've just cast Bane on yourself, giving <laughs> other creatures <laughs> advantage to hit you. <laughs> Are we gonna end with a cry? We're we gonna end the way we started. I I'm okay with that if we end the way we started. Crotch uppercut is what I mean. Oh. <laughs> You I, don't, I don't want to force you to if you don't want to do it. You are you do it. asking for this? He, he's... I mean, I feel like, you know... I feel like at this point it might be a fetish. <laughs> I was going to say, there's a particular type of video that I feel like he like watches. I... That's, a, that's a thousand dollar donation. Holy crap. At this point... For a thousand dollars, can I nut kick him up to the moon? <laughs> I'm going to need a strength check. You'll hit me into a wall that'll go into a, where they're filming Apollo oh, 36. Oh. Uh, it's a 25. David, I'm being reminded that Kiki has also not seen the, the stone that's in my pocket. That's true. Can I sniff oh. it out, though? I'd like to just recap. The cast and crew have left from this film set. It was a film set the whole time. And uh, Kiki runs over and kicks Razzle Dazzle so... Uh, aggressively in dirt in the testicles that he he flies to the moon <laughs> like team rocket blasting off again I was gonna say, exactly. and there's just a twinkle in the sky from where he lands <laughs> Yay! Yay! everyone liked that <laughs> i'm okay with this i'm okay with razzles blasting yep. off again <laughs> Bing! and then kiki we're gonna summon nightwind toss it over towards kiki <gasps> A unicorn appears. Wow! Oh my gosh, it's so pretty and it's so cute and it has a horn protruding from its head. I wish I had a horn also protruding from my head. <gasps> it's adorable. I mean, you're good if you piss off night winds enough. You're, you are also, you are also <laughs> completely covered in glitter right now. <laughs> I'm sparkly! I would like to go around and specifically first to Ghostblade give you the glitteriest hug I can <laughs> offer you. Yes. <laughs> you will oh. sparkle like the night, sir. <laughs> well, I met for weeks. <laughs> and and with that, everyone, we successfully end with a glitter fart hug. And uh, I'd like to thank everyone for joining us for this one shot and donating uh just really great job to everybody here. I want to thank everybody for joining us here on Ian's show. I'm going to thank everybody. Um, and then <laughs> uh, but really, in, shout everyone. out to, to all of you watching for coming in strong with your donations. You guys have really been kicking ass. Uh, we're, we are very much oh, on track amazing. to the goal and so go past it, but I'm going to pass it back over to Ian because it's his show. 
I am super tired, as you may have <laughs> gathered. I'm sitting there like, uh, there was a moment when I just went, thump, and my head tilted back, and I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> that is not good. Um, thank you, guys. You guys are all amazing. It is, that was so much fun, and so much, like, random crap. It's like, all right, more monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> There could have been more. Oh, we could have had one more monkey. There's got to be a spell a where Kiki can duplicate at least. Agreed. Summon uh, greater group of monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be a spell. Homebrew. Homebrew it. We'll work on it. Yes. So, uh, Ian, what's next on the agenda for you? Um, I guess more gaming. I. Don't really We've got have some stuff to auction. Agenda. Oh yes, we got auction stuff, and um, we're just gonna keep going because. Um, although I do see people suggesting I take a nap if we hit 50k, so what I'm gonna say is if we hit 50k, I'm gonna take like an hour nap, and then come back to it because um, we're not gonna stop this thing. We're just gonna keep this train rolling because um, it's for kids. So. Um, that's the game plan. Um, well, you, I would you love are about to, to hit the 12 hours. Hours. But, but What's that? You are about to hit the 12 hours, too. In honor of death, um, we're at 10 and a half. We played well till the end for right. We just round you're, you're, big you're time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If we round it's coming up, it's, it'll be here soon. Yeah. So you guys are fantastic. I would love to, you know, run a game for you guys at some point, but um, not now, because if I try to run something now, it's going to be really weird, uh, which might be good or might be like, what are we doing here? So <laughs> a sleep yeah. induced craze fever dream. It'll be perfect. Oh, yeah. It'll just be like, you know, REM sleep in, you know, in uh, like full consciousness <laughs> like all right none of this makes any sense and here we go let's uh let's do it so but we've got all sorts of stuff to auction too um including this fine rock it's a rock i love rocks oh my gosh you know how many different things you can do with rocks you can do a lot with it you can hold it and you can pet it and you can give it a name and you can also throw it at people and you can also put it on the <laughs> ground and you can put it in a window as well and it won't grow anything so it's really easy to take care of you can also draw on it and it, okay, i'm gonna stop now also if you break it then you get two rocks okay now i'm done <laughs> it's like i'm gaming with my son well, i did <laughs> I did a video where I used the rock jokingly and I was like, this rock is a better self-defense product than like this. And then I jokingly said, and I'll sell you this rock for $10. I had a whole bunch of people actually reach out going, can I buy the rock? <laughs> so we're going to sell the rock. Cause, um, all right. <laughs> I told, I told Ian to send me like all the pictures of all the things he was auctioning off. And I get the the randomness of these photos <laughs> is now stored in this. And I was like, is this a rock? Yes. We're auctioning a rock. Okay. <laughs> oh, we also have this thing, which is a um, under barrel hot sauce holder. So um, it is designed to hold a bottle of hot sauce and then it fits under the barrel of a gun. And I used this in a video. Um, this was my get ready with me video because people were telling. So people told me they wanted me to do a get ready with me video. And I said, I can do that, but I'm unable to take the concept seriously. So if you want me to do this, I am going to make fun of it substantially. And people said, yeah, that, that sounds fun. So I... I made that video and um, it includes that. I could pull up the get ready with me video if people want to see that. You do that for your nap time. Yeah. Nap time. It's like it is <laughs> two minutes long or something. So Just put it not, on repeat. It's like 30 <laughs> times. <laughs> depending on depending on who's swinging by, I can cover for a bit if you want. Uh, we'll see. I mean, right now, um, I'm going to try to keep going. If I pass out, then, um, you know, 
I guess call my wife to make sure I'm not dead, but otherwise <laughs> Well, do we want to you want to you want to run with a few items to auction off? Yeah, we can do that. Um maybe I'll put on Twitter just hey, we're auctioning some stuff get here cuz there's some people who were like, "Hey, um so well, my thought process for the auction cuz I know that like I kind of said I would help you out with this one was it will give people a 30 minute window to bid. So 30 minute window to bid. You, you put in the in the uh, chat you drop a hashtag and what your bid is hashtag what your bid is so it's like a hashtag rock and then your bid amount and we'll keep track of that um mods will try to keep track of that and then at the end of that 30 minute window high bid wins once that donation goes through we'll mark it off the list we can move on to the next item sound good ian sounds good to me well, I'm going to jump in. I'm going to play us out. I've got to step out for a bit, but I plan on being back a little while this afternoon. Um, I can't speak for the rest of my crew, Thanks. but I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to dip out now, too. Thank you so much for running this, and you guys are all awesome. Like just You're awesome. Just, and so is the chat for raising so much. Yeah. Good yes. job. You guys are kick-ass. This is amazing. So Thank so, you, thank David. You so that much. was awesome. Bye we'll guys. be back. Thank you all. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I don't know see how to guys. leave. I don't either. <laughs> well, I don't see the oh, I see we're just, we're like, just here like now. We're just waving. You. Someone kick us. Okay. How you feeling? <clears throat> I am feeling pretty tired. Um I had a moment like uh where as I mentioned uh uh I was starting to nod off but uh, i'm feeling a little bit more energized mostly because i drank most of an uh, energy drink yep so even those energy drinks oh i'm gonna be going through them like uh you know like they're uh nothing so so i've got a number of stuff that we have to auction off do we want to start with one or two of these things sounds good if we don't start auctioning these things we're we're not going to get rid of them like they're just too many of them to auction. People have been really generous with what they've given and the time they've given. Thanks, Ian, for this marvelous effort. And um, also, I'm going to give a shout out to somebody else doing extra life, whose uh, screen name online is apparently that diabetic eagle. Um, them and Cinder Shadow both uh, raising money. So if you uh, want to check them out, that would be fantastic as well. So. Okay. Oh, and I'm being told I got to do a swoop. Um, swoop. Uh, Which one? We'll do a pirate. We have a pirate swoop. Uh, people were asking for the Corey swoop, so we'll do the Corey pirate swoop. It is 38 seconds long. Um, yes. Do that. that you had the balls in there what the hell <laughs> <laughs> they had to be like it was just there was no other option it was it's just fantastic like there's no better way of doing that all right so yeah. here's what we're going to do um here we go do to do, do i've got various items i don't know where it is Keep up the good work. Best ever. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So I'm going to run through real quick. Open. So we'll go through a bunch of the different things that we've got to auction. And then Ian, I'll let you pick which one you want to auction off first. 
Sounds good. So felted unicorn. Uh, squirrel, felted squirrel. The wallet, the Ian Runkle wallet with your baker's mark. Lovely squirrel drawing. Friendship squirrel bracelets. Sparkle fart bracelet. Greetings from Austria. At last I catch a live character. Dragon carrot. pen. Bullet pencil. <laughs> I just call this one fat boy pen. Just because you got the big bolus. Uh, colored pencil pen. Little keychain guy. Oh, neat. The leather work that you've been working on that you finished. Oh, man. That thing took uh, took so much you work. Put, I feel like this we should save to auction off. I, I feel like, yeah. Um, that one was a lot of work. So... Hot sauce shooter. <laughs> the rock. <laughs> felted moon and stars. And another felted looks like a deer. Did you have a preference? Uh, I am bad at choosing. I will pass the choice on to you if you're willing to make the choice. All right, let's do Felted Squirrel. Sounds good. The Felted Squirrel is pretty awesome. All right, so the Felted okay. Squirrel for the next, and what we're going to say is for the next, uh, I'm going to say until, we'll give people until, for this one, let's do a 10-minute run. So 12.50. All right. 12.50, just put hashtag, felt, uh, hashtag Squirrel in the chat, and then whatever dollar figure you're, you're auction is or your bid is um and we'll keep pulling it up from time to time ian did you want to start a game while we're doing that sure and um i think it's a mouse as opposed to like that one looks to me like a mouse it's a mouse then it's a felted mouse felted mouse so call it okay so call it mouse sorry call it mouse passion Whoop. for legal issues i have learned so much from you so we got 25 bucks and i'll and keep gonna... the, i'll keep the high bid on the screen I see. Yes, it's a mouse, and it's on mushrooms, and that's from the uh, the person who made it, Marmar. It's a mouse on mushrooms. Okay, this now has significant new meaning. Marmar, can you DM me or email me with the description of all of the other felted ones so I can remember or see what they are? So, pull up your game. Show the screen. Yeah, just uh... yeah. How do I do this? Yeah, other way. You had it right the other time. There. There we go. How did you? Ian, occasionally I'm going to flip you back to like a regular view so we can see the thing again just to see where it is. Oh, absolutely. So yep. Right now, high bid is 25 for the mouse. And you got you got authority for what you're, uh, you know. So, and somebody's asking what game? This is Hades. I've started a new run. Um, so this is um, with no, basically none of the upgrades at this stage, but uh, the plains of Asphodel are now engulfed in scintillating. There we go. Flames. That's better. That way you can see Ian and you but can see the little mouse. So you can see Ian play. So hashtag mouse and then the bid amount. Well, squirrel, I'll count squirrel too because it's the same thing. 30 is the bid. That's 35 now. Bids up to 40 for the mouse on mushrooms. Mouse on mushrooms. Love mice on mushrooms. I don't know why a mouse is on mushroom, but the mouse is on mushroom. There's a mouse on mushrooms. 
I mean, why wouldn't it be? I don't know. I mean, I can see why mice might be on mushrooms. I've got the bid for 40. There's already 40. Julia's got a bid in at 40. Yes, payment is just putting it into extra life. And once I see that the person... A belt, Julia already had 40, so the new one would have to be 45. All right, what do we have for options? Marmar, the email address is lawandlumber at gmail.com. It's all spelled out, lawandlumber at gmail.com. Oh, I do have a gavel. We've got a 45. We've got $40. We've got $40 for this lovely mouse on some mushrooms. Alice in Mushroom Land, the mouse on mushrooms. $40, $40. Do we have $45? Do we have $45? Do we have $45? Do we have $40? $40, $40, $40, $40, $40, $40. Looking for $45, $45, $45, $45. You got $45? Yeah, we have $45. Can I get a $45? I'm not even 40, going to 40, try 40. that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do, do, do okay coming up we got six minutes left six minutes left on the auction of the mouse on mushroom six minutes left mouse on mushroom six minutes six minutes can i get a 45 i've got 40 40 is the high bid right now 40 is the high bid can i get a 45 45 maybe a 50 i don't know 45 50 50 50 45 bid for that southern rocks right here rob the southern auctioneer of Rob. He talks too slow. He talks too slow for the auctioneer. Forty dollars is what we've got as our high bid for the mouse on mushrooms. Mouse on mushrooms, forty dollars. Forty dollars. Yeah, I know. People are saying you're gonna lose your voice if you go at that speed. I know. I one hundred percent know. So we've got 40 as Ian's playing a game with suggestive content. <laughs> 40 is our high bid. I still, still think 40 is the high bid. I haven't seen anyone else with a 45. I've just got 40. Mouse on mushrooms. Mouse on mushrooms. Five more minutes for the mouse on mushrooms. It's a shroom and mouse. Shroom and mouse. <laughs> That mouse is tripping. That mouse has no idea where he is or what's going on. Or she, we don't know. We don't want to assume. Uh, but we've got the mouse. We've got, we've got, Kurt, we've got a mouse on mushrooms that we're bidding. Excellent. So the mouse is on mushrooms. The high bid right now is $40. People have until twelve fifty to place a bid on the mouse on mushrooms. Now, folks, what you can clearly see here is that this is truly a unique piece of, of work that would be a lovely addition to any of your homes. Sit right on your desk so you can look at it finally every day when you're at work, perhaps. You can have it right yeah, on your computer monitor so that you can see it. You can hang on your wall. Hang on, a yeah. wall. hang on your wall, perhaps, to bring you a little joy to remind you that there's a little lawn lumber in your office or perhaps your garage to inspire oh this is made you. by this is made by one of our users marmar yes inspire you to craft things of your own a little inspiration to remind you that you too can do it and make something beautiful and wonderful that it'll be a constant companion in your life and that you can look at fondly and if you don't get it right now you'll never be able to get it again because it is truly a one of a kind that would be a lovely addition to your home or office or perhaps garage or a chef it is. that you might be doing some efforts in. It is. It is truly one of a kind. I, it, because every time, everything is made by hand. You're never, ever going to be able to remake that exact thing the same exact way every single time. Yeah. So, no. You can see the lovely details and accents on the, on the wooden portion of it. These lovely corners that are just wonderfully decorated to bring a little extra spice to this wonderful mouse mushroom mixture sitting on a white fluffy cloud of happiness it will remind you that you too can be happy and in, in it's all happiness your or it's or it's trippiness because the mus mushrooms, really <laughs> mushrooms what's, might the, have hit what's the difference i don't know you too could be happy with mushrooms <laughs> yes let's let's just give but you a hallucinogenic 
But these kind are full. But these kind are fully legal. Don't tell. Don't tell the DEA about it. But we are selling you mushrooms, and you can have these mushrooms uh, as part of this. As part of this mouse sitting on gray cloud wooden board uh, tableau. Yep. We don't so recommend this eating first, them, however, the, but the first auction item, the first auction item, the DA, DA will not kill your dog over these. Is mm, the lead bid? Right. The lead bid. Um, Kurt, the QVC is calling your name. The chat is recognizing that you, this is a very good job you have here. Don't poison anyone with the mushrooms. High bidder Julia five four three is saying yes. So. Forty dollars is the current bid on this mouse. We, we on also mushrooms. recommend we also recommend double checking those mushrooms before adding them to any dishes and lining yourself up with murder manslaughter charges in Australia. But that's another Annabelle. story for another day. These mushrooms are, are not necessarily food, but uh, they will they will remind you that if you just travel into the wood and have a little experimentation, you too might find something glorious. <laughs> Uh, Ian, I did tweet about the auction. Yeah, Ian, when you get to a break in your game or a pause point in your game, I need you to do something from, from the brand side. Uh, I can just pause. Yeah, what's up? Uh, go to your banners. And we're going to yeah. do, we're going to say, we're going to, because I think 30 minutes is too long. We're going to say 10 minutes. Mm. So okay. 10 minute auctions, 10 minutes. Hashtag item, then auction amount. Okay, so you want me to I'm, make a banner with that? Uh, yeah, make a little banner with that. And I would so auction uh, so hashtag item with amount uh, at close of auction donation Ooh, confirmed. The crap goth is here. That's very nice. I Glad saw that. You're stopping also, by. Very cool. We've got a new high bidder, Karate Cat Mom, coming in with the Squirrel Mouse fifty dollar bid. Fifty dollar bid. We've got fifty. Not and only 50, 50, that's only. what it is. Nope, we're at Not, 50. That that closes it out. Oh, really? That's so, the top bid? Okay. That's well, the top then. bid. That's the close of 10 minutes. I'm trying to be consistent in the rulings. Fair enough. Sold to Karate Cop Mom, who truly will enjoy this mouse, who is ruminating and remind you to take a look around every once in a while. Life moves fast. Yeah. Can you let that scroll at the bottom? I'm trying to figure out how to do that. Uh, edit, scroll, save, play. Perfect. There we go. All right, Karate Cat Mom, you have won that item. I'm just going in here to make sure that I've got the... Uh, when you do, can you please just verify... When you, If you make that donation, when you make that donation, put the item uh, description in so I can just see it. I've got to keep a running list of all of these things. Karate, Cat Mom. And right about now, everyone else in chat is feeling that sense of sadness because they did not get this wonderful mouse on mushrooms floating truly on the purple cloud nine with this wooden backboard that would look lovely in every home. And you didn't get it. Because you didn't bid on it and you didn't bid enough. But that's okay. We have other I mean, items that you can get. So don't feel that feeling again. Don't feel that feeling of loss and regret that you did not bid for such a wonderful item. You can fix yeah. that by bidding on the next item. Don't let the next opportunity also sail you by. I'm being told I have to gavel at close. Gavel. <laughs> Sold. Okay. Next item up on the auction block. Let me go ahead and remove also, this. Also, <laughs> uh, Let's do. Let's do some other friendship bracelets. Oh, now this is this is truly a great friendship bracelet right here. You can see that this is made with love and a constant reminder of what our are we good calling this and part of friend squirrel squirrel bracelets. Squirrel squirrel bracelets. Yes, we're calling the squirrel bracelets. As you can see, literally made with love with the heart icon there on the bottom at six o'clock on the bracelet, reminding you constantly of Squirrel. Squirrel, unfortunately, has left our Earth, but she can be with you constantly if you buy the Squirrel Blaze. It's a constant reminder 
that there is Squirrel and she cares about you. And you can wear this bracelet and remind you of Squirrel and how wonderful she is. And then you will look at the band. What would Squirrel do? And you will know the answer to all of life's questions. By getting this band, you will have the question and answer for every life mystery. What will Squirrel do? She will tell you this bracelet is the answer. Okay, so bracelet 10 works. Bracelet 10 starting bid at $10. That's shared between, okay, here we go. James Townsend at 15. Uh, Michaela matches at 15. You guys, I'm going to go with the first person that I see who bids at the amount, and then it's good. it has to go up above than that. Yeah, we you got to uh, gotta be fast if you want to. Uh, it also comes with candy. a matching. It also comes with a matching bracelet that you can give to perhaps a significant other, so that oh, they also a have very... a tie. It also has a tie to you in the same design and pattern. So as you Sweet are thinking of sentiment. squirrel, they will think about you. Christmas is coming up. You know, you've been wondering what to get for that person that has everything. Do they have a squirrel bracelet? No, they don't. So now you know what to get that person for yourself. Maybe give them the squirrel bracelets and keep the companion bracelet. Either way. But then you will think Hi. of each other and think of squirrel, and your life will be ever more complete. Yep. High bid is at 35. KT has the high bid at 35 for the squirrel bracelets. You can either write squirrel bracelet or bracelet. I will know what you are talking about. And then the amount. Um, so bracelet or squirrel bracelet. Oh. There we go. Megan Easton. Some of us are in slow mode bracelet. You know what? Yeah. Lovingly adorned. I lovingly adorned like... in, in white, dark brown, light brown, accented colors with beads and a, a, a reminder of nature because squirrels like trees, like the brown of this bracelet will remind you the whiteness of squirrel reminding you of their purity. The heart icon reminding you how much she loved you. And the companion bracelet for your significant other to remind them that you are also in your life. This squirrel bracelet is something that you both will truly remember for years yep. to come. The chat chat is uh, making it very clear. I, we might need to disable slow mode for this. Mm. It's not because it's yeah, not fair because members are, members, are, members are able to chat quicker. Yeah, give me a second. I'll turn that off. And I'm being told that the squirrel bracelet is 7.5 inches in diameter. There you go. That's what she said. So I've got KT coming in with a $50 oh, bid. Um, slow mode is disabled for this. Okay. So we got 50 is um, the high bid. We got an open internationally. Yes. Yes. We're shipping. We ship international. Yeah, I, I don't sort of know who has these ones right now. So I've, I've, this is, I've got these. Okay, then, yeah. All right. So the high bid, fifty dollars to KT. Fifty dollars is a good bid, but if you do not get it now, you will not have the squirrel bracelet. And then what are you going to do? You won't be able to look down and be like, who will give me the answers? And karate I, karate cat them. mom, I see I karate cat mom, I see your uh, I saw the donation go through, so please email me with the address where I can send this. Email me the address so that I can find out where that is, lawandlumber at gmail.com. So squirrel is still up. Squirrel is still up for auction for another uh, we're gonna give it another six minutes. Awesome. Uh, Yep, six more minutes. So squirrel, the squirrel bracelets are up for auction. Six more minutes. Seven inches is the diameter of the bracelet. Seven and a half, rather. So squirrel bracelet. Gene Reynolds, you bid by placing a hashtag bracelet and then the amount of your bid. Hashtag bracelet, the amount of your bid, and then I confirm that bid when you make um, when we close that. Then I'll Only see the donation actual go through. Only real actual bids and real actual donations will result in a prize. Plus, yeah. you'd be cheating the children, and that's bad. Gwyn Bly is back up to 55 for the squirrel bracelet. 55 for the squirrel bracelet. Circumference, not diameter. Thank you, Julia. I'm a, I'm, I sometimes get confused. Circumference. I so, didn't even know 55 is the high bid. Yes.
And if you measure that diameter against its radius, you will learn a secret mathematical number. <laughs> oh, you're going to confuse o me there. Only, only, only known to the best mathematicians, and you too will be able to know this unique secret. There we go. Kurt, I moved us above that so we can see. Excellent. The, the numbers will come to you that, they, they, that you can use for lottery picks, which you will surely win. Yeah. Um, no yeah. promises about the lottery tickets. And I apologize. You know, I wish I had countdown numbers. I wish I had all of these different things that I don't have. Um, but we're doing our very best here. So, like I said, squirrel bracelet, we're back up. We're at $60. So there you so, go. And that's a two for one, guys. That's only $30 a piece, man. Of these lovingly handcrafted bracelets in a wonderful accent of color to remind you of the brown of nature and the trees, the white to remind you of squirrel's purity, the name squirrel there to constantly remind you of our companion and the hearts that she loved us with, with an accented bracelet in white, brown, and darker brown colors, remind you of nature and to get out there and explore. Julia, 543 with a $65 bid. Mouse. Julia 543 is a $65 bid on these oh, squirrel bracelets. Yeah, we've got one that came in as felted oh, mouse, so. Uh, let's see that. All right, so we and are I down. Think yes, if the bids are in Canadian or U.S. dollars, I think they'd be in U.S. because that's U.S. Right. dollars. Yeah, U.S. dollars. Actually, so real KT, dollars. KT, no, no we've those, got a bidding war. No, those fake Canadian dollars or Australian dollars, only United States dollars are accepted here. We've got a bidding war. Oh, no. $80 is the high bid. Julia, five. Going quick. We've got Going quick. Yep. You want to gavel $80. us down, Rob? What was that? You want to gavel us down? we got to be getting close. We, we're close. We're about one minute away. Oh my, KT with ninety dollars, ninety dollars for the squirrel for the squirrel bracelet. I'm gonna go with a. I'm gonna go with a thirty second countdown. Thirty. Uh, your mom's yes, she did. Twenty nine, twenty eight, twenty seven, twenty six, hundred dollars, four, five, twenty four, twenty three, twenty two, twenty one. 105 bucks for this unique pair. 18, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, oh, 4, one for team. 3, 2, 1. Sold to Gene Reynolds. With the Gene snipe. Reynolds. With the snipe. Gene Reynolds, for 115. 115. Exceedingly generous. And you just beat out KT. You had the 120 coming in next. But I got to be consistent with the rule. Gene Reynolds, 115. When you do make that donation, make sure that you uh, you put the squirrel in the description of the donation so that I can, I can match that. And then email me the address to where these are being sent. Okay, Gene Reynolds. All right. Just, you guys, just a reminder, there's a guys, of, that there are... there's a slight delay on the stream. So you, you have to remember there's about a five second lag. So yep, yeah, I, you, you got to get that in, baby. I'm trying. I, I'm trying to be fair to everybody. I really am. This is probably the most fair way that I can think of of, of handling any of this. It's, it's pretty tough. And as a, as an update on our our progress, we're at forty three thousand one hundred and twenty four total. There's a delay. I there's a delay. I have to count down. I'm sorry. I'll try. I'm doing my best. I really am. Yep. So. 
I don't will don't wait for that. Us. Don't wait for that. Don't wait for that last second bid, guys. You just might not get it in due to stream delay or whatever. You gotta get that in, baby. I'm because when I'm it's trying. gone, it's gone. Because one of those things is with timing wise, I gotta be able to I gotta be able to do it. I gotta be able to do this. So let's go and do Ian. Would you like to tell us what the hell we're bidding on? Hmm. That is a rock that appears in a particular video that I did. Um, so I will include with the rock a certificate of authenticity, or at least a letter of authenticity. I don't know if I have like a certificate. I don't know what goes into a certificate. But uh, something to say that it is a real rock that, you know, was used in a video. And um, it is guaranteed not to increase in value. Um, although I don't actually provide any refunds if it does increase in value. Um, so I would not buy this as an investment because it probably isn't, but, um, some people wanted to buy the rock and so here we are. I am perplexed as to why anybody would want the rock, but, um, Ian, look at the screen. Yes. Yeah. Do you see what the bid is? I see sixty dollars for the yeah. rock. <laughs> Bidding has yeah. started for the rock. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to buy something that will truly endear throughout the ages. It is a rock. It will stand the test of time, and it will be a constant companion in your life. You can treat it as a pet, and it requires very little maintenance. So, for those of you who don't necessarily have a green thumb or I have had problems with pets. No worries. This pet will never leave you. This pet will be there throughout all things in all situations. It'll be a constant companion. If you run into problems when you're it coding, for example. When called, however. Yeah. When, if you run into problems when coding, you can explain the problem to the rock. And often you will, re you will receive insight. That's a real thing, by the way. People use rubber ducks for that, but same principle. The duck, Ian. explaining things to the duck slash the rock <laughs> will help you understand the problems in your coding. Okay. And you can look at the rock. It will help hold down papers. and Or you can keep it in your pocket as a constant companion, something that you can always have with you. Its substance and weight will be something that you can truly look upon throughout the ages. Plus, it was featured in a video. And if, and if you like, I'm sure Runkle will even sign the rock for you. I will sign the rock if you want. Um, so that is an option. If you'd rather the yeah. rock be signed, um, then I will sign the rock. If you just want the rock as is, then such is yes. uh, your wish is my uh, my command on that one as well. So, so. Uh, Gene Reynolds, I got your, I saw the donation go through. So yes, go email me that. You are the proud owner of those squirrel bracelets. The rock is at $110. Yes. Um, the rock is at $150. Catherine oh, Frazier okay. wants the rock for $150. Guys, this I is mean, a rock. I like to say you guys are crazy. I, this is like this. Yeah. Rock. Also, as noted in the chat, it can be an outstanding instrument for determining the weather. If the rock is dry, <laughs> it is sunny. If the rock is wet, it is raining. If the rock is moving, it is windy. If the rock is gone, a tornado has occurred. The, if, it is, if it is covered in snow, it has been snowing. The rock is an outstanding meteorologist and will solve the problem. What is the weather at an instant glance? This is this is my favorite. We're this is a rock. We have a rock at $150. I love this. Fantastic. So am, what we're gonna do here, here's the thing. I am the, chat has, the chat the chat has given me lessons on how to increase the fairness of these items as we proceed. And what it is is that we're gonna go and I will monitor for 60 seconds or 30 seconds after the last bit to give people an opportunity to slip in there and then I will hit stop. I will type stop into the chat and that will be, yeah. that will be the gavel so that that will get us around the streaming time issue. Mm, that's a good thought. There may be many rocks like it, but this rock can be yours. This can be your rock, your companion. Everyone needs a rock in their life. They need that solid foundation something ever reliable, something can, they can depend on in the sometime tumultuous world. Rock is dependable. It's a rock. It's a rock. I need, this, to, I need to tweet that the rock is going for $160. $160. Um, 
So yep. that, and I haven't I haven't seen any new you, bids in the last. You can use it to make so stone seconds. snoop, uh, as, as in the book. You can use it to make stone snoop. You you add the stone to water, and then you just add a few other ingredients like yes, carrots and true. celery and and yep. chicken and other things. And look, you made a soup just using just a rock. It can feed people if you add other things to it. Yep. So I've got I've got this uh, the rock. I haven't seen a bid in a little while, so I'm going to start. We start. Oh my gosh, the rock is up at two hundred dollars. Yes. So much. We have a high bid, two hundred dollars. The high bid on if the you weather name the rock, rock. If you name the rock Dwayne, you can say that Dwayne the Rock <laughs> is visiting you and in your life. No, let's not uh, let's not violate any publicity <laughs> rights. <laughs> it could be any person named Dwayne. I didn't specify which one. <laughs> this rock will rock you. Uh, this rock will rock you to sleep. It will rock your world. It will rock everything about your life. Uh, the rock it is being can... sold. Oh, pants! Pants coming in with two hundred dollars, two hundred twenty dollars bid. Thirty rock. seconds, guys. Oh. Yeah. No, no. I got We got to wait thirty seconds after the last bid, so that restarts the clock on the bid. You can hold it in your hand. You can use it for stone massage. Yeah, some people like you that. You can kind of heat thing. it up. You yeah, can heat it up. It can be used as a sleep aid, but we really recommend against that. Yeah. Is this one big enough to be used as a sleep aid? Um, I mean, it might take multiple, multiple goes, multiple attempts. So we've got two two hundred and twenty yeah. uh, for the rock. Um, the actual, like an actual physical rock, not not the rock, but uh, we've got it's it's a garlic crusher. I'm seeing that in the chat. I do yes. not lick the rock. All right, I'm going to give. Oh, TF for 250. Ian, this rock is going to go for 250 dollars. Uh, not there yet. It's still bidding. We're on a bidding war. 250 dollars <laughs> for a rock, you guys. And this is the thing. This is the generosity of the chat, and that's amazing. You guys know you're buying a rock, but you also know that you're contributing to the humor, the content on stream, and you're donating to a good cause. So. I think this is fantastic. 250 is the high bid for the rock. Our garlic crushing weather telling rock. Very limited. <laughs> the rock will yep. never lie to you. It will never lie to you. It will never lie to you. It's never going to um, give you up. Never going to let you down. Let you down. Never yeah. turn uh, around or desert you. It is a rock. It is a rock. Snakes. Yes, this does need to be clipped. This does need to be clipped. Uh, because we are at two hundred and fifty dollars, I'm not. I'm not. I can't. I'm not going to do the two fifty one fifty. It's five dollar increments is what we have to do because that's going to that's going to get too complicated for me to to handle. So the high bid is two hundred and fifty still. Um, Work authorized. A fountain chamber in the depths. Like I can't. I can't do two fifty one fifty. I mean, stop the rock. Can't stop the rock. You're gonna stop. The rock can't stop the <laughs> rock. Yep, pants. There you go. Pants. Then if sanity is at stake, there you go. Thank you, pants, for doing that real quick. 255. We're doing five dollar increments. So 255 is the high bid at the present. Um, pants, thank you for making that clarification. Much appreciated. 255 is the high bid for the rock. Wow. This is you can you can tell the rock it's your secrets, it will not yep. expose them. This is my favorite thing in the world. I think I think coming up next is going to be one of the pens because I kind of want to see what's going to happen with one of the pens. I, I'm curious because everyone's saying wow. Your sack. So the rock is at 255. I have not seen a bid in a little bit. So we are going to start a little bit of a countdown. 255. Let's go 255 way. is the high bid of the rock. Oh, oh TF 270. 270. 270 clock has restarted. Whoa. Uh, Kurt, Kurt, talk up the rock real quick. I, need to I mean, I mean, it is truly a luscious gray, and its its ridges are one of a kind. You will never find another rock exactly like this one. There, there may be many different kinds of rocks, but this rock is truly one of a kind and unique. It is it has been lovingly created by nature over the course of thousands, nay, millions of years, to be brought to you in its current state. And will continue to survive the ages as it has before. It can be used in your office to hold down papers. It can be used in your kitchen for garlic. 
it could even be used in a pinch, you know, as as a uh, personal aid. It could be used as a meditation device to to bring you one to nature. You know, you're you're sitting in your office and you're surrounded by all this technology and the worlds and buzzes of printers and computers, yep. and you just want that moment of self reflection. What better to help bring you to that place than by holding a rock and concentrating on the rock? You can literally meditate upon the rock. And it'll bring you into a more pure place. One with nature, even, perhaps. It is a rock. The Nova Rocket 280. Y'all are nuts. Oops. This is the generosity of people. This is the generosity of everybody. This is people that are going to donate. What's what's cool about this is that you know this is people who are going to donate. But they are doing so and they're having fun fire, engaging with the chat by the needs of a rock on <laughs> uh pants has come back with the two uh, 285 for the rock the rock is going for a 285 is the high bid on the rock it is you know what we should call it this rock it's like this jury it's not the rock it's not the jury it's this you rock. have have you been looking for that perfect proposal item for your significant other well if you give her this rock She'll be able to claim that her rock is bigger than any of her friends. I guarantee. It is many, many carrots. Many carrots of rock. Lots. It's a There rock. are zero diamonds in this rock. Um, Car KT? Carrots is a measure of weight. So my statement was true. So KT... Yes, I'm just listening. making sure no one is misled. <laughs> yeah. KT, if you're listening, KT, uh, I'm being told... Yeah. That if you match the donation, yeah, for the uh, match the donation for the squirrel bracelets, the one fifteen, that there's a second one that's going your way. So if you, that was me screwing up that that auction. So I want to be fair. If you match that donation, there's another uh, another set is coming your way. Okay, D diamonds um, are made of carbon. This rock also contains carbon. Therefore, it is like a diamond yes. in that way. It is. <laughs> It is okay. It looks but like we're about but there. It is ethical. It is a purely ethical rock. It has no conflict issues. This is a conflict-free rock. All right. <laughs> this rock. All right. <laughs> rock is rock is it? Rock. Oh, nope. Nope. I was about to speak and then I spoke too soon. Rocks at 300. Jesus. I was about to speak and I spoke too soon. I was going to type it in the chat and I go to reach over and I see the 300 hit the chat and I just you guys, this is a rock. This is amazing. <laughs> 300. It, I'm going to give a couple more seconds it here. Ref it reflects light. Oh, so you nope. can see it. Pants. I, well, it refracts light. I, I don't know if it's reflecting it. Well, it does reflect it back to you in some fashion. The pants is at 305. We 305 is the high bid. 305 is, is the is high bid. It could, be, it could be a little, it could be a little mountain for your ant farm. That you perhaps you have, you know, give them, give your ants a little holiday. They can set up a little home on the on the rock as a little mountain getaway. Everyone likes to get away to the mountains, even ants. Oh, we're up at three. It's a rock. TF, we're up at three twenty. Three twenty is the high bid on the rock. It's rocking me to sleep. This is rocking my world. Uh, how many rocks can we think of? How many times is rock in a song? So only single like or donation. Um, couple. Like a rock. Ooh, Pants. like a rock. Pants. It's a lot like a rock. Four hundred dollar, four hundred dollar bid on the rock. God, this is fantastic. <laughs> it's a four hundred dollar bid on the rock. The rock is about to be bid for four hundred dollars. This is going to be the meatiest thing that's ever happened to me. This is the coolest thing. This is the coolest thing ever. We have a four hundred dollar bid on the damn rock. I love this so much. I do not understand this so much. You don't have to. You don't have to. Um, I mean, understanding is good, but um, it's I've... ridges. It's ridges are something to behold. It has it has texture. You can lovingly caress the rock with your fingers. It's warm. Yep. It's warm ridges will be a confirmation of its natural authenticity. 420. 420. We do not, we we do not recommend we, we do not recommend trying to blaze the rock. 
Uh, no. Uh, I, no. I'm seeing a question in the chat. Ian, is this a is this a is this an official Canadian Rockies rock? I don't know where it came from. It was like it was in my backyard, used as four like fifty decorative edging or whatever. So it could have come okay. from, you know, they could have imported it from wherever. And, 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 it's, and, it's been, and it's been noted by the chat. You can almost certainly write off the entire amount of this as a tax donation because the rock yes. has very little inherent value. So yes. yeah, you can you can uh, you can write off I the entire thing the inherent as, as value a charitable of the donation. So you know what you got to be careful it's a great... though. If if you go and you put on a, on any documentation that you purchase a rock or you purchase rock for four hundred and fifty, they're going to think that you purchase something else. So be very yes. wary of what you write on any paperwork. Liter liter is... Literally a rock. I would put down something like stone. I purchased a stone. <laughs> yes. Yes, uh, I bought a stone for four hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, the stone, people are the saying, stone may be it, magical. If you, if you give we it, it is not magical. Like the rock <laughs> or this it could be. rock, it could be, but it isn't. <laughs> yeah, the, st the stone might potentially be able to grant wishes. We don't know. We haven't tested it. Here's the really cool part, though, or one of the really cool parts. Unless, uh, this... unless you specifically are wishing for a rock, in which case the rock will absolutely grant your wish if you bid enough. That's probably true. But this is a representation of what this rock and the money that people are paying for this rock. This is a this is perhaps a medical procedure or uh, a prescription for a child or some form of treatment or the hospital stay. This is really cool. So it's not just a rock. This is what that rock means is a whole lot of money to a, a kid in need. That's pretty neat. Yeah. All right. We are going to, I'm going to go ahead and call it Gavel. Sold. Sold for $450. You are now the proud owner of this one of a kind, unique gray rock. I hope it brings you many, many years, even eons of happiness because it's a rock. It will be there for you. Completely baffled. Um, Pants, let me uh, shoot me an email. Let me know if you want me to sign it or what you want. Because um, I am completely unable to comprehend this. It's a rock. It it's it's glorious. That's cool. That is so <laughs> freaking cool. I love this. This rock sold for four hundred and fifty dollars. Amazing. This is this wow. is amazing. 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 <laughs> okay, let me see. Where are we gonna my go Q with this now? My QVC skills have no end, apparently. Let's go with oh now. Uh, wow, oh, here we go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a truly beautiful thing. This is lovingly crafted by our very own lawn lumber. It, it it does it come with the display? Does it come with the plastic thing? I can't I can't give that because I I need to use that. But what okay, so do it, it doesn't come picture. with the plastic part. This is just the pen, but it is it is usable for writing things, and it is been lovingly handcrafted by our very own. You can see that it, it with his own lathe, mind you, with his own hands, with metal accoutrements added to become a functional pen. This. So pen. this is wait clarification. This is a pencil. This is a mechanical pencil. I'm sorry, pencil, pencil, not a pen. Important distinction. If that pencil if is that up at six hundred dollars, if that changes your bid, because I don't want to misrepresent, yeah. you can with you can withdraw your bid if if you were depending on a pen because it is a pencil. So, so we we're at six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars is the high bid for the pencil. Let's see. You've blown the pen yeah. For the past six chambers or more. And you made such a so that's it. remarkable. Wow. I, the thing is, I am glad because I was going to feel really bad if it sold for less than the rock. I was going to be like, that is not, that is not good. Wait, where am I seeing 700 XCD at 700? I've got Kelly D at 800 Kelly D at 800. You can use oh. the pencil for marking things. You can use it to track your children's height by, by marking on the wall as so many parents do. You can use it for a test that you might be taking as you're sitting for the LSAT, that little bit of 
Rob Energy will be there in the pen to help you along in your test taking journey. It can be an inspiring pen pencil. You can you can use it for you can use it for sketching. You're making little artistic things that maybe hey you can create something that will be beautiful and wonderful. Yep. So we've got you, the you, pen, uh, Susan Ferry, a pen at eight fifty. Eight fifty. Okay, pen at eight fifty. That's where we are right now. Y'all are pretty incredible with this. I like this one. So this is one of the blanks that I made. So this is a, a one of the blanks that I made with the epoxy. Take good care. Oh yeah, yeah. Red heart. Bullet I mean, pen look, at, at the, look at the, look at that little wood touch on the pen cap. Peggy Ann, nine hundred. Look at that little wood accent on the top Dang. of the cap there that lovingly matches the barrel of the pencil in this yep. steel, almost gunmetal gray color here with this beautiful XCDA contrast. Eight fifty or no, no Peggy Ann's at nine hundred. Yeah. We got nine hundred. So sure we'd welcome all this feedback from you, Meg. It truly glistens in the light. No one else will have a pencil quite like this. Other people will be, where can I get that pencil? And you'll have to tell them they can't because it was made custom. Tied was Sandy, one of a kind. Was Sandy first on that. I see your chat here. I don't know if, if it was XCDA or Sandy who was first on that. I'm trying to monitor as fast as I can. Sandy at 910. Sandy at 910. Sandy at 910. This is really incredible. So Sandy at nine ten. You can see how the uh, pencil just effortlessly flows, you know, from its construction. It's truly KT, the work of a professional. Also, this pencil will never run out of ink. It might no. run out of pencil lead, but it will not run out of ink because that is not how pencils work. <laughs> True. Uh, Don Burke. Go to Kelly D. Six Kelly D. And Don Burke. I saw Don Burke first though. Don Burke had first at a thousand. I think that counts like the hashtag thousand. I do think that counts. That was the quick one in. Oh, now I see Gwen eleven hundred. Uh, and I see Don apparently at fifteen hundred. I did it. The ancient blood. There are more. Pens and pencils I have made. And if you guys are giving this much to this charity on this, I will get rid of everything I have made. I will donate all of those things if that's what you guys are doing. Don't mind this is incredible. I am just like, holy crap. Next floor. So high bid right now is at $1,500. You can use this to keep notes in class. This will help you get through school. You can use this for recording things. You can use it to perhaps you ask a girl to give you her number and she doesn't have a pencil. And it's okay, you can borrow mine. Not only will you get the number, but she'll be so impressed by the quality of the pencil that date will undoubtedly go as well as it can possibly for you. How better to make that first impression than through that quality pencil? Here, baby, use my pencil. I'm telling you, it's the way to a woman's heart. Okay, I don't know. Usually, guys. She's using your pencil, she's already pretty much a fan. But so I will tell you that there's if if you guys are putting this towards the uh, towards the creations, I'm gonna keep auctioning them. Perhaps wow. you're about to get married and looking for a gift for your new bride. What better than this pencil? My love, as, oh. we're about to get, as we're about to get married, you can use this to record all our happy memories together. Pencil at third. Nope, nope. Sorry, 1500 was still the high bid. That was Dawn who had it, right? Yeah. Come on in. So the bid is still 1500 Dawn Burke had the $1,500 bid. Royal Majesty. Which I lost for a second because someone just, there we go. Dawn, 1500 just so I remember. Dawn. Somebody yeah. says use it to. Uh... Sign your prenup. We do not recommend. No, that don't do that because it's pencil. Don't do that in pencil. Did Kurt and I just yeah. say the same thing at the same time? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, 
John Burke is still at 1500 with this bid. So pencil uh, wood, why 1600 wood, wood is a very warm material. It's, well, is, it's something is, that reminds you of and nature and warmth and beauty. It's something lovingly crafted by hand, something you can't get anywhere else. I mean, where else? I love you. I gave you this pencil. I mean, wow. That's the way to my heart, Rob. <laughs> that is really neat. All right, so we've got 1600 1600 is the high bid. Yes, I will be signing and writing a very, very lovely card to go with this because this is incredible. I believe the size of lead for the pencil is 0. 0.5. It's 0. 0.5, I believe. That's perfect. That's what you want. All right. I'm not seeing a whole lot of activity in the chat. Oh, never mind. Don Burke came in with 1700 Sweet mercy. So the cool Jesus. thing is that top actually unscrews and there's a little eraser in the very top, like the little above oh. the clip. Wow. Built in eraser. I mean, what more do you want? And it's bolt unless action. you're perfect, you might need an eraser. It's a bolt action pencil. Pencil. Mm. Okay. Yeah, Just think going. about what happens at your next company meeting, one of those all-hand meetings that we all hate to go to. It's like you're being dragged to this meeting anyway. It's a waste of your time. But if you break out this pencil at your meeting, your boss will see it and instantly know that you're a person of taste. You will impress everyone in the room. And they will be so envious of you. Windblot 1800. I'm going to give it another 30 seconds or so, and then we're going to have to call it. So, let's see if there's anybody else jumping in on this. Ye gods. Ian, can you take a look and see if Pants has done that? I want to confirm Pants on the on the 450 for the rock. Okay. The um Yes, it looks like Pants has sent in four fifty and seventeen extra cents for insanity's sake. John sure. Burke is at two thousand for the pencil. Folks, this pencil writes in a lovely graphite color that will truly accent any white paper that it is brought in contact with. Something that really gleams on the eye with that shimmering brightness that only truly graphite can bring. I know that I'd be lucky to have this pencil in my life. And I think how lucky you'll be to have it in your life. And every time you use it, and you will, because it is truly a quality pencil, you can think lovingly of Rob and his channel and the warmth that the pencil will bring to your life through its glorious amber luster and this awesome satin metal work that's just with a gold nib bringing the copper color combination into a beautiful light that will shimmer in any room. Two thousand dollars. Okay, and we're gonna give it another few seconds, and then I'm gonna go ahead and call it because that's I cannot fathom this going above that, and we're going gavel. And gavel. Quinn has said I bow out to uh, your <laughs> to your bid there. So, um, wow. Um, Two thousand dollars for this pencil. We 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 appreciate it, and the children appreciate it. They get to they get to live more. We appreciate it. Thank you. No, that that's that talking about getting the medical attention. That wasn't a threat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was not a threat. No. Wow. Okay. Let's go. Let's go to. I, I think we need to do general. a redirect at this point because we are at eleven hours. Okay. And minutes 32 minutes so, ian do you have energy is this is this helping with the energy i am surviving um do you want me to take over and do some of this stuff for a bit or do you want to redirect to a new stream or what i am setting up a new stream um i've got it i'm just dropping the link in the private chat here um in honor of so, our dear captain Corey, may he inspire us all 
Oh, thank you so much. That's uh all right. So I've got a new stream set up. Um I should, I hope, be there. So I'm gonna hit end stream on this one. Um do, do you guys have the link from the uh the private chat there in the back? Yep, I'm gonna jump over there. I'm gonna jump over there now. All right, so I'm gonna hit end stream over here and um I've got a redirect set up, so hopefully it should pipe everyone to the new stream. Um, although redirects have been really crappy, if they, um, yeah, if there's a problem, I'm gonna drop the link in the chat right now. Um, so the link is in the chat, and um, you can you can also find it via you know just on my channel, but. Um, so we are going to give yes, that a go. Hopefully it, a hopefully it makes over. For the auction. Okay, see you And there. I see people saying, consider putting a timer on screen. I'm not sure how to do that, but let's figure it out. All right, so ending this stream.